too late. Yeah. All right, let's see what bullshit we got going on now. Sometimes things are reasonable. What if we do Elden Ring but marathon it and we hit a sub goal and you order from Applebee's? Boys isn't real. You're right. Time for Pigliacci. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna need a clip of that. Oh my god. Also, shout out to this dude's shield just tanking the f one of the fattest fucking L2s in existence look at this we went behind it well, the question is can i jump into this and live uh we're not even very uh never mind e <gasps> oh 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 my god i shouldn't be alive.com oh it's me <laughs> It's me, everybody. God, I've never had to fight another anus. That's terrifying. There's no stopping it. How do you kill that which has no life? It's Dark Link. Dark, dark anus. <laughs> the darkest of it. Yeah, chug it. Woo! Okay, what am I weak to? Never-ending stamina, that's it. All I gotta do is just attack a thousand times. You know what else I'm weak to? Take, take a minute to get, grab this. Got it. That's not good, because that means I'm probably over-leveled to shit. Truly, this is... Look, Screeb may not be original. But boy, howdy, it was original to me, my stupid ass friend who came up with the Screebs. And the Screebs were basically. The Screebs were basically creatures that would like. They would just. They would just like roll up on your lawn. Good. Just gyrate, dude. Yeah, bye. All right. Uh, they were just. They were just like these little creatures that would just like roll up on your lawn and just kind of ag agitate you, right? So like, they, they come up to your house. They like mess with your lawn. Like they're like pulling up weeds and stuff. Well, not even pulling up weeds. They're pulling up like chunks of grass. And you're like, God damn it, Screebs, get off my lawn. And they're just like, they're just like, ee. Just kind of, just kind of fuck off a little bit. They're assholes. Trust me. Y'all, am I going crazy? Or was like the sport of say, like football, not American football, like regular ass soccer. Was it not called soccer originally in Europe? Like in the olden days? Was, is that not true? Could have sworn I read that at some point that it was originally called soccer and then it eventually became football. I shout out to Nope and then yes. God, shout out to that. That was the, once again the duality of Twitch chat. Wow, we weren't even using a. Uh... Alright. I have large sword and knife. Fuck! <laughs> Video games? Real games? Whatever games you want. Video games? <sighs> frog hands. Frog hands. Load of the world with little frog hands. Out on the road or back in town. All kind of critters putting frog hands down. Gotta rise above it. Gotta try to get along. Gotta work together. Gotta sing this song. Frog hands. Frog hands. Load of the world with little frog hands. I know he said or whatever the hell it is. What? Oh. Okay. Oh man, what's this? This couldn't be a trap. Welcome to Bitter Bits. Well, well, well. Oh, okay. So it's patches. Oh, shut the fuck up, Patches. Nobody, nobody cares, Patches. You suck. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut 
Shut the fuck up, Patches. I'll deal with you next playthrough. You just two hand fist to make it visible and then chase it. Oh, does it does it appear if you don't have a weapon out? It's interesting. Ashivor Sepuku. Welcome to Bitter Bits. Right. We having a good time. We having a good time over here. All right. Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. What? What are you doing? God, y'all ever just cheat? Y'all ever just cheat through the wall? <laughs> good. Classic Dark Souls. <laughs> Good. Good. God damn it. <laughs> what the hell is that guy? Oh, it's just one of the knights. Bet. 1v1 me, dude. Oh, code it in skill. I'm ready. Ah, was ready. Might I step on your head? What? I mean, it was the right choice. But I steppy and he deppy. Damn. There's so many of these little monkey people. We got to take them out first. We're going to do this. Oh, God. <laughs> Apparently the bear handled it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, we had... Oh. Hold your hands together. For we have ascended. Blessed be to Frog. Blessed be. I can't hit. I'd be like, that's a good question. <laughs> What kind of shoddy craftsmanship of a throne was that? I mean, come on, man. I sneezed on the thing. <laughs> Jeez. That might be the most poo poo throne I've ever seen in my life. Nice. 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 <sighs> Oh, come on, dude. That is such pee pee. What? Also, how am I still on my horse? God. Ready! Ready, I did the thing you want! <laughs> you just run in here on the horse and destroy everything. Ready! Ready! Ready, I did it! Who would you look for? <laughs> Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to Monday. Welcome to Monday, everybody. Hope you're all doing good. Hope your weekend went well. You know, all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, man. Hope you guys had, uh, hope you guys had a good one. If you didn't sign up for this, let you out. Sorry, there's no escape. There's no escape. You know, half the time, Luigi, I don't, I don't think my brain will let me not do it. 
I actually, uh, it's like, because I don't know, I just like, I can't, I can't physically do it. It drives me crazy. I'm being like horrendously, horrendously out of key or whatever. That's good, Jacob. I like, I like that. That's good. A lot of, a lot of, what I'm trying to figure out is like, why are their legs drawn like that? That seems like extra terrible. <laughs> it's like extra horrible. Extra absolutely horrible. Oh god. I wait, there's a lot happening on that thing, right? What is that? What's going on there? You know, I remember I remember one point I was trying to do uh this is a long, long time ago. I was trying to do this, uh I don't know why I'm sharing this story. This is like so it's I guess it's not irrelevant. Um I guess it's not irrelevant. Uh, so back back in the days, oh, I forgot something. I forgot my dang one. Uh, I don't know. All right. It is. It's kind of. It's kind of irrelevant. Um. So I, uh, I remember, I remember back in the day when I was still making the, making the Muzak stuff and, uh, I remember I was doing a tutorial on how, uh, how to, too long schlong. I didn't even notice that name. That's really good. Uh, I was doing a tutorial on how to do auto tune and, uh, like how to, how to do like typical vocal processing and all that stuff. Uh, and it took me forever to do it because in order to, in order to get the most out of auto tune, you want to sing out of key, uh, to typically get that nice like effect that I guess people like, right? Like it has to be pretty messed up. You can't really do like chromatic, like really rapid repitch and you know have it work or whatever. So yeah, I was doing this tutorial on how it all like functions, and uh, it took me like it took me like three hours to sing this little bit just completely out of key. Am I allowed to make a comment about a specific enemy type in here, game, or is that spoiler? I don't, dude, I don't give a shit about spoilers. I mean, like, naturally, I wouldn't want somebody to come in and be like, here's the last boss, and here's how blah, 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 like, all right. But, I mean, yeah, for the most part, I don't, I don't give a shit, so. You are, you are more than welcome to complain away or whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. But now, I hope everybody's weekend went well. We're doing... Eldon ring again. Uh, and this is day number nine, which there's probably some fatigue around this. I could understand that. I'm still enjoying it. I'm still I'm still liking it a lot. Very long game has had a lot of media saturation. Uh, speaking of media saturation, I was I was actually doing something because I'm, I'm working on a few different things for like YouTube videos because I realized the videos that I um, could make that would actually be like worth a damn uh, are videos that actually don't really need to come out within the next like two two you know two to ten days they can they can come out in a couple weeks because i got i got a few things that you know have kind of i guess stood the test of time as it were uh that still do pretty well so um i've decided that you know i'm gonna i'm gonna work on these things that i'm working on. i'm not gonna say what they are yet but they help us knives on birds it's so great that you mentioned that literacy because i've got a youtube video that was a it's the first time i've ever done a youtube short uh i typically don't do youtube shorts they are typically made for mobile almost exclusively. They're kind of like TikToks and things like that. Uh, but I was rolling through doing some uh, build testing and um, not not really build testing because I don't really give a shit about that. It's more of a, how do I put this? It's like a uh, uh, route testing. Not for like, a, not for like speed run shit. That's good. That's about all it's supposed to do, Luigi. So I'm really glad. Um, yeah, so I've been doing like I do just like build testing, route testing type stuff where the video ideas again I'll share them when they're ready, but they're they're similar to some other videos I've done uh, for other Souls games that seem to do well and recurringly get decent viewership uh, throughout like their lifespan. Like I have Dark Souls three videos that still do well. I have a couple Bloodborne videos that still do well every month. So I figured Elden Ring will probably have, you know, some type of uh, mainstay long-term audience. So there's there's some things I'm gonna make for that that shouldn't change too much. Cause I also try to take into effect, account, like whenever I'm making these kind of things, I try not to do anything that's too bug oriented. Cause I did that once and that all that leads to is a bunch of comments that I did still work. And it's like, it, no, no, I even said in the video, they're probably gonna patch it. <laughs> and uh, lo and behold, there you go. So I never made anything on the, uh, uh, the ledge, the ledge skip in, uh, Bloodborne because I knew they were gonna change it. So 
I, I had a feeling that was that was going the way of the dodo, which is really sad. But then again, that's how Bloodborne works because it's got a lot of, you could sequence break really bad in that. So Mississippi and his wife, that's pretty good. You know, Mississippi, you get it, you get it. But no, there you go, there you go, literacy. That video was made for you talking about knives on birds. And in my opinion, the best way to handle that entire segment. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, now, so I was, I've been working on some stuff as far as like gathering up footage and whatnot, just trying to get things, uh, trying to get things, some neat ideas, like, uh, you know, similar to like that plus nine weapon guy to have for like Vort or whatever, like that, stuff like that's pretty cool. I would like to have like a maybe plus 15, plus 20 weapon before Margit, uh, like without having to, you know, defeat anything crazy or anything like that. I'd love to make something like that. And I'd love to also do like, you know, super powerful mage, like early game build that doesn't utilize like sort of night and flame and all that stuff. And you know, talk about some, maybe some cheese strategies to get like moon veil early or whatever. Uh, just stuff like that. Like just, just interesting things. I think that would probably be good for newer players and people who maybe wanted to get like a quick start on something or have like a really solid build out of the gate or whatever. I just think it'd be cool to do anyway. Uh, as far as my weekend went, it was a whole lot of attempting to sleep. Kale's been nuts the entire weekend, so I didn't really sleep very well. Uh, and on top of working on stuff, because I just wanted to get some things done and, uh, and all that. I'm still working on getting the, the playthrough stuff uploaded to YouTube. Which, uh, which is not really... I'm not gonna say it's not worth the time, because it's not... It doesn't take super long to do these. And, you know what, honestly, it's, it's worth it for the sake of preservation and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah. Try to think if there's anything else. Uh, try to think if there's anything else that happened. I don't. I can't think of anything like that. Not off the top. Of my, not off the top of the brain, anyway. So I guess let's. Uh, so I guess let's get started. I mean, I think, I think the last time. Uh, last time we were doing uh, before. Before whatever, I think it was the. I think we were going into. We were going into Rotlandia. Pretty sure that was where we were going. So, looking forward to that. I'm actually gonna be using the Xbox One controller because I've been having a hell of a lot of trouble with the Dual Sense. The only problem with the Xbox. One controller is that the left trigger for some reason, or left button, I guess you want to call it, uh, is for some reason not working. So I don't know what the hell that's all about, but hopefully we can figure it out. And uh, I gotta thank people for stuff because I almost forgot. We had uh, we had Zelda who gifted out a six months uh, six months of sub to Kombucha. Thank you Zelda for doing that and dragging Kombucha on the bus for six months it was very nice of you. Then Dolphin with the forty three months says forty three months of fun and laughs. Here's the many more. Thank you Dolphin, I appreciate it. Welcome back aboard the bus. Hope you enjoy the ride, because the ride never ends. Luigi with the 49 months says, For some reason, the day my sub expires and my sub anniversary have been misaligned for months. Perfect. Thank you, thank you, Luigi, for the 49 months. And Vagrant with the 72 months uh, says, Look, 72 is a lot of months, and it gets wilder every time I see this. And I think, like, six years have gone by. Let's keep on driving this bus to new and interesting frontiers. I can't tell if Twitch chat's broke or broken or if we are just, like, super quiet tonight. Either one's fine. I've just, I, that was just, this is strange for a Monday. <laughs> strange. Very strange. Who, Liam? Okay, we're not broken. Whew. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's do some, let's do some Eldon Ring. I guess this is, this is where we will, this is where we'll start and, uh, do whatever, whatever day it is. Cause I have no idea anymore. It, I mean, like, I know it's Monday, but it doesn't feel like Monday. I don't know why. Yeah, there's something about it, just not whatever. We are, we are of course, still doing frog hands. That is still a thing. I've got the frog hands locked and loaded. And also, we do frog hands tonight. I decided to go ahead and just complete the look and I busted back out the frog hat. So if frog hands happen, we're putting on the frog hat too, which is its own, its own stupid, <laughs> its own stupid thing. So there you go. So we'll have that, we'll have that as well, which is always, uh, which is always fun. So I, I had this, uh, this is the character I've been doing some testing on. You may notice his name is Fora Offstrom, which just means for offstream. So there you go. <laughs> it was my test character. I just sat there looking at it. I was like, ah, yes, Fora Offstrom. Which sounds like, it sounds like a real name, you know, a real made up name, I guess you could say. Not like a real, real name, just a real made up name. Boy, I'll tell you what, man. I, uh, yeah. No, it's been uh it's been interesting uh trying to like do like some early game stuff and you know knock out things I guess earlier than God, I totally forgot we were in Rot Dick Land. 
<laughs> I even mentioned two seconds ago that we were in Rot Dick Land, and then now here I am, and I'm just like, great. <laughs> great, get to do this now. No horse ahead. We all appreciate that when people talk about turtles, they just say dog, which is probably the funniest thing I've seen yet. Absolutely hilarious. The off-stream character or the more reasonable looking one? Yeah, this is this is the reasonable looking character, so I don't know what anybody would be talking about in regards to all that. God. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, Mike Oxlong? I wonder what that means. That have something to do with the Fallopenus? It might be. Also, how you doing, Amartheros? And how you doing, OCD and Ivan and everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Sorry if I'm sorry if I'm having a little bit of slow slow brain start. You know how this shit goes. You know how it goes. I feel like for for a weekend, I, I really didn't I really didn't talk very much. I actually I actually felt kind of sick on Saturday, and I was like, oh god, here we go, right? Um, thankfully, I did. I mean, I'm not like I'm obviously not like sick sick, so I have no idea. Ah! Well. This is the route we're going, so this is this is what I've committed to. Yeah, I feel like this. I, you know, we hadn't had a lot of things that felt like um, that felt like Blight Town specifically, and I would say that this Rot Dick Land definitely feels like Blight Town so far. The only thing I'm not happy about is these assholes showing back up, which I fuck I can't stand these dudes. I think they are probably one of the worst. Probably one of the worst enemies in the game, if not the worst enemy, just period, because they are absolutely terrible. Like 100%. Look, I'm saying I'm still hung up on, still hung up on Mike Oxlong over here. Did we, did we start investing into Arcane yet? Because I was realizing the other day that if I hadn't, I think what I'm going to do is I might make sure that we're still. What message is that that keeps getting appraised? It's like every time I log in, it happens. I don't know what the hell, which one that is. Man, I genuinely cannot fucking stand these guys. I think they're absolutely horrible, terrible, terrible, terrible enemies. I really don't care about like I like I actually like their pole arm set. I think it, it reasonably punishes shitty maneuvers and stuff. What I hate is their stupid like acid spray thing, which just feels so un it feels so unreasonable. And there's really not that many enemies I can say that about in this that I'm like that that feels genuinely terrible. Uh, that's one of the few I think. It's not like too terrible to dodge in some cases, but my god, it is just it's just a lot. <laughs> it's it's just a lot. Was this the area northwest of Winter Wonderland? Um no, this is underground. Uh this is to the southwest of the Ansel River ancient city the whole thing, so yeah, it's over uh it's over in this area, which is it's this is this area is actually not too bad. I would actually say this is less annoying than Blight Town because it is relatively flat. Um, so it's not like irritating to deal with shit in. Now, dealing with these guys in a rot setting, that's pretty awful. But what we're gonna try to do here is, uh, you know, we, do, we barely have anything that prevents rot buildup right now. There are some things that I could make, but I would, know, I would need to go farm out crystal moss stuff, so. I lost my job because coworkers lied and got forced out of my kids' lives by hateful, hateful ex, but this is a happy distraction from all that. God damn, I'm Arthur's. I thought... Is it, this is that newer job you had, right? That, like, you got relatively, like, recently? I know it wasn't, like, crazy, crazy recent, but within the last, within the last couple of years, at least. You know, I like how I'm just... I like how I'm so completely unfazed by the ulcerated tree spirit at this point that like I'm just like yeah there he is because at fun fact well I don't know how fun it is but uh I actually I actually did manage to beat the ulcerated tree spirit at a base soul level yeah on the uh, on one of those runs where I was trying to do uh, I'm dude Nightbot probably did Nate with the 72 months the 72 months heck yeah heck yeah thank you Nate um, yeah, no, I actually, yeah, beat a, uh, beat the ulcerated colitis on, um, base for which class? It was, uh, God, who's the one that starts at fucking soul level, like, seven or something like that? I'm trying to remember who it was. Might have been Hero, or it might have been, a. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter, like. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why we're pretending like the, I, I don't know why we're pretending pretending 
Pretend, pretending like the ulcerated tree spirit is a fucking easy encounter for literally any of the starting base classes before leveling up. Like I, that, if if you think that that's the case, then you need to go ahead and just start speed running or something because you're incredible. That fight, that fight's a bitch on any of them because like you can totally just get completely clomped, regardless. No, it was not it was not samurai. I would actually say that samurai really doesn't help you very much on that one. It's mainly the like mainly a little bit of bleed doesn't help too much. That 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 fight's a bitch at base level for any any class. I would actually say it's probably the worst for, uh, shockingly enough, uh, Prisoner. Probably the worst on, uh, or at least in my experience, because I, I did do it on Prisoner as well. I think Prisoner and probably... No, I would say, yeah, Prisoner is probably the worst. Yeah. Pretenderating. <laughs> I told you my brain's not working yet. This is going to take a while. It's, I'm, I'm going to keep Pretenderating in my repertoire of weird words, though. You know, the hilarious part of Glint Blade early is that, like, I actually think I prefer it um, over, like, for some boss fights, I actually prefer it over Pebble just because bosses are very good at dodging Pebble, whereas Glint Blade, they normally don't. Yeah, no, all, the Ulcerated Tree Spirit's a pain in the ass for, like, anything. I don't, I don't really know if he's worth, I don't know if this asshole's, like, worth doing, because I, I can't, um, uh, it probably isn't because I'm going to build up Scarlet Rot and then I'm going to have to fight an Ulcerated Tree Spirit with Scarlet Rot on. Which I'm not really feeling right now, and I also don't feel like wasting a couple of my last, uh, my last thingy dingies. Nothing, you said nothing staggered with, uh, when you were dual wielding longsword? That's actually surprising. What message keeps getting, like, there can't, I don't have any that are particularly funny. I have some that are hidden. I, is it, is it first off mushroom? It has to be. Which is kind of hilarious, because I guess, like, people are maybe just now getting to that or something. I don't know. That's really weird. I have to remember that, like, I, I checked, you know... I checked, like, completion rates and stuff like that. What am I doing? Yeah, I still... I still hate these dudes. Like, I really do. I, they're, they're a terrible enemy. <laughs> like, they're so bad. I'm also, like, my brain's not here yet, so we'll we'll get we'll get there in a minute. Might just have to soft reset my, myself here and just... Be like, all right, we're stopping and we're restarting. It's also hot as fuck. It was 86 degrees today um, in March. So really looking forward to that. I actually think I get I, my depression is at the wor at its worst in the summer. And I think I had I think I had the I think I had the grim realization earlier that like it's coming because there really is no spring in South Carolina. We get like maybe maybe a couple weeks of it, but then it just we're just pushing 90s immediately. So. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore these dudes because there's no point in fighting them ever, not, especially not in groups. Absolutely. Well, that's right. I forgot they have range for 30 days. All right, vagrant. Yeah, vagrants. Uh, vagrants, get ready for big move time, man. That's awesome. They're super duper cool. Moving the boxes. Get, get in the coffin. You get in the coffin. I'm not getting. I'm not getting in that yet. If it is a thing. Sure, sure, a lot of dicks over here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Am I doing? What am I doing? Am I doing seppuku or blood slash? Okay, I'm still on seppuku. I could. I could remember if we. Were, I might switch back over to blood slash and. Uh, God, yeah, we're dead. Jesus Christ. Oh, good lord. Yep, do your thing. <laughs> do, do your do your thing. Yeah, no, because I've basically been like sitting down, just like coming coming up with all of the all of the ridiculous cheese strats for stuff because I want to do like some stuff where I kind of show people like early game this and that and whatever else they can get their builds going really, really early on. Because there's a few like generalized guides, but I don't think the generalized guides are really worth very much because I feel like you're probably going to learn a lot of that just playing the game, you know? So this is more of like specialized like, oh man, you want to do like a... How's the flesh mash feeling? Oh, it's fine. It's a little sore today, but it's not a big deal. It's more my brain. I'm just trying to get brain in the right... Brain in the right... It's, it's, what, what is this? 
What was this nonsense? What were they praying to? The scorpion Silent stinger? Sweat. Oh, God. I do not wish to be horny anymore. Dickie Corner with the $15 says, Forg. I just want to the be. The post happy. is decent, but the people whooshing in the replies. Oh, dude, that's like my favorite shit. Hang on. I gotta, I gotta sniff up on this. Yeah, sorry if my brain is a little bit weird. I <laughs> just have to having a hard time doing the thing. Um. Oh god. Oh my god. How do people how do people miss the joke on that? Like I'm I'm getting the joke immediately. All right. So this is a from soft tier list. You got S, which is Sekiro, B, which is Bloodborne, D, which is all the Dark Souls games, and then E, which is Elden Ring. Anyone who disagrees with this needs to go back to kindergarten. Uh, it's okay, FromSoft have forgotten about Armored Core 2. We'll only agree if you put Bloodborne and S as well. Everything else I can accept. Oh my god. It took me so long to release, it's just the letters of the games to release. Where is Cuphead? Mm hmm. No, L Ring, Bloodborne, and Sekiro equal S tier. DS3 and Demon Souls remaster A tier. Oh my god. How, how do people miss stuff this simple? I don't know. To, like, look, dude. Hey, Nick, I can finally catch a few more minutes of stream. I was watching the YouTube video character creation. I appreciate the transformation from Ninja, Old Greg, E-Girl, McDonald's, Grimace, to the true Penelanus heritage. Thank you. Thank you so much. These people can't rotate a cow in their heads. <laughs> Did it display the emote out of order? That's weird. Also, Inferno, since I, I forgot I answered your question earlier, uh, how are you doing otherwise? I'm trying to, trying to see how everybody's doing. Coffee says the internet was a mistake. How is everybody doing, as a matter of fact? Everybody good? We all hanging in there? And thank you for the $15. I totally, I didn't think we'd actually really be frog handing tonight, so I totally forgot to open up my timer, so hang on a second. That is really funny, though, Jigakuro. I'm shocked that, yeah, I'm not shocked, to be honest, that people can't process that whole thing. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, god damn, the last frog hand we had was an hour? When was that? Oh god, that was last. Yeah, that was last stream. What the fuck, dude? All right, and get the mitts on. It's the perfect time. It's Scarlet Rot, my favorite enemies. You know, good chance to do this. It might, yeah, it might have been Ivan too. Actually, I forgot about that. Yeah, there was several that were like an hour long. A long work day. And I'm currently making curry and carrying boxes downstairs. Just want to just want to break and play Elden. Elden John. Hold me closer, tiny Elden. Time has come. <laughs> the, time, the time has come. <laughs> a full, a full ascension. All right, start up. We're doing, we're doing hat tonight too. Okay, this is just, this is just a complete, this is just to complete the motif. God damn, I forgot how terrible it is doing this on Xbox controller. But Xbox is much more stable, and I cannot deal with like random disconnects. Even though I say that, and uh, would you believe that I had like random disconnects on this? Oh yeah, no, we're doing the full ensemble for Frog Hands tonight. I'm going, I'm going all in. Do a big bonkus build, 100% strength, dual wielding boar hammers, mostly jump attacks and talisman that enhances that. Dude, the amount of people that have probably missed that talisman is unbelievable because I missed it on my first run and I can totally see why. <laughs> Getting to it is so weird and you're like, oh, this is like a whole area over here. Okay. Yeah, I hope you, I hope you enjoy it, Rogue. You should. I missed it too. I don't even know where it is. It's uh, it's back in Stormvale. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, there are there are still some controller problems with this that I'm pretty surprised. Like it's uh, I've had I've had the weird delayed input thing. I've had all kinds of strange stuff happen. I do remember the gender swap coffin. That was. Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it's certainly certainly a choice. The epitome of fuck this shit. I'm out crawling coffin, ride down Blood River. Well, at least it's not a Blood River; it's a Rot River, so it's made of just doo doo, doo doo, and pee pee. Thank you, Jiggy Kuro, for the fifteen dollars and for frogifying. I really do appreciate it. You guys are all great. 
If that's the if that's the extent of rot swamp, I'm actually pretty surprised, to be honest. That seems like it seems very mild for rot swamp, but one of my favorite fictitious characters, Rot Swampson. Have I washed the frog hands yet? Uh, no, they don't. God, I don't sweat that much. Jeez, <laughs> guy. No, <laughs> I've not done that. The frog hands will probably just turn to ash when I wash them, though, because that's that's gonna be its own. How did you die here? Okay, this has to be like a thing, right? That's that's what else might die. Oh, these people probably, unless there's a boss right here, which there is a boss, but like, I was about to say that if somebody died down here, then that just means they what? They got rotted and just ran around and be like, all right. No, I mean, it is, they are warm, but yeah, no, I mean, they're not like, no, I'm never at any point like dying. God almighty, what is this? Estelle, natural born of the void. Oh my God, here we go. <laughs> oh my God. This is going to be, this is going to. There's a shitload of fights that have like a big ass run up like this, and I don't even know how I feel about it. Oh, it's like a it's like a turbo version of the uh Yeah, it's like a turbo version of the other guy. Or the whatever boys. Oh. What's that mean? Okay, that's scary. Oh damn, we electrify in the water? Can you get oh no, it's that's a gravity attack. That's not the So basically it's got a similar similar moveset to the uh the Star Scourge, which is which is so fun. I'm really happy about that. I'm oh, really, really happy to hear it. You love to see it. Hmm. I wonder how, wonder how Jelly would fare in a situation like this. That's fine. Just warp away. Nobody wanted you here anyway, so it's fine. I guess he is kind of like it might be. He might be Turbo Virgin. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, chat? You think it to be thinking turbo version? Now the question is, can it bleed? And I'm, I'm starting to think the answer to that question. If, if Sapuku hasn't bled it yet, uh, we're, we might be in serious trouble. This might be this might be a fight where we have to go back and uh, respect. Oh god, I'm actually not 100. percent Oh yeah, you can get out of that pretty easily. Okay, so I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave Sapuku off for a little bit. Cause uh, I just don't think it's worth having up right now. No, it does bleed. Okay, so Sapuku is totally worth it. I don't know how I feel about this one yet. It's okay. Like it, it, it reminds me of something. I'm trying to think of what it is. Ah, uh, it reminds me of lots of AOE attacks and also a grab attack, which is always great. Great, great, great. Wow, that's so fun. I like grabs. Um, yeah. The other question is, what's the second phase? Well, the fact that it le at least bleeds is good. God, you know what another thing that I'm shocked that they haven't, like, done more to? I'm actually surprised, first off, that they adjusted the Reduvia blades very early on. Um, is there cosmic horror in this one? I wouldn't say cosmic horror. I would say there's definitely a lot of cosmic themes. Uh, I, yeah, I wouldn't say there's anything, like, particularly... But then again, I have a whole different gauge, I guess, of, like, what horror is, so... Okay, so we are we are bleeding it. It's just a matter of... Yeah, we just have, we just have to stay on top of it. So I, think we'll, I think we'll be fine. And now I, I am curious to see what, what Nightmare... I don't know if it can be... Like, if you attack its legs, like, maybe it won't bleed? That doesn't seem right. Not, not. The fact that you can't jump over that silly. Um. That was good. Try to put a little bit of, try to put a little bit of the hurt on him. Gotta watch out with that though, because that is like pretty much instant death. Damn. God damn, even with 40 vigor, that's like instant death. Whew. You gotta fight the AIDS virus or something? It is looking like some kind of infection. Yeah, it does feel a bit ROM. Uh, I, I would actually say so far, I like ROM a little bit better as a fight, maybe. Um, interesting though that it's not uh, that it's not like rot based. I think that's I think that's kind of neat. Also, it looks like the hyper beam you can just walk away from, so not a big deal there, I guess. 
What? Why is this message getting... Like, that was just a stupid meme message. Like, why are people upvoting that now? No, no thwacking. We should leave that tail down for a little bit. It's not going to thwack. It's just, just a matter of just figuring out where, where the best place to attack him is. The thing in the face. Uh, or the chest ostocles. I don't know. Do not know. God damn, that is like really tricky to. That's like really tricky to deal with. I need to turn my volume up. I can't I can't quite hear some of its uh, nonsense. Some of them, some of them, they're nonsensicals. Yeah, I gotta figure out what I want to do for. Hmm. Yeah, I can't tell. I can't tell if like bleeds is not helping me a lot here. I I, I, I might actually prefer. I'm stammering really bad tonight. It's okay. We all have off nights. Yeah, I just feel like I don't have like the, the way the weapons structured here. It's just hard to hard to get hits on them. So. Oh, this boss got some lore? Okay, nice. I can't wait to watch a YouTube video on it that'll tell me everything I need to know instead of maybe researching it myself. <laughs> I hope so. I will let someone else tell me because I could not be bothered to find it on my own. Uh, what do I want to do here? I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide... Yeah, we're getting we're getting some whiffy some whiffy diffies on it, which definitely sucks. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to do. This boss this boss is down in Dick Rot Swamp. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Kind of wondering if maybe just Ungo Bungo straps is the way to go here. Just like stay near the face and just hit it. Thinking that might be the case. Okay, that means he's gonna do is like warpy warpy. God damn, just leaves leaves very few openings here. <laughs> it's like it's like yeah, a chance to attack. It's like nah, <laughs> nah. I'm gonna warp again. Watch me do it, bitch. God damn. This is why this is why next run I'm doing. I'm just doing all I'm doing all bow. Forever. All bow forever. Yeah, so I'm thinking uh Well I mean like every pretty much every boss can be staggered, yeah. Um If I can get if I can get a little bit of damage on him at all. Like, I'm surprised. I'm surprised I didn't do much to him there. Well, I mean, it's doing fine. Like, we're doing decent damage, but. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is out. This is out in Rot Butt Central. I, like, god damn, I know the AC's on, but I feel like the fucking heat's on. <laughs> like. Oh. So hot. I get so mis. I'm, I'm sorry if I seem a little grumpy tonight. It, it has been, like, hot out, and I'm just. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Am I still a sleeper? Is that one of those nerd ropes with nasty tip? It's, it's got, it's doing that. The tip. The tip. And it's getting, getting nice and, getting nice and dick heat. Yeah, so what I'm probably gonna do here, uh, if we, if we can't get him this next few attempts, um, I am going to, uh, probably switch to Bloodblade. And that would be the smartest decision. That's if we can't get him, which I, I think I think we will. I just uh about to say I don't even know where he went. Yeah, pop it, girl. 
Oh, forgot that this is the grabbies, which means we're dead. Oh, I forgot to get my trash. Oh, shoot. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. You order Wendy's because you can. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, no, I think, uh, I think I might switch back to the blood blade, like, slash thing or whatever. Go back to that and then also just put, uh, go maybe dex for this. Because the, the blood slash also builds up, uh, bleed as well. And since we haven't really done much arcane yet, uh, our scaling's not fantastic. Well, I mean, our, our bleed is incredible. I'm just saying, like, it actually could be better than it is now. I do really hope that they fix, uh... They fix arcane scaling stuff soon, because like that's a whole portion of the game that's kind of just fucked right now, which really sucks. God, it's so hard to tell like which attack it is sometimes. But that's mainly that's that's the problem with big bosses like this. Hard to hard to tell what's going on sometimes. So my, my, bi my biggest recommendation with that is normally just to lock on because typically the camera will actually pan back out a little bit. Because you can actually put yourself into a trickier situation if you just... All right, Grabatha. Oh, you're not going to Grabatha? Okay. Oh, damn, he dusted. him. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, he's surging. Oh, Lord. God, he just keeps going. You should follow up right after that huge attack. <laughs> you should, that's what you should do. I would love this very much. I'm gonna seppuku my ass. Get the fuck out of that. Oh, he's just having a having a tussie and having a tizzle. Yeah, I actually think his dangly arms might be the might be the way to go as far as like attacking them. But then again, those move a lot too, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, no, it's not it's not like a bad boss or anything. Actually, it's okay. Kind of kind of depends, frankly, in my opinion on like I don't know. Yeah, it, it's all right. Now, there's probably a second phase to this, I would imagine. There's not actually um I did it with frog hands too. Hot dang. Uh my frog hat actually adds to the experience, man. I'll tell you that. Now let's see. Let's see what we just. Uh, let's see what we just got here. So we got a. Yeah, that that, that fight's all right. All right. I think that maybe the maybe the character itself is a bit more interesting than the the fight. The fight feels very rom. Um, a larger weapon would make that fight much more palatable, I think, because then then you're. If, if, so if you're focused on, like, not, if you're, like, hitting the boss, it can be a little difficult to focus on dodging and stuff, too. But then again, I mean, we'd only done it a few times, so... On subsequent replays, I would imagine. Remembrance of Astol, natural born of the void, hewn into the... Or hone, he, oh my god, I can't even talk into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader, alternatively confusing. Malformed star, born in the lightless void, far away, once destroyed an eternal city, and took away their sky. Falling star, of Illum, and... All right. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Ah, oh. free of frog hands for the first time. What's up, Sif? How's it going? Oh, take that ass, Trelly. <laughs> Let me get the vacuum. This bitch dusty. Yeah, that was okay. I, uh, I hate that we lost our stupid runes, but it doesn't matter. I don't take my sky. What the hell? He's just doing it, dude. Taking it away from me. You asked for those. I would spend some time wandering around the boss room, but I have a feeling that there's not much over there on the sides. I have a feel, I have a feel. I did it. All right, well, I guess, I guess we're going up. Definitely a str I, I would say it's a strange boss for the uh, for the area, but I don't really think it is. Oh my god, this elevator goes so fast, the game is just not agreeing with it. <laughs> the game is just not like, mm, I don't like this. Oh, 
Oh, it's over here. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, no. This is an area that... No, we haven't been here yet. Right? No, no, we haven't. Hey, Nox, what up, buddy? Hmm. The big, big moon heights over here. Wait on that. Wait on that dragon we were fighting earlier just to show back up. Even though hopefully he shouldn't be too much of an issue. But I do think I am going to drop Seppuku here. So, oh, speak of the fucking devil, dude. Speak of the fucking devil. Oh, let me get on my horse. I'm doing this, like, the wrong way. What the hell was that? I wonder if there's, like, some limit to, like, the skybox, and that's why he's, like, having a hard time with that. I guess it's possible. Wait. Is Seppuku already gone? Holy shit. Didn't last very long at all. Come on, noodle boy. Wait. I do appreciate that all the dragons and stuff are named. I think that that's interesting. I'd be really careful of these attacks because I'm not sure. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> I'm not sure what to expect from these. What are you doing? Get off of there. You're going to hurt yourself. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very, very, very good. Oh, did I switch weapons? Oh, okay. Oh, I did. You're right. I was like, damn, I can't believe that's gone already. As we got Agile's Moonblade. All right. Okay, Agila. Sweeping slash followed by cold blade, uh, cold blade projectile. Agila, devourer of sorcerers, was bested by Rani and subsequently swore a nightly oath to her dark moon. Whew. Thank you again for the fifteen dollars, by the way, Jiggy Crow. And the fifteen minutes of frog hands, of course, granting us the power to defeat that boss and everything else. Maybe not the dragon, because that's already you know frog hands gone now, but. Okay, so that dragon is worth 120,000 runes. Uh, there's a ton of starlight shards around here from the... Yep, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, this is what it's looking like. So there's uh, something to note about that. Starlight shards are actually pretty good. that a referatande to the dark solutions? Yes. It sure is. Ugh. Ref referentati. We go up big, big sparkle place, the Miyazaki like fall down my hole to my biggest swamp. Well, thankfully, yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, no, you really don't go into too sparkle land. Why does it feel so Fucking hot. God damn. Whew. Get back to that since we're not using the thing anymore. Probably drop a probably drop a couple level ups here. We're probably gonna respec soon, uh, too, because if we if we go hard into blood slash with the Uchi, um, we shouldn't actually need uh the finger. But we also, I, I can, I can reduce what we have in the Fanga because Fanga only technically needs probably about 40 strength. 
So if we were going to retain that in our build, we really only need about 40 because when we two hand, we'll get the bonus from that. So which is what we're doing all the time. We're not really ever not two handing that one. So the strength investment I have right now is a bit crazy when we really could just switch the Uchi over to Keen uh, or whatever. So. First my sky god stuff. It does it honestly, dude, like my my brain is very like Monday brain right now. I'm having a I'm having a tough time. It's really weird because like I was feeling okay. I've definitely got definitely got Monday brain. Call up Garfield. See what he's gotta say on the say on the subject. Call call up on Garflef. Wanna have words with him. So what'd y'all do this weekend? Was everybody, was everybody turbo busy? I'm trying to remember what bitch lasagna is even from. Wasn't that from a... Uh, wasn't that from like Show Bob and Vagine or something? Along those lines? Oh man, can you believe it? It's those guys. Oh man, those guys suck. Bye everybody. Bye, bye, everybody. <laughs> See you. Totally an amber medallion plus two. Diesel bees. That is a uh, that is fat doink right there. Vastly raises maximum FP. I don't know if I really agree with vastly raises. That has to be a percentage based thing. Because <laughs> fa vastly raises is not how I would describe that. Definitely not how I would describe that. I'm switching back over to this since we'll be flipping over to Blood Slash and all that stuff again soon. Hey, that's a great coffee. Howdy, gang. Also, I really prefer the uh, the Meteoric Blade or whatever it is, that one katana that's got some end scaling that's not Moon Veil because He's gonna talk about it if it ain't Moonvale, right? Bleed, you bastard, you're the worst enemy. You and those fucking prawn beasts. This is, this is legit one of those enemies that I'm just like, I have no idea what the hell they were thinking on this one. I'm just, I'm just not sure where the brain was at. You need a little drawering. You should get you some drawer. If you're feeling the if you're feeling the inspire on that, you should do it. No, not really, Cricket. Uh, the closest you'll get to mimics are uh, teleportation trap chest, which are pretty easy to get away from once you know about them. Like much like slashing mimics, uh, I would say the new the new norm here is going to be rolling away from chest immediately, because it doesn't instantly teleport. You have to stand in like the trap for a second to get it to catch you or whatever. So. I think you'll see people, if they're uncertain, opening a chest and then rolling away. Salty devs need to just have their Twitter taken away. Oh, God. Oh, is that... Oh, is that where people are being, being weenies about Elden Ring and talk about, like, Ubisoft, whatever? To my knowledge, it was just one or two people from said groups. So I don't know if that really represents the whole. Um, but, yeah. No, nah, that's, still, that's still pretty stupid. <laughs> Oh shit, there's another one. I wonder what that one is. I wonder if it's stronger than the other, uh... What's your, what's your name there, fella? Do you even have one? Are you just here? Oh, you're just like here, okay. Interesting. You also have less HP than the other guy. Maybe. God, I didn't time that well at all. The Hori so the Horizon team, and I, I don't know if it's the entire team. I would like to see the source on that because all, all I saw was the one one person who was being kind of pissy or whatever. Uh, Horizon has had this like horrible luck 
And I don't know. I, I genuinely do feel bad for him because I know I know Horizon's a good game. I do. I know that it's not really not really my game, you know, because I, obviously I bounced off of it really hard. Uh, but I don't even know where it went. <laughs> I, I don't even know where the damn thing went. Anyway, um, damn, it just left. All right, see you. Uh. Yeah, no, I mean, I only I only saw one one developer from Gorilla that was bitching about it. But if it's the whole team, that's that does that does seem like shit. Wait, what's going on? It's too many of you guys. How many fucking assholes are out here? Oh god, I almost never see that move. I have seen some pretty cringy shit where people are just like, oh man, when I fought my first dragon in uh, Elden Ring, it made me realize this is what like Skyrim wanted to be. And I'm like, did you just compare a game from 2022 to a game from 2011? I'm like, at the time, Skyrim's dragon shit was pretty fucking crazy and people loved it. I was like, let's not, let's not pretend like that game's not over a decade old. Um, anyway, no, as far as like the whole like Horizon thing goes, they, they've had a really bad string of luck because the first Horizon came out very shortly before Breath of the Wild did. And uh, that sucked for them like that. It didn't obviously didn't hurt the game that much, but still, you know, that sucks because Breath of the Wild effectively to this day has redefined what an open world game should be. And I think it kind of stands in its own open world category from like Elden Ring and stuff like that. I think it's it's mu much more, much more. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think there's a lot of games that have taken massive amounts of inspiration from it. Anyway, uh, that released very close to Breath of the Wild last time, and this time they released very close to Elden Ring, which is a FromSoft game, which, I mean, was going to be popular either way. Uh, oh, wow. God, these guys are worth nothing. Like, compared to the other dude? I thought these dudes were going to be worth, like, 120k or whatever, but yeah, fuck that. I'm not killing all those dudes. Uh, but anyway, you know, so they, they had they had some issues with that, and, I, and I'm sure I'm sure there's some disdain that it seems like every time one of their games comes out, some other big ass you know open world game from another developer comes out too and maybe overshadows it, but uh, for good reasons or for bad reasons or for, for whatever. Um, but anyway, that's beside the point. To my knowledge, it was not the entire team that was bitching; it was just like one or two weenies on on Twitter. Now. Maybe I'm in, maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't really keep up with drama stuff like that too too much. I tend to avoid it actually, uh, but I like to try to stay in the know, I guess. Um, yeah. So, but anyway, that doesn't justify their behavior. Uh, I think I think part of it probably stems from jealousy. I'm sure that like I'm sure that like most of these people would probably love to work on games where they don't get shoehorned into like microtransactions and all this other crazy bullshit they have to deal with and yada yada but anyway no and and like the, the other thing is, like, I, I feel like criticism of Elden Ring is also... You know what's hilarious about that, Annie Fairy? So, just to, just to state this, since, like, I'm sure some people aren't rough in chat. Annie Fairy says, I've tuned into several streams of FW because I really like the first. And there's never a moment where Aloy wasn't telling the player where to go or what to do instead of the player actually just playing the game. Um, that was actually something that I noticed a lot, and I actually just was kind of thinking to myself, I was like, what's up with games lately in that? I was like, it's not necessarily terrible or anything like that. I was like, there's a lot of games that do that, though, where they're kind of just like the, the, the chatty protagonist who's like kind of always like leading somebody in a direction. Um, and I think people just kind of like to be cut loose in a lot of cases. Because another game, like, again, a, a game that did very well five years ago was Breath of the Wild, and it... It basically just cuts you loose. It's like, here you go. 
Now, Breath of the Wild's not an RPG, but it is an open world, like, sandbox style game, so... Uh, I mean, I guess it is an RPG by, like, loose standards, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's, it's pointless to the discussion. The point is, uh, yeah, that game does that very well. Elden Ring does that. But the other problem I have is that it seems like anybody who is critical about Elden Ring gets, uh, gets a pretty heavy, like... I'm not talking about the get good crowd. I'm talking about people, like... I, I'm gonna be honest. I, I've, I've played tons of FromSoft games and all whatever, blah, blah, blah. This game, honestly, could extremely benefit from a very lore-friendly journal option. Because I guarantee, and I, I, I would stand by this 100%, there's no way I could ever prove this, I guarantee that 90, at least 90% of people who do the quests in this game are going to look it up. They are going to have to look it up. And there's a few that I've done off stream, uh, and, and on stream for that matter, that absolutely, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I don't need quest markers and I don't need the game to tell me where to go, but my God, keeping a little journal that's maybe on the map that says like, uh, you know, I, I spoke with, uh, so-and-so, like Morrowind style, right? I spoke with so-and-so about this, and they said that blah, blah, blah happened here, may whatever. Doesn't even have to say, maybe I should investigate it, anything like that. Like, it literally just says what the dialogue was and when you talk to him. Like, and I think that I, I cannot stand seeing people be like, uh, just get good, dude, just get good. You gotta, like, fucking pay attention. You gotta read the shit. I'm like, dude, you could read this shit all day, and unless you have a fucking notebook handy, you're not gonna know where to go. And like, again, I have played these games for a long time. And the, the reason that works in Dark Souls and Demon Souls and all those is the games are relatively confined. Like, it's relatively confined. And what's going to end up happening is people are just going to fire up the fucking... They're going to they're gonna load up the guide. They're going to... They're going to go pull up. And even if you're not looking for a guide on it, you're probably going to be like, where the fuck was that person that I talked to? Like, I don't even remember the last place I talked to him. It even happened to me when I was focused on doing a quest when I was working on some of these alternate characters to, like, for these videos I'm working on, where I was like, fuck, I don't even remember where I talked. I had to look it up. I had to, because I was like, I don't remember where the hell he was. Like, I have no clue. And then I was like, oh, right, I forget he goes to this obtuse-ass location that, like, most people are 100% going to miss because you kind of have to go out of your way to even find it in the first place. And... Yeah, it just drives me nuts to see, like, people be like, oh, yeah, man, you know, you shouldn't need to guide, shouldn't need to guide, just just explore, bro. Like, okay, that's cool, dude, but, like, or the game this size that people have already clocked, like, well over 100 hours in and they're not even done with it, um, it, I think it would be okay to have a little thing that was, like, an option here that says, like, I don't know, journal or, like, you know, whatever, and you click it and it's like, I last spoke to blank over here. And they mentioned blah, 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 you know, whatever. Like, I think that that, I think that that would be totally fine. So when people talk about like a quest log, no, we don't need like a, we don't need like a, a World of Warcraft, you know, whatever quest log. We don't need that. That's not, that's not what people I think are asking for. Like what people are asking for is like, can I get like where the hell the last time I talked to this person was? Because I, I can't for the life of me remember. And it's, I'm gonna be honest, it's never good when you have to, like, open up a fucking wiki or something like that on the side to look something up like that. Like, I think for a game that's all about, like, immersion and stuff like that, I think that's pretty... It kind of sucks. Like, you know, it worked well enough for Morrowind. Yeah, they ended up changing it for Oblivion and Skyrim because even Morrowind's quest log is not perfect, and there's some quests in that game that are just really unfriendly, and they, they suck, and even with the log, whatever... And that's fine. It's okay to have a few outliers as long as most of them are good, but... You know, and you don't even need it for the main plot thread. Like, you don't. I'm talking about strictly just side quests. I don't even know, what I'm, I don't even know where I'm going because I'm on a passion rant. I just, I'm just, like... It also feels like there is a bit of a circle jerk, and as much as I love Elden Ring, I don't think that this game's perfect. I think it's really good, and it's probably the best open-world RPG I've played. I still think Breath of the Wild does open-world a little bit better than Elden Ring does, but... That's that's neither here nor there. That's just my own opinion. Um, I think I think Nintendo damn near damn near just <laughs> I feel like they laid the groundwork for like, here's here's how it needs to be done. Y'all have fun with our formula going forward. Anyway, um, I say this as I have this rotunda, disgusting, whatever the, <laughs> whatever the hell we're looking at here. But uh, 
Um, Welcome to Corn Dog. Thank you for the 54 months. I appreciate it, buddy. How you doing? Uh, but yeah, I mean, like that's the other. So Rogue brings up an interesting point about 95% of the get good crowd are people that played Dark Souls One and had to Google how to make Elite Chad Bro Dude Man build for sure. Yeah, and I like that's what blows me away is like people are like yeah I think it could use like maybe like a quest log type thing or whatever. What people probably mean is like something to at least reference who the hell you've talked to. Because it's really hard to juggle all these different threads. So, you know, and, and that's cool. That's cool that like people want to, you know, oh, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out on my own. Okay, that's fine. I mean, you're going to end up pulling up a guide at some point, probably anyway. Um, I don't know. It, it just seems it just seems kind of ridiculous. And like. Uh. Like, I, I don't think that there needs to be, like, any hand-holding or anything like that. I actually think the game tutorializes itself pretty well. But I also feel like there's a few things here and there that they didn't really talk too much about and didn't really bring up. And, like, it just seems really strange they wouldn't have... I don't know. There, there's just there's a couple things here and there that I find uh, very, very strange still. But that's okay. I mean, I think, I think the game's great. I enjoy the hell out of it. So, yeah. I mean, that's... I'd still say it's 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 incredible and I enjoy the shit out of it. I just it is weird seeing like this massive backlash against like any criticism. Anyway, that was a huge tangent that was spawned from uh, me talking about the developers whining about it. I don't think the developers should be saying anything negative about it unless they have like actual criticisms, which I think that's fine. I'd actually like to hear what they have to say on that. Yeah, I think that's cool. But uh, yeah, grace get, grace distribution is, is really strange, too. <laughs> it's really odd. Very odd in some cases. Oh, yeah, well, there's the two fingers. And there is Ronnie without her outfit, I guess. That's interesting. You see, like, all the fabric and everything like that. Pop that rang on. We did do Ranny's quest. Uh, it's just... It was very disjointed and out of order. Well, not out of order, but we had completed a lot of... Uh, yeah, her body. Um, we had completed a lot of her... Uh, her quest just by doing stuff before we were supposed to do it. And... Subsequently, effectively, the only two things we had to do for her was go retain, go get the relic from the underground city and then uh, go do Rodopolis. So that's all we had to do, really. What up, Randog? So it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee travel the path of the Lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other once more. You sure you want to see this one more time? <laughs> you sure you sure want to see it one more time? Hey, Moonlight Greatsword. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me back that up. Dark Moon Great so <laughs> I see we're changing names again. Let's go. Uh, oh, I already went past it. I already scuttled on past it. Oh, I know I can't. Looks neat. Can't use the weapon art, you know, because... Okay, so it's got like a power-up mechanic on it and all that stuff. All right, well, let's... Uh... It's always like ex explanation. Explanation. The moon great sword bestowed by a carrion queen upon her spouse to honor long standing tradition. One of the legendary armaments. Randy's sigil is a full moon, cold and leaden. This sword is but a beam of its light. Uh, raise the sword aloft, bathing it in the light of dark moon. Temporarily increase magic attack power and abuse the blade with frost. Charge attacks release blast of moonlight. You know. Well, you could easily make a build around it because you could just respec a lek a so, Saito, you were saying that, uh, that 
do you think it was intended for the devs to for us to talk amongst each other um sure that's fine i don't think that having a recent conversations with npcs in some type of like organized fashion much like a map would be in any way detrimental because all that's going to do is keep you focused on the game and i feel like more often than not people aren't conversing for the sake of solving something they're just looking shit up online to get the solution i, th I think you probably see far less people talking about it but i agree with you and i think that that is that is something that they probably did intend to some degree or they didn't or they didn't but anyway the point is i don't think it really matters because again i don't think it i don't think it matters either way because you have just having recent quest dialogue or npc dialogue i don't think that would hurt again i don't think people were asking for like giant arrow that points you to where you go next i think they were asking for like i can't remember i've been playing this game for 60 hours i started a quest 40 hours ago and i can't for the life of me remember where they were right and that ha that already happened to us with uh what's his name the bloody finger hunter that happened to us. We we missed like his entire quest line because I couldn't remember where the hell he was. And his quest line's not long. It's maybe three or four entries, so it's not a big deal. But still, uh, yeah, you're a um, yeah. I mean, we completely missed it. Like, cause we ran into we ran into like his like doppelganger thing and whatever. And I guess like maybe we triggered an invasion somewhere or something. So I think he ended up like dying. So like his body double or whatever was there. But that's again. That would have been great if, like, I could have checked it and been like, I, sp I last spoke with Blank here. And not even here. Just about what I spoke to him about, and then maybe I could run into him somewhere else. Um, yeah, and so that's something that I think Ams brings up. He talks brings up the markers. Um, the markers are available, and those are really good. Uh, I think that's great that those, those exist. And But I would also say that most people who were... Most people who were probably who have now been playing for a little while uh, probably didn't even know that that was a thing. Right. They did, And like I you guarantee going forward, I will be doing that on subsequent playthroughs. But like. So it may not be the end of that quest. Yeah. It, so it might not be. Sib. that's true. But, uh, but either way, it doesn't help in the confusion of it because you're like, oh, shit, like whatever. And I'm not, I didn't expect, I even said going into this, I didn't expect to do any of the quests. Like, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't expect to do any of them correctly in any way. I'm actually surprised that we've done any of these correctly at all, but. And that's okay. Like, it's, it's fine. Like, that didn't bother me. I think, I think that's the other problem too, is I think some people are just not, they're not thrilled with the fact that they're going to miss shit. You know what I mean? And, like, that that's ultimately on them. Like, you, you can't really... Oh, God. You can't really do anything about that. Like, people are going to be... Be how they're going to be about that, whatever. Uh, you know, you're not going to be able to say, like, Oh, hey, <laughs> it's okay to miss quests and stuff. You can always do it on a subsequent playthrough. That's not going to be sufficient for some people, but still. It's, it's worth noting, right? And also, all of your opinions on this are valid. I'm not saying anybody's wrong or anything like that. Because you're not. I mean, I think that this is... It's just a good discussion to have because I feel like there's a lot of like there's a lot of, there's a lot of butt salt around a lot of this and like a lot of it's from people who have never played from soft games and it's like yeah you kind of have to understand that their shit's like it's janky but it's like charming to an extent sometimes it's not as charming <laughs> sometimes it's just annoying but you know But I guess it falls into that same category of people who you know, jack off about how rich the story is, and then they're like, the same people leaving comments that are like, can't wait for Vadi to make the video on it so I know all the lore, and it's like... What? <laughs> You're like, wait a minute, so... What? <laughs> so you didn't, you didn't go and actually seek it out yourself, you're just fascinated by the fact that it exists, I guess, and you'll wait for somebody else to tell you about it? Like, I don't know, that always seemed weird to me, too. What the hell are the crystalline assholes doing here? Jeez Louise. A wild world out here. I did see a video of somebody doing this guy at uh, 
base soul level and uh <laughs> base soul level and like no hit no upgrades i'm like great i'm like these guys are wonderful But yeah, I think I think like annotation features or like a like a journal feature and stuff like that in a big open world game like this and probably one of the bigger open world games that we've seen in recent history. I, I don't think that more robust annotation features or some type of log that actually cataloged NPC conversations, because if anything, something that cataloged NPC conversations could at least help people who maybe aren't as good at piecing together stuff. They can go back and read through it, you know, like it's like, oh, that's cool. And they could reread dialogue that maybe they went through to just to reread it. I mean, like that. God, I mean, that is like I love when games have that, especially as like a streamer, because there's so many things I miss sometimes because I'm on rants like this. Y'all, it is so fucking hot and I've got the AC on and like I hate it. It just made me so grumpy tonight. I'm so sorry. It's supposed to be fun, fun, happy time. This is the first time I've been grumpy on stream in a bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just it was so hot today and like I'm so not looking forward to it. Fucking butt sweat. Just awful, terrible. Can't stand it. Well, I'm dead. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, that runes, echoes, souls, whatever the fuck you're called. Don't care. <sighs> Thorian from soft game. Little nasty man goes and fights God. Maybe wins. Did <laughs> never wins. Oh. In the Horizon stuff makes me salty because it's such a good game. Guess chalk it up to different taste. I don't think anybody in chat said anything bad about Horizon. I think people just just didn't gel with it as much, which like, yeah, Horizon's definitely not my like. I, I tried playing the first game and I just I just could not. I just, I just couldn't care and and like I hated that because I was like I know this is clearly a good game. I just I just can't care. And I wish people would also just let. People who were like, oh, I bounced off hard of Elden Ring, be like, okay. That's fine. Like, that's okay, too. That's it's cool. You know, like, I, I don't know why there's so many, but the, it's just, it's just my, my sports team and people got to rant and rave about it and whatever, you know. Holy shit. God damn, they're like four million miles away. <laughs> yeah, no, not everything gonna be for everyone, and there you go. But also I think I think dialogue on why things work versus why they don't work is also pretty important too, so. But I I try not to get too mired in it. This this game. There's a lot of reasons I could end up irritated with Elden Ring in general, but like, I just don't because whatever, <laughs> because it doesn't matter. Did we make it down here yet? I know this door over here is sealed. I'm not sure why, so I guess I'll try to figure that out. Yeah, and that's that's what I was saying earlier, and I don't know if Andy Gaffari ever chimed in on that because I know they were seek seek three great wise beasts. You must solve the puzzle to enter. Okay. Well, the only ones I can think of because uh, I, I didn't know if they had clarification on what they were talking about of the devs being weenies, if it was more people or if it was just the one. Well, the great wise beasts could be. Could be the turtles. Could be the dragons. I think I think it's just straight up Ninja Turtles. Ah, dog or dog or dog. Great. There's three turtles right there. But I don't think I don't think they would want us to slay the turtles. <laughs> the Pweet Dogs. 
But anyway, I, I'll, I'll move off of the subject. I know that I, I've been I've been a bit of a grumpus bumpus anyway, so talking about grumpus bumpus topic is probably not the best uh, best for me anyway. I don't want to I don't want to kill these turtles, but there are three of them out here. Bro, if you make me, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill these dudes, and I'm gonna feel terrible about it. But I just have to check now because I don't want to. I don't want to look. I don't want to look up the solution to this. So, damn, got that neck meat. There were four of them. This wasn't even the correct solution. I have to kill them all. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Nothing. Nothing happened here. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> nothing. Nothing happened at all. You know what, dude? Oh, you know I'm sweating like a dog when like I move my shirt and it goes like because it's like squeaking because I'm just dumping fucking sweat. Look, everybody, they're back! Yay! Good, good for them. These messages. I, I don't know about here. I feel like I feel like here is probably not the solution. What if I just gun, gundle scundle over here? Dead. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, you know what, dude? I have to open the door. Jeez. Oh. You like having heat flashes? Nah, dude. I live in I live in fucking Columbia, South Carolina, which is just the butt crack of the goddamn universe. Anyway, I don't live in beautiful anywhere else in this goddamn country. Death. Okay, death. I would assume. Maybe you, maybe you have to kill three turtles, right? Like maybe there are four of them. And you only you only kill three or you kill one. I don't know. I, I, feel, I have a feeling it has to do with these turtles somehow. And turtles are pretty wise. Smart dudes. All right. Well, I haven't seen any. I haven't seen any turbo turtles around here. Anybody want to buy property in beautiful Columbia, South Carolina? Come live down here in the, the butt <laughs> the butt crack of the universe. While the homeless set a transformer on fire. Man. Yeah, we definitely don't have to definitely don't have that going on. Look carefully required ahead. I don't know. I don't know what they. I don't know what they want for this. So you got, you got these turrets over here. How many are there? Oh, like all the blood stains here. <laughs> all the people like trying to turn around and look. They're like, oh. See, let's see what these say over here. Seek three great wise beasts. 
Maybe it didn't have anything to do with the turtles at all. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. No, 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 no. <sighs> Let there be dog. <laughs> Let there be dog. If they make me the king of Oregon, I'm building a wall around Portland and filling it with water. Maybe he's gonna flood the city. That's what you do. Maybe if I just like slowly kill myself over here. Wait. Are there... Are there more turtles than there were before? Are these like turbo turtles? Maybe some are bigger than others. Or maybe there's turbo turtles out here. Also, the only thing, the only other great wise beast I can think of would be the the three dragons or whatever. Also, did we go through here yet? There's some wolves. Well, this this area is just doo doo horse, doo doo horse with snoodle snails and God knows whatever else. Oh, you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let us let us scope the area one more time. See if we can find anything. I would imagine if the if there's a poozle right there, it probably isn't dependent on something else somewhere, so it's probably around here just need to figure out what uh what do damn you think it's these boys bird up i'm running around around the world guy we are going to show you so down all the boys and girls life comes at you fast it's pouring down here. My gosh, it's like knocking on my windows. God, <laughs> knocking off. The rain's coming in like, let me in, bitch. Had enough. That's what I was saying about the turtles. I didn't want to kill the damn turtles. I was like, shit, is this what we have to do? Thankfully, turtles, turtles came back, so it's okay. Uh... I don't, shit, I don't even know. I don't know what we're looking for here. Um, any great wise beast hangle dangling? Please just run off. Do exactly what I did. Do exactly as I did. I mean, I can see like the the short way down there. Not seeing giant dog anywhere. 
I mean, I would love to see Giant Dog. I'm out of here. I'm out of here looking for Giant Dog. That's <laughs> that is true. I think that's that's the that's like one of the biggest troubles I've had too with this port is I'm just like, please, please, I don't know if this is a bug or not. the fuck hey man how's it going i mean what do you want me to do you want me to kill this hey, what the hell was that all about you you jumped a little he's pretty terrifying i mean but he he's big do i just shoot him with an arrow like what are we doing here oh you don't have the right oh you don't have the right Ooh, you don't have the right. No, 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 no. Ooh, you don't have the right. No, you don't have the right. Well, I don't want to shoot him. Lock and load. Well, conveniently for me. <laughs> Convenient for me, I don't have to. Get him! Nice. Dark Souls. That's fucked up, dude. Fucked up! I'm gonna shoot giant dog off the. That's messed up. You think if I go check it now, it's like seek two? <laughs> it's just like it, it updates. It's like seek uh seek two giant B. <laughs> I wonder actually. Let's go find out. Now now I'm curious. This one's not that bad. I just feel like it doesn't. Seek three butts. Okay, so looking at the clue did not did not repop that one. So. I ain't got no frog. Hey. I'll trust any of this now. <laughs> Kentucky weather dropped from 80 to 35 like it saw a cop. I'm upset, dude. I'm upset. That is really funny, though. I like that. Like it saw a cop. Alright, I will ask for the people that have spent a bunch of time doing this. Are they all in the cliff sides or are they like just around here in general? I hope they're not like scattered all over the uh like all over this entire zone. That would suck. I mean you know what else sucks? Having to shoot the damn turrets. I asked Alexa what the weather was on Thursday, and she told me sunny with a high of 72, winter weather advisor in effect for 10 p.m. Thursday through Friday. Which how you go from 72 to snow? It's a great question. It's a great question. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Considering we've only done uh, one turtle, I 
feel like. I mean, my shit, dude. I'm about, I'm about to look this up. Cause I do not have the patience. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you guys don't know. That's supposed to know everything. All of it. Forever. Maybe it's my nudity. Do you think that scares them off? It might be. It might be. First one's clinging to a cliff side of the west of the tower entrance. Second one's on a small shelf jutting out of the cliff way to the east of the tower. The third and final turtle is to the north floating high up in the air with a wind gust under it so that you can reach it in, if you have no ranged weapon. Okay, so we did the we did the one cling to the side. Seconds on a small shelf jutting out the cliff way to the east of the tower. East of the tower. I'm going to guess by all of the death over here. I mean, this is where I, that that would make sense. Oh God. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> I love contributing to the death it always makes it always makes me feel like like I'm part of the hive mind and I'm just really I'm really really all, all about it about the bar visiting family hope y'all having a good what's up Dustin I don't even know if you can hear me but have a great night man you have frosty eat it eat it girl also as a reminder we are still doing frog hand and I'm wearing frog hat with the frog hand tonight because I'm just like, why not? Why not? Show me your frosties. Small shell jutting out the side of the east of the tower. Despair with the resub says, are the wheels real? Is the bus real? Are we real? Is this burrito real? The burrito is definitely real. That is like, there's no question about that in any way. So all of these seem like they should be taggable with um, melee weapons because that one, that, that last message seems to indicate that uh, it seems to indicate that they Uh, they want you to be able to, like, actually, you know, interact with them within melee if you don't have a ranged weapon, so... Because the first one, yeah, we probably could have hit without a ranged weapon, but... <laughs> Lady Scruggaloid looking thick tonight. Making some homemade fries, that sounds good, Ark. That sounds great, as a matter of fact. Welcome to There's Disney Despair's Games. recent. God damn, what is going on with that tonight? Just lagging. Is stream elements working? Is Has anybody had any, like, blowback on that where it's, like, not worked for you or whatever? If that ever happens, please just let me know. Not that there's anything I can do about it, but, you know, worth noting, I guess. How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? That kid. <laughs> that kid will always be remembered for that. It seems like maybe the turts are the, uh, the turts are like the indicator of where they are. Because if you pay attention to the little turtles, they're normally nearby. Uh, the thick, the thick boy. Big thicky the shrimp. Okay, so some turtoids over here. I need to tag the clue again. My PP is so fucking dry right now. Silence, wedge. Ah! I do not wish to be horny anymore. Probably easy to find those turtoids with frog hands. I don't think that's true. 
I don't think that any of that's true. I think this is all made up lie time that you've done. I think it's a made up time of lies that you have done and had had a Terry in a tussle. Let me, I'm going to get these. Uh... Do it, dude. Dude, dude, it's time to time to frog up. All right, hat. Engaged. Hands. Squaged. Thank you, Fair, for the fifteen dollars, and thank you again to Spare for the. Uh... I've gotten pretty good at navigating with frog hands. It's I've got I've got deft deft frog hands for sure. Everything's, everything's Silence, going wedge. I do not wish to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. All right, man, hot. So let's make him don the frog attire. I mean, that's fine at this point. Like it just adds more to the wet. You know what I'm saying? That's all it does. I'm just gonna roll this back to 30 minutes for you guys. I'm gonna save you a few seconds there. I hope you're cool with that. All right, thank you, Chi Quick, for the fifteen dollars. Suzanne got a point. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Double Frog. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's talk. Let's chat. Again, I apologize if I had some grump grumpus going on earlier. I, this happens sometimes. I do have a human brain. Also, I've had to stop looking at like most Elden Ring shit on Twitter, unless I post some dumb shit. That's it. That's about, that's about all I'm going to really look at. Okay, Turt 2 is... Ah, damn. All the way up there by an Everjail? Jeez, the glazy wizzy. Jez Guess what ISP did? Uh, you guessed it. Postpone my appointment again. Wow. You just leave Australia? <laughs> Actually, don't. Don't do that. Is that... I, 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 you know what, though? If America can get some of its shit together, it's a pretty good place to live. We just gotta kinda, you know... Get it together. Get it together! But no, thank you again, T-Quick and Annie Fairy for frogging me up. Honestly, the moisture of the frog hands at this point doesn't even matter. You know the worst part? The worst part is, like, I have to turn my fan up big time, like the ceiling fan. And then on top of that, with the AC running and everything, my eyes get so dry. Getting dry like Ben Shapiro's wife. Why his legs looking like that? Why he like turbo sploot? What the, I'm sorry, is that even correct? Uh. Oh yeah, no, he's swimming. Wow. That's majestic. Yeah! 360 non, non scoped. Got him. Got him. I don't know, man. Canada Canada has been like. I think, I think Canada. Canada had their moment of reminding everybody that they also have like problems and shit and also crazy people that live there. So. I think that was, that was a nice awakening for a lot of people to be like, oh, look, Canada also struggles with a bunch of shit and also has crazy people and also whatever. So I feel like that's uh, <laughs> I feel like that was kind of a kind of an eye opener for people recently. They're like, wow, look, look at that. Yeah, got him. All right, yeah, video games in 2022. He's having a good time. All right, well now we gotta get now we gotta get back down in some reasonable fashion, which the dragon's probably gonna kill us as we're doing that, but that's okay. Okay, we're over here just having a good time. Having a good time shooting a uh, mythical, mythical turtle beast with a crossbow. Oh, why would it not do? Oh my God. I'm over here mashing with my frog hands and it just didn't do. <laughs> I'm like, please double jump and it just didn't. You mean nowhere is perfect? What? Yeah, nowhere is, uh, nowhere is perfect. That's for sure. But some places are better than others. At least as far as some things go. I did love seeing that the Canadian counter protesters were blaring Little V's cover of Ram Ranch. I would like to just let's keep this from sticking. You know the frog hat always reminds me of the uh always reminds me of the uh the subathon and how fun that was. I really kinda wanna do something different with Shave It or Save It this year. I wouldn't mind doing like a subathon, but I have no clue. I have no clue how in the world we'd track that. Like I would love to do like a three like 
I mean, not even a three-day endeavor, like a however long endeavor it goes and just have the battle for the beard go on for like a week. I think that would actually be really funny. Uh, all right, so we're going to go look for turtle number three, who is allegedly over this way. I'll believe it when I see it. Frog hand. Frog hand. Is the frog hand timer even up? I had to cover up my OBS preview because uh, look at these damn look at these damn turrets. Where does she stand with the beard apocalypse? What do you mean? Oh, she like she likes my beard like uh like probably like a, a month or two after after shaving or saving. That's her uh That's her that's her preferred length. I would actually say I would actually say that that's kind of my preferred length too. One thing I don't like about shaving or saving is not having control over my beard for like the entire year. That that always feels shitty. Hope. Oh, nope. Uh, the subathon for 14 was a week. We streamed for a week straight. This feels like this is where it's supposed to be. Uh, this is allegedly exactly where it's supposed to be. And we have not had to do repeat kills of anything. Maybe it's down, it's down cheer. I thought it would be on that ledge right up there, but I guess not. Uh, no, I didn't get, I didn't get this one because it didn't, it didn't show up. Well, that sucks. Did it? Did it say the seal was broken? How? No, we never killed the second turtle. All we did was kill the one on the cliff side and the one over there, the, the one at the top. So like, y'all, what the fuck? When did we kill the second one? Yeah, there's three turrets. I, we never killed the third one. No, like, I, okay, look, I have, there's a lot of moments where I'm like, where I'm like, okay, maybe I did something and like, whatever, roll the footage back. I did, no. How in the world did I do that? I know for a fact we didn't kill the one on the ledge because I specifically looked over there and because somebody was like, maybe you have to tag the seal again. What? I. That's horrible. <laughs> that is absolutely horrible. Yeah, maybe one of the dragons killed it. I, I have no idea. That's that's absolutely terrible. Like, normally I wouldn't say that. Like, that was pretty bad. <laughs> A, it's not super intuitive, but I appreciate th the first turtle. Honestly, that puzzle could really just be like seat great beast and have it just be like one hanging out the side or something like that. I think that would have been okay. I don't think we needed. <laughs> I don't think we needed to have to run around or whatever. What a mod that changes a random location text to Wendy's. Do it, man. I haven't had Wendy's in forever. I did see they had like a Nashville hot chicken or something like that. Now I was like, oh, bro. Ranny's Dark Moon. Wait a minute. Oh, Ranny's Dark Moon. Okay, that's a uh, little bit, little bit pointless for us, but for Castorellos, that's pretty good. Ranny's Dark Moon incarnate a, in, incarnate a cold Dark Moon and launch it at foes. 
which is, seems very similar to the uh, legendary sorcery associated with the Carrion Queen. Uses the caster as a vessel to incarnate a cold dark moon, then sends it floating forward. Oh, the dark moon dispels all sorcery that touches it and temporarily reduces magic damage negation for those it strikes. This moon was uh, encountered by a young Rani, led by the hand of her mother, Ranala. Uh, what she be what she beheld was cold, dark, veiled, and occult mystery. I I would agree with that, Fairy. Uh, however, um, I do remember KFC KFC's Nashville hot being really it tasted good. Um, but like typically, and I don't say this very often, that made me like poop my brains out. Uh, and I even with UC, that doesn't happen to me as often as you'd think. That yeah, that one that one put me into the the butt. Just butt death. Yeah, I can't think of anything from a fast food place that was, like, particularly hot, like, ever. Oh, yeah, dude. Sorcery's... Sorcery's nuts. The stuff people have pulled off is absolutely insane. I <laughs> thought somebody put up this guy that was, like, here's how to defeat Margit at, like, soul level one. And they parried, like, everything. And I'm like, oh yeah, good guide. I was like, that's good for all the people that are probably looking up a guide. Just parry it. I'm like, that's good. That's good. That's going to be really helpful to all those people that are trying to get some help with something that you're just dumb. <laughs> like, I was like, good, good one, dude. That's good. That's very helpful for everybody. Very, very, very helpful. Oh, we wanted to cha uh, change this, right? Because I think I was thinking about doing... Uh, I want to do Blood Slash, but I also don't want to lose... Quality at this point is just not doing, not doing us like any favor. I mean, it kind of is like it's just the stat investment for the the gain is so marginal, because that's what two hundred five to three sixty two. So let's say that is what five hundred and five hundred and sixty seven. I think five hundred and sixty seven. Uh, and then keen, which is just dex, is what that's two fifty plus two forty so is what uh, four ninety. God, I mean, for what? Like, for 68? I mean, that is a decent amount. Like, 60 AP is pretty good. Like, never go in the comments on Fextra Life. You could literally make a YouTube series of reacting to Fextra Life comments. Have you tried just parrying it forehead? <laughs> yeah, because here's the weird part about Keen scaling, right? So, right now... Oh my god, does Keen, is Keen not even, like... Yeah, it's standard scaling, I think, is better than going Keen scaling. That's really weird. Should even heavy scale it. God damn, that's weird. But the big problem with this is if we drop if we drop that uh, blood build up because the the way that this works right now is I think arcane stuff doesn't actually scale the damage of the weapon. Pretty sure that it is strictly just like bleed build up whatever. There's some testing I want to do with that exactly, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know just yet. Yeah, I'd hate to lose my 78 blood loss build up, but I do feel like while Sapuku is really good, blood slash. I don't know. Blood Slash just... I mean, it hits like a truck. Because I would actually say, like, Blood Slash with quality scaling or keen scaling would probably be... God, the strength scaling is so much better on that. But we need to drop strength down to, like, 40 anyway, because anytime, anytime we're doing anything, we're two-handing weapons. So that's, that's a big investment that I'm basically missing out on right now. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. Arcane weapons are broken. Yes, that is uh, that is true. Um, but it is native arcane scaling weapons. But there might also be some confusion on exactly how arcane works. Uh, so that's something I think people are doing testing on right now. Because I don't know if people actually understand exactly how arcane is supposed to work. Uh, Alright, well hey, we did, uh, we did uh, Ran Ranjani's, uh, Ranjani's Questicles. So that's cool. And uh... Hey, Kunzer, what's up? No, it's not just discovery. No, it, it also contributes to blood loss, bleed up, and stuff. B blood loss, build up, and things like that. To be specific, hemorrhage is what it's called, which is cool and everything, but like that's also like a lot to say. So just come on. <laughs> so like, come on. Uh, yeah, I guess let's go. We'll go respec. Yeah. So like the. Uh, yeah. Like if you look at like. The twin sword that does bleed damage, um, that one doesn't scale correctly for anything. Like, it's basically worthless right now. 
Uh, Rivers of Blood is effectively worthless. And when I say worthless, it doesn't mean that, like, they're just garbage and they should never be used or, like, whatever. But, yeah, I mean, there, there's some, there's definitely some broken-ass stuff that they need to figure out. Okay, so we definitely want to go to 60, 60 decks. That's where we're gonna, that's where we're gonna stop that. Uh, I want to do 40 strength as opposed to the 52 that we have currently. Like, it's great, it's great that this increases, but, like, I'm not gonna need that for one-handed stuff anyway. And this also leaves a bunch of, uh, two-handed options should be, should we end up going down that road. So, and so we got our uh, thing back there. Get up to 18-ish endurance. Well, it doesn't leave us doesn't leave us a lot. So the arcane scaling is it is it is contributing damage because we wouldn't we wouldn't see actual damage increase if that wasn't the case. Uh, this this should help us out regardless because this will actually contribute a little bit more damage all all the same. So. It's not, this isn't like a major respec, but I'm going to start pumping Arcane here, I think. Uh, and just testing out, testing out the difference, like, of blood loss bleed up. Bleed, bleed, oh, I can't talk tonight. Blood loss build up. Hide. So let's, uh, let's take a peek. See if, I, I don't know if it actually changed. So it was, what, 78 before? I think it was 78 before. So it is, it is giving us a little bit of scaling, but... Yeah, it's mainly gonna be because it just this just uh, straight up just doesn't even work. <laughs> like I, just, I don't understand. Uh, granted, we don't have the requirements for that because it's twenty arcane, but no, these just they just don't even work. Weirdly enough, it's so strange that like Moonvale and stuff like that works, which I really hate. What happened to Moonvale? Moonvale's kind of become like about that. Uh, only the noob use Moonvale. That's the new Drake sword. I'm like, is it though? Is it any worse than like Crescent Falchion? Because it's not like. Whatever, dude. It's a it's a it's a weapon that's like, it's. The, I'm actually working on like some like a guide thing for that right now, and Moonvale's involved, but really the meteoric blade is the one that actually is kind of the focus of it initially. But the point is, I um, I I would agree. It takes way 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 more investment to be anywhere near as good as the Drag Sword was for early game stuff. But Moonvale is like the big thing that people that ah, death the noob stick. Just stupid. Only duty diaper baby used it. See, when I played the Dark Soul, I go in with my bare fist and cock rock hard, and you rip it off to use it as basketball bat. It's like, okay, cool. Cool. But no, I'm working on like a like early sorcery, like get get stupid strong really early and get a nice base. Uh, for like all the way all the way through mid game when you'll have more than enough runes and everything like that because the, the the route I've got right now will net you like 280,000 souls without really doing anything uh, so it gets you about 280k without really investing anything into anything else uh, it's gonna get you like an extremely good like casting stick it's gonna get you like a really good uh, really good like spread of spells that will basically decimate all the early bosses and uh, yeah Moonvale's involved but like you don't have to use Moonvale. You could definitely use like Meteoric Blade or like any of the other good int scaling things. But no, I've got I've got this neat thing. I'm, I'm actually excited for people to see that. I think it, I think it'll be cool because I've decided I want to do stuff like that where I'm like, okay, hey, I'm gonna tell you in the first like few hours. Uh, here's a route to basically get like a really strong this that or whatever. You want a good Dex build? You want a good Strength build? You want a good Arcane build, which you can't do right now, really. Um, you want a good Int build, Faith build, that kind of stuff. Because I figure people would probably be, um. Yeah. Oh. Saw TikTok earlier today of three guys going into the Renala fight and just stun locking her to death before she could move. Top comment is this was is this fun for you? I mean, I hope I would imagine so. Yeah. And we still got twelve minutes on Frog Hand. Alright, we need to do something. So there was something I was gonna do. What was it, chat? Because now I don't remember. Now I don't remember at all. I want to put. Oh, you know what we could do, for uh, for. Oh, you know I've actually I've actually got a great idea. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna keep Sapuku on the rapier that we have, and we're gonna use that as like our big blood loss buildy boy. Um, and then I'm gonna swap the Uchi over to the. Yeah, let's do that. Oh no, never mind. Uh, there we go. Put Blood Slash on this. We're gonna keep the blood build up on it, because I do like the bleed more than anything else, really, because the, the damage difference between going between this and Keen is not gonna 
the damage difference between those two is in no way going to make up for the fact that this weapon bleeds like every other hit and it's only going to get worse like in terms of just damage dealt also in terms of uh, like stuff i wanted to use as far as like bleed i really wanted to do this thing the godskin stitcher uh that's like a fantastic that's a fantastic pokey sword so oh we're already good yeah we're uh we're good on that one. i think i have Sapuku going with that yep cool <laughs> Dustin, it's because you're you're using like one of the only arcane weapons in the game that actually works, and when it works really well, it's probably one of the best weapons in the game actually. Like especially if you get two of them. Oh my god, that shit! Like the Reduvia blades are insane. They are absolutely insane. <laughs> like they are uh, they're fucking nuts. I think there's a reason you only get one through like a standard playthrough because my god, dual wielding those things. Oh Jesus Christ! Even after they nerfed it, they're still. I mean, they're un unbelievable. They are genuinely probably one of the best sets of weapons you can get. Cause like, holy, holy shit. Those things bleed as fast as like the bleed setup that we have right now, which is bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. And it's got a ranged bleed too, which is also hot. It's good. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I like the Rituvia blade. I actually considered using it. We invested into Arcane pretty early for it, but I ended up not wanting to do uh, not wanting to do daggers. Yeah, man, those those things do not fuck around. I just feel bad for people who are trying to use the twin bleedy blade and the uh, and rivers of blood because you ain't you ain't using those is what is <laughs> like. I mean, you can. It's just, they're just not they're just not particularly good. They don't scale. What's up, gamers? And that is why I wanted blood slash back. That is disgusting. Blood Slash is so fucking good. Ray, another sacred tear. <sighs> yeah, no, yeah, Rivers of Blood is, is worthless. Did you find the Rot Dagger past the Rot Lake? Rot dagger. You talking about the rot? Ra I know there's a rot rapier. Talk about that one. Oh no, the dagger. Yeah, I think we did. <laughs> yeah, poison scales off arcane too. Oh, the scorp stinger. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah. There's a. I actually need one of those for an early, whatever. What up, Melina? Spoken echoes of Queen Marika. Linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? Tag me in, dude. Dude. America's own words. Then, after thy death, I will give back what I once claimed. Return to the lands between. <sighs> Wage war. And brandish the Elden Ring. Grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord. You ever notice how milky, uh, how milky Eldenanus' skin is? Anybody else just mesmerized by that? Shall I tell or is it just me? Let my hand rest. Share them with me. Thanks, homie. Oh, it's so goddamn milky, dude. Have a look at on, uh, have a look at on upgrade stones. Okay, we have sevens. We have a few eights. We might actually have enough seven and eights now to get this thing up. Back to round table hold, which hang on. There's a, there's a quicker way to get here. Sights of grace. And then we do. That's chill. That's chill. That's chill. I wasn't trying to just, you know, just trying to go home, but that's fine. <laughs> just try just trying to go home, but I, I feel you. Oh, it's just Y and then X. That's nice. Looks slippery when wet? Yeah. Poison Rot feels useless except for cheesing with bolts and arrows. Uh, the faith-based spell, the Rot Breath or whatever the hell it's called, Dick Rot Breath, that one's pretty stupid. Uh, you can cheese some pretty... You can cheese some crazy stuff early on with that. Okay, we can get, uh... 
Bastard Stars, which is a flail. Imbue the natural born stars of the magic to perform a sweeping strike. This attack leaves a dark cloud of stars in its wake that linger briefly before exploding. Flail which deals magic damage, having been imbued with power by the remembrance of Astol, formed by the same many colored star debris that com comprised the form of the natural born of the void. So another another int based weapon that looks pretty good. There's Ash of War Waves of Darkness, which is usable on great axes, warhammers, and colossal weapons, and looks pretty neat itself. Uh Yeah, it seems neat. Yeah, I bet the oh, dude, there are some unflapping believable uh I don't think we're gonna be getting either of those, uh, so we'll probably be popping popping the boy for uh for its its sales. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm gonna utilize any of those things. Which I know this, this probably kills people's soul. It's alright. We're doing that on it. This is our first run. I don't really care about some of this stuff, so if we have a more focused build later, we'll do that. Flail does sound cool, yeah. For an int build, that sounds sweet. There's some good uh there's some good in stuff out there, man. I'll take you for dead. All right, all right. We do have enough. Look at that. We'll put us up to... Uh, plus 22. And now we need more of the eights. But once we get past the eights, I guess we'll need nines as well. But at least we have the at least we have the slab, so to speak. I guess if you want to call it that. The slab. Uh, New Game Plus seems to be exactly how it is in every other game. So nothing, uh, nothing crazy. I don't think there's anything like major differences. We need to get over to this area, whatever the hell this is, because I haven't done that yet. Um, need to get over to here, which I think is one of the later game areas. Return the slab. So suffer my curse. So the Scrungulon's in the coffin, right? I want that flail. Scrung oh, like if you go through Rot Dick? Yeah. Oh, did you mean there's a prompt for it like Dark Souls 2? Begin Journey 2 to Dranglaic 2? Dark Souls 2? Dranglaic 2? I will never, I'll never understand what the hell was going through their brain when they made that. <laughs> like, I have never ever in my life looked at something and I'm like, why the hell is there like a number 2 in there? And then it's like lowercase and it's like, it is the strangest verbiage I've ever seen. It's so weird. Like, just very, very weird. We never did go left up here, which is really funny. Because we came here, and we immediately went up, fought that stupid dragon, and then we were like, oh, well, guess I'll leave. <laughs> guess I'll go elsewhere. Were people really worried they weren't going to have a prompt? Because, like, they've had a prompt in every game since... Uh, yeah, because Dark 2 had it, Dark 3 had it. Dark One does not have it. But then again, Dark One's kind of like a dead-end road Welcome anyway. I don't really know, mates. like... <laughs> you walk down there, you beat Gwen, it's like, I guess I'll walk away. Because <laughs> the walk away also ends the game, so there you go. 55 freaking months, where does the time fly? Thank you, house, for the 55 months. Welcome back aboard the bus. Hope you enjoy the ride. Yeah. Thank you, house. I appreciate it. Oh, is that a stone sword key? All oh, right, all right. I don't know how I feel about the stone sword key system. I think... I think I like it. But at the same time, it kind of reminds me of Fragrant Branches of Yore. And... I don't know. I just I feel like for like a first time exploration, it's not too bad. On more focused runs, it can be kind of annoying. But then again, I guess that just adds to the, adds to the routing aspect of it. And just knowing when you need to get keys and stuff. Alright, game on gamers. Let's do... Do I, even, do I even have my rapier equipped? I, sh I absolutely do not. Gonna, gonna need that for uh, big fat bleeds in case whatever. Should just put parry on it and just said call it a day on that. Oh good, these assholes, my favorite. Good, good, I love these guys. Wow. Fucking 1,233 damage on Blood Slash. And it's got range, baby. And it builds up bleed. And I have a feeling this is going to be ridiculous. It's got a Felio and a Helios, man. It forces some fuck around before you can find it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I appreciate you guys all being here. I know I've said this like every night. Uh... 
sure there's some Elden fatigue out there from people who are probably trying to avoid it to some extent. Probably just like, oh my god, we're still, we're still fatiguing. We're still, we're still ranging. But I'm still ranging because I'm still enjoying it. And I think that that's very important, so... I'm definitely, definitely having a good time, and uh, we'll continue to do this until we probably wrap this up. That's not to say that we won't be streaming Elden Ring again. The, ne the next time we stream this, it may be a bit more of a focused run, and I wouldn't mind doing maybe a YouTube playthrough be before. Okay, some of the delayed strikes in this have hit, like, comical points where I'm just like, excuse me? You know, I actually was doing, so in the interest of doing some of those like early game builds and getting people set up for like magic or decks or strength or whatever the hell it is. Strength is the one I actually know the least on right now and I need to figure out a good route for that. Anyway, uh, because they're not intended to be like, this is your build for the rest of the game. It's like, this is going to probably, it's like this build will probably carry you to like mid to late game and then you can kind of go from there, right? Like that's the intent of those guides, much like the plus nine weapon before Vort. Anyway, uh, what was I talking about? I don't even know. God, what were we talking about? Yeah, so maybe maybe like a more like focused like YouTube run would be fun. Uh, I also would love for the game to get like, I I, I worry about the people who think this game is gonna get like heavily patched. Um, even Dark Two would probably have the most patches for its like player versus player stuff and whatever, and arguably made some really poor decisions that have impacted PVE in a very negative way. God, Blood Slash is so ridiculous. Um, I don't know if they'll do that much, like, balance patching. And I kind of hope... I kind of hope they don't to a degree. Like, part of me wants part of me wants them to... For some things. And then part of me, I'm just like, dude, it's, just a, it's a fucking PvE game. Like, mostly. You know, naturally, like, the bulk of what's going to be happening is single player, effectively. So I always feel weird when like a ton, tons of like balancing patches and stuff like that come out for single player games. It always feels strange to me. Cuz I, I know I know some people, you know, were upset about what happened with like faith faith-based stuff, right? Which I mean, which is understandable. I, I get that. I I totally get that um you know, I totally get that people would be upset about that. I think the little roll-off point that they wanted was probably over here, so it's surprising the message was over there. Oh, I see it. Oh, that's neat. I don't think that's doable, but... Oh, I also want to get right, right there, so that's neat. I think, I think some people are, Luigi. I... What's interesting is I saw I saw that some people who used to try to do like Souls PvP stuff kind of moved on to games I guess that actually had like a proper scene that like I guess wouldn't die out or whatever like they went over to do like fighting games and stuff like that and had fun with those so that's good you know that I'm I'm happy for those people yeah I guess you could technically hit the roll like here it's a bit of a that's a bit of a weird one I think that is maybe the intended way though. I, don't know, I just want to get to the other side and go touch this thing. Go touch this gray. Uh, <laughs> rattling paint. Apologies. Well, I think a lot of people get discouraged with Souls PvP stuff because more often than not, uh, what ends up happening is like you, most people's experiences with it are due to the way the invasion system works. They their introduction to it so like we're all familiar with it like whatever right but their introduction to it is normally someone getting invaded who doesn't know what they're doing getting invaded by somebody who is acutely aware and very intently trying to make the most powerful thing in that soul level bracket as they can you know so you're you're dealing with that and uh and that, that's not you know super great for people but it is a bit of i was just gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy and just keep just trading blue just, just keep trading. Don't do fuego. Get out of here. Now, based off of the rules, I'm gonna play like Goofy Man over here, and Jesus, fucking hit so hard. I don't think I wish it had sometimes like a little bit of hyper armor, but that's okay. I understand why it doesn't. Oh, I just realized we let the healer thing live. <laughs> that's really funny. Technically, you should take out the perfumers before anything else. Uh, we didn't. 
we, we let that stupid thing stay buffed. <laughs> stay buffed and like maybe get healed here and there, whatever. That's funny. Oh shit, I'm out of frog hand. Hot dang. But no, I, uh, uh, frog hand and frog hat liberated. I wonder the furry was aggressive. Yeah, the, I mean, the Renduvian daggers, I'm sure, have showed up a good bit. There's, there's other, there's other weapons that are way worse. Um, apparently the katana from, uh, one of the last bosses is, is pretty bad. Uh. Which is really unfortunate because I would I would be okay with that existing. I really hope they don't end up changing it dramatically or something for you know the sake of like PvP, right? That would suck. I'm actually curious about this right here. If this is like a fold or if that's intended to be like a road. No, it's like a fold in the map. Oh, no, it's a zonal thing. I think. <sighs> no more frog hands. Is that NMF. Nice. But, yeah. Yeah, so I, I can understand where people's frustration comes comes from with PvP with this game is that, you know, if it's a newer person, like I said, you're, you're almost always going to be getting invaded by somebody who is intently focused on making something very powerful, whereas uh, you are just, like, playing through the game. Now, that's, that's effectively alleviated in Elden Ring because unless you're co-oping, you're never going to see an invader. I haven't done any multiplayer. None. I I have not done any, and I don't really know if I mean I might like if we stream this again or whatever. But no, I don't think I will for uh I don't think I will for like unless Yeah, unless we do like some co-op shit. I don't think I'll do any PvP in this. I just don't think I'm interested in it. With the with the way Scarlet Rot works and some other things, I just I don't think I care. Like I can only see that being just just annoyances almost all the way through. Kind of makes me wonder, too, about, like, the, uh... Where does this lead? This goes to the... Oh, this is that big Coliseum area. I never did find the tower of... The, the tower over here in Kaled. Never did find that. Never did find it. Also, Blood Slash on these guys is absolutely hilarious because sometimes you can hit both of their legs and uh, it just does a ton and it's really funny. I might have actually been it right there. Oh, this like big Coliseum thing up here? Has nobody figured out what to do with this yet? Oh, okay. See, I thought that maybe I just didn't have the requisite item or something like that. I just figured as much. That, that's interesting. I thought people had already probably figured that out. Where is the tower? Is that the tower over there? I think it is, yeah. Never did, never did go to it. And I, I don't need to go in the well. I need to go to, I don't need to go to Celia either. I think Fort Ferreth is probably the closest. Maybe PvP signs show up in front of Jarman, but they're hard to spot. Uh, they're, those are NPCs though, right? Because we saw those, we saw those early on. I just didn't know exactly what they were for. Oh yeah, because Fareth is where the dragon is, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, I have a feeling there's actually there's actually a really fast route you can do to get to this guy. There's actually a couple uh, bleed weapons you can pick up too if you start on a class that doesn't have a bleed weapon, so you can cheese him pretty easy. I tried to come up with some different methods for that that hadn't seemed to have been covered a ton in YouTube. Because, I mean, people have talked about killing the dragon thing earlier, but uh, sometimes it's very, very, uh, hinges very heavily on picking a certain starting class or something like that. And I tried to 
look at some alternative progression paths for people so they can easily pick up something to help with that or whatever. There's several dragons down here that just kind of exist, and I don't really know what they're doing. Oh, there's two of them. Neat. That's fun. Your daddy is gone. What will you do? Oh, papa. I've actually been meaning to see how many blood slashes it takes to stagger these guys. Quite a few from the looks of it. I mean, God, he, he's almost dead. These also don't seem to have any breath attacks. Maybe. I do remember that. <laughs> I, like, I like the term breath weapons. <laughs> Fucking, I, I still screw the timing up on that sometimes. Dodge a little, dodge a little too early. A little too early. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. I'm just gonna walk away from this one, I think. Cause you know, I just, this is a bad day. Bad day, I'm having a, I'm having a, a Terry and a tussle and I'm out of here. Oh yeah, that's true. I forget the dragon, the dragon heart stuff. That's a good point. How in the world did you get over here? That's impressive. God, I'm not even upset. Bro, is that a crow's nest over there? I don't even think I don't even think the crows are in this game. Which is actually kind of sad when you think about it. But it's not a, it's not a Souls game. So I understand. Also, thank you again to everybody who's frog hands and whatnot tonight. I really do appreciate it. You guys are wonderful. But you already knew that. Boy, this, this tower suck. <laughs> whoever's, whoever's in charge of working here, God. Imagine, get, imagine getting your, this is your post assignment. Like, you need to work at Kayla Tower. It's like, oh my God. There's probably so many secrety secrets and shit just like strewn around this tower. Or there's not. Or they're not assholes and they didn't do that. Yeah, we did two of Martha Rose, but at the same time, I felt terrible because I'm like, I feel like this is probably. <laughs> I was like, I feel like this is probably for something, and we just screwed this up. The Divine Tower of Kaelid. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Frog hands, the beautiful. Man, people are gonna miss that door. Holy shit! Wow. Like, people are gonna miss the hell out of that. Frog hands. Uh, I'm gonna take off Fangy for a little bit. Fangy takes a lot of equip weight, and we almost never use it, so. But Fangy, Fangy is part of our identity for sure. God, you know who's another quest that like we almost just we just like completely missed, like almost all together. Uh, was what's his face? Um, God damn, I can't think of his name now. Uh, who's the who's the wolf man? I'm, I'm drawing a blank on his name. Bidoof, Balgruf, whatever. Whatever his name is, uh, we completely missed him. Like, because the first time we even saw him was at uh, Radan's house. Yeah, Blade. There you go. Or Blight or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, no, he's, he's completely missed him. 100%. Didn't even, didn't even know you could interact with him early game. 
like no clue okay so radon's rune is hp fp and stamina so radon's is ring of favor and protection Morgoth's is effectively the i think it's the five the five great rune. Oh, wow i didn't know we had done all those already well i guess i guess we need to inquire about burning the thorns or something He's right outside Ronnie's tower. So you would encounter him much earlier if you went and did all the Ronnie stuff like. So the reason we didn't see him was we didn't mess with Ronnie until uh, after. Um, we, yeah, we didn't we didn't mess with Ronnie until like way after we had done like Rodan and everything like that. Well, I knew he's tied to Ronnie, and that's why when she was talking about him, I'm like. Oh, cool. The dude from, like, Radon's place, right? <laughs> That's all I'm thinking of. I'm like, oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh... Oh, no, he 100% has his own, like, short, like, quest line or whatever. Yeah, no, yeah, several, several people are tied to Ranjango. Randy Annapolis. Well, you know what I got on a random uh, deleted character? On, like the first drop. You know the uh, the rider dudes who have the big curved great swords? Uh, I killed two of them. I got like several pieces of their set. And then on top of that, I also got uh, the, d the dismounter or whatever it is. And I'm like, I love how on this character that's not even going to be using this, I got like all this fantastic gear and the dismounter and all this other shit. I'm like, of course, right? How could, how could it have been anything else? At least you can res people. I mean, that's nice, right? So, I think you can do that at least. It's a really good thing that the blood the bloody slash does not stagger as hard as you think it would. Because uh, that would be so unfair. It can stagger, it just requires a lot more. Yeah, I, I do know that the first merchant has something to do with it. I, I couldn't remember what it was though, off the top of my head. Like the guy, the guy at like the Church of uh, Els or Ella or whatever the hell it is. Like that merchant. Yeah, I think he. I think he has some dialogue on it or something. That one's also pretty vague. See, that would be another. That'd be another good instance where just having the dialogue of the character like saved in a little log once you've talked to him that you could reread it. Which also, I feel like would probably be like because somebody brought that up the other day and they're like because it was in the whole like quest log discussion right and i'm thinking about that and i'm like no i think for people who are like hearing impaired that would probably also be very handy to have like a little journal that like logged the dialogue from people that way they could go back and reread it if they missed it i mean shit i know it would help me but i would imagine it would also help about the hearing impaired like a lot to have some way to re-reference what was written that way they could kind of mull on it a bit more I, that's just my take on it, but but I'm always a proponent of keeping uh of keeping things in game and not having to go and uh, pull it up on some external website. So if it's something that you know people are probably gonna go pull up anyway, you should probably make like a nice intuitive system that feels lore friendly and oh, shit. There's a carry a knight sword over here. These are neat. Uh, it says carrion grandeur, carrion royal prestige embodied in skill, transform blade into a magical greatsword and swing it down, can be charged to increase its power up by two levels. So this is a really neat, uh, this is a really neat sword. I like this a lot, actually. It's not a great sword, it's a straight sword, so, um, it's a really, really cool one. I appreciate also the fact that it's like... Scorpion Stinger. Scorpion Stinger comes from that boss, right? Or did it come from somewhere else down there? I bet I for for one of my routes, I've been trying to find something that uh, has rot buildup that's relatively easy to come by. So what he tells you is to go to the source of the wolf howling in the Mistwood and use an emote he gives you. It's in the area right past Rot Lake. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought we got it from the boss for some reason. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any way to cheesy wheezy in there. However, there are a couple areas that you can get to very, very, very early due to like the portal system or the way gates or whatever. Uh, there's there's a few out there that are pretty good. And d don't get me wrong, I like I like shit like uh, you know finding out things like later and being like, oh, that's cool. I didn't realize they did that here and whatever. But like, just being able to reference dialogue, I don't think is really ever bad. As a matter of fact, I feel like that's probably something that should maybe be an accessibility feature uh, for people. But whatever, this is my opinion. Oh, is he what points you to the Bloodhound uh, Everjail thing? Oh, the Jelly Shield. Shit, dude, I didn't know there was a jelly shield. Shit. There's so many things we picked up in this damn game that I don't even remember where they are. Like, I'm probably going to want to get them on another character, but like, I don't know where that is. Uh, Contagious Fury. Incite the jellyfish's wrath and allow its fury to flow through you. Raises attack power for a certain duration. Damn, dude. The jelly shield. How cool is that? Damn. This is, like, this is an early game, too. We could have we gotten... We could have gotten the carrion sword early. Could have gotten this early. But yeah, the carrion long sword's another good. Uh... The dude, the bloodhound knight is hilarious as a caster. Like it is probably one of the easiest encounters in those ever jails. It's basically roll backwards and spam your stupid spell and kill him. <laughs> That's just it. It's not really much to it. Oh, these enemies also are terrible. But they're only terrible if you encounter them uh, early game because, man. So for one of my like early build tests, uh, I did the run up to the magma worm. That is the OK. So, you know, the, the weird like alternate path you can take where you either go. You can either take the Dectus lift up to the Atlas Plateau or you can take the path that goes up the mountain. Uh, doing that path early game is a nightmare. <laughs> like <laughs> nightmare dude like oh my god especially those guys like they basically one shot you it is, it is, a, it is miserable absolutely miserable yeah we got that raw meat over here nice see this feels like something this feels like it's either part of a quest or oh, there we go <laughs> oh shit wait a minute isn't that what's his face what the hell's he doing out here Oh man, we in we in tumbo roll. Jelly, you too heavy. Yeah, that's Edgar or whatever his name was. Why? Wait, do we know Edgar? He looks super similar to that other guy. Why he angry? Why are you mad at me? I didn't do this. I hope we don't know Edgar. He's got a Shabriri Grape on him. He also has a Banished Knight Halberd plus eight. Damn. Yeah, okay, so it is him. Yeah. Wow, that is weird. The fuck is he doing out here then? Why why he had a why the hell is he at a house like four million miles away from where he belongs? Also, that is a really good Halberd early game. So you could do that quest and then immediately come here and get you a plus eight Halberd. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, that's what I thought that he was the dude from Morn. But why? Why out here in Meat Town? Ugh. I don't even know what a Kricken is deranged. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. That's yeah, that's, that's, that's who I assumed he was, and I guess that's correct. I just didn't. I don't know why he spawns out here. You'd think he would be revenge sowed out there near whatever. Oh, it drops if you kill him normally as well. Well, I wonder if that's like the completion to his quest, right? Because he says that he's going to be out there jacking it, looking for whoever the hell caused it, which you would think unless he went mad that he would not that he would know it was us, right? We're like one of the few people that he was like thankful for, right? For not throwing his Game of Thrones blade in the trash. 
him and his shack is in the end of this end of, end of his quest. I mean, did we miss that? Because he ain't he ain't in his shack. <laughs> he's he's not in his shack. That's for sure. But like Shaq, he's nuts. Oh, oh my God, got him. I got him. Did you feel it, stupid? You didn't get invaded by him. I just did. Like that. That's what you mean. Him and his shack. I guess that is his shack. I mean, I don't. I fucking know. All right. Well, uh. We can either figure out how to get over here or we could talk about burning the uh burning the whatever on this so because we do have we have all five of the emblem emblem emblems uh yeah sure luigi because yeah, i don't think we found i don't think we found anything yet i was just gonna go talk to this lady about burning the old thorns That is true. Yeah, the Shabiri, yeah, it's they're, they're crazy, so. You must find kindling only the smoldering flame in the great forge of the giants. I knew it. Because <laughs> I was like, there's no reason that we can get up here unless this has to do with burning the tree somehow. But special kindling is required to reignite the flame. For the flame to burn the earth tree, a sacrifice is needed. God. The idea of another anus offering itself to the flame. And can lead you to the rune of death. God, have you ever, has anybody ever told you that you speak really slow? Wait, wait, wait. Pattern iron helm from foreign land worn by Elmer the, of the Briar. Hunting rusted iron briars, a mark of the guilty, and typically indicate a sense of death. Elmer murdered numerous instructors and merchants and was known as the bell bearing hunter. Oh, so do you do you get his set when you when you defeat him outside of that? Uh, when you defeat him at the shack or whatever? Has this just been chilling? Oh, no, you probably get him when you defeat him in the swamp butt area. Yeah, that would make sense. I don't know, because I, I never checked. No, because we would have seen it. We would have seen it beforehand. Yeah, when you fight him at the castle. Yeah. I wonder if you have to... Do you have to defeat him in both places is the question. How many anuses until the flame turns brown? I don't know. That's a good question. It's a cave on the west side of Lyurnian Swamp. They'll point you towards that. Yo, you can come in here, buddy. What are you doing? Uh, Let's see. Is it a cave on the west side? That's interesting. I'll tell you what, we'll we'll uh, we'll hang we'll hang west, sort of southwest of the temple quarter. I'm trying to remember which one the temple quarter was. Matter of fact, oh oh I, I see. Oh, is it probably like this little nugget over here? Maybe. I'm gonna start back here anyway because there's a lot of stuff in the swamp. I haven't. I don't think I've ever even really uh ever really done so. Fudge it. Fudge it. I said fudge it. You know, I think my big problem with like focused runs of this that's going to be kind of difficult is until you know like down and out exactly where every item is, it's going to be really difficult for me to keep up with uh, kind of like I, I feel like keeping up with like weapon upgrades and stuff like that, especially if you're doing like a very focused run, you're going to have a hard time because you're going to like the crafting system's really cool. But with how spread with how spread out it is, it's a bit frustrating. Because you're kind of just like, okay, that's like a lot. It's a lot to keep track of. Because I think I think crafting is one of my bigger. I don't want to say complaints because it's not a complaint. Because when you're playing normally, it's fine. But I can see like on subsequent playthroughs, like the the cookbook system, just being really frustrating. And I understand that they have to gate some of that because having like you know if you, if you could cr craft like rot arrows immediately. And you just farm out everything they need. 
you know, cool, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I get it. It just seems kind of like it's going to be kind of annoying to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's cool. I mean, we're just going to we're just going to start here and just kind of hang left and just see if we can find anything. Yeah, see, I think that's that's a bit of a problem, right? So Saito says they're at 130 hours. They just they still can't cure regular poison. And to a degree, that's kind of funny. But then to the same token, it's also like I, that's kind of ridiculous, though, right? Like, I feel like the cookbooks should probably be sold by like multiple vendors and stuff. Ooh, 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 can I get that fat money, fat money, fat money? <laughs> oh my god, that felt good. I feel like poison, uh, poison's also not nearly as big of a deal in this game. And I feel like that, that banner was taken over by Scarlet Rot, which is effectively toxic. Which, in my opinion, is probably worse than toxic. But I don't think we've ever seen a toxic swamp. That is true. There's multiple ways to cure poison, yeah. Does it have to do with the Albinarix? Because, oh no, we're like out of the whole thing now. What am I doing? God, this part's so weird because it's like butt swamp over here but I feel like that's not notated well on the map at all oh I guess there were toxic swamps in dark three dark three is so forgettable yeah yeah, that's that's a that's a good point. No, I, I mean you. So I did that with um, what's his face? Uh, the guy the guy that can like siphon souls and all. The dickhead who's at Stormvale, I forget his name. Starts like a G. Uh, I did that on a subsequent like just temporary like playthrough where I killed him. My God, he is so much more useful immediately if you just kill him and get his bell, because then you have his entire sold inventory available at the bell merchant. Same goes for patches. Like you just got his shit just immediately. And and yeah, I, I agree that that feels that feels like shit. That that ends up feeling like you know what I mean. <laughs> like like that ends up feeling like that's a that's a solid strategy. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, just kill them and just turn their bell in. Unless they're so, you know the same thing goes. I mean, that, that's how it is with like Souls NPCs though, especially if they have like a shorter quest line. Look at it this way. How many times how many times have you just kicked How many times have you just kicked Lawtrick off the side of Firelink to get the favor and protection ring? After doing his uh No, I mean I think it is it I think it is optimal, especially for the merchants. Um Yeah. You've never kicked Lautrick off for favor and protection? Oh my god. I can't believe that. Are you lying? You're lying, aren't you? For some reason, the map points in the road in the land instead of at the water's edge. Sick. Because doing that stuff makes me feel bad. Lautrick's a fucking asshole, though. <laughs> I've, I've definitely never felt bad about killing Lautrick or uh, what's his face from Demons. Yeah, Lautrick's a big old fart penis. Uh, Yurt, there you go. Yeah, Squirt Yurt. Um, Welcome to Bitter Bits. Needles, get tonight sub to you lying. Oh, shit. Maybe it's around like this area over here. You can, uh, you can thank Vagrant for the word squirt your... I usually kill him from his cell for a little 1v1. A little 1v1? Yeah, I don't, I don't even 1v1 him. I just kick him off. <laughs> I just, just kick him off. Fuck him. What a wiener. Uh, um. 
Yeah, no, I, I don't know. Like, um, Yuri or whatever the hell his name is, the guy with the the guy with the washing pole. Uh, I have a I have a feeling anybody who wants to run a washing pole build should just kill him immediately, because you technically can. You technically can do his quest and get to that part really early game. However, I don't know if that's... That's definitely not the fastest way to go about it, because the fastest way to go about it would be to just... Uh, to just kill him immediately for it. Because if you don't kill him immediately... Oh, wow, this place is... Oh, we've been here before. I just didn't do anything with it. Like, at all. But yeah, so I, uh, you know, if, if somebody wants to use, like, the washing pole or whatever it's called in this, it's called, like, the Naga, Nagi something, I can't remember what it is. Uh, yeah, effectively, what's in, what's going to end up happening is people will just kill him for his stuff. And, uh, as of right now, there's not a big reason to finish his quest chain, which also takes a long time if you want his armor. So if you want his armor, you're going to be working on that for a while. And the main reason you're going to be working on it for a while is it's gated. His armor is gated all the way... Um, I mean, it's it's gated, like, damn near towards, like, the end. Not the end of the game, but, like, you're going to be waiting a long time to get his armor. So, getting his armor early is not feasible, but you can absolutely get his weapon. That's that's a thing. Naginata, there you go. No, that's not, that's not what it's called in this. It's the... Oh, yeah, Roger. Yeah, Roger will probably get killed a lot earlier. But anyway, uh, I don't know if Mur I don't think murdering him drops his gear. Uh, murdering him drops his weapon, which if you want the weapon, Welcome then that's worth it. Bits. No, it's not the Nadachi either. Fuck, what is the name of it? I, j I just did the route for it earlier. Um. I love how every link is to fucking Fextra Life, and it just takes like 90 years ago. Oh, gross. Oh, Nagakiba. There you go. Anyway, yeah, so if you want the Nagakiba, you could just... Uh, yeah, you could just straight up... You could just kill him for it. But you won't get his armor set. But if you want to do that that quest, it's only three legs, and it actually has some pretty good souls as a reward, and it also has the uh, the bl the bloodied twin blade, which is awesome. I mean, super super cool. Uh, however, uh, the problem the problem with that is that it's broken right now, so I can't imagine anybody creating a build around it because it just doesn't work. So. You should you should message me that, Zach. I think that would be actually be really funny. As long as I blur out the names and shit. Just call it reading hot takes in the Elden Ring comment section. <laughs> Which is fantastic. Oh yeah, the katana I, okay, so outside of Weeb City, it's just that the katanas are super powerful right now. Uh the Uchi is a really good, like, base weapon. Um the uh Nagakiba is fantastic range. Um, what's her face's, uh, katana is, like, actually broken. It does way too much damage. There's no way it's intended to do that much damage. And, uh... Um... Rivers of Blood looks like it's going to be ridiculous when it works. So basically, right now, like, all the katanas, probably the reason they're, they're, they're full, they're full is not only Weeb City. It's also because they're all really good. Uh, Moonvale is also disgusting. The Meteoric Blade is fantastic. Meteoric Blade has a really cool move set, and also, um, uh, it's actually stronger than Moonvale early on. Uh, now Moonvale, of course, will scale much better, and it just ends up being overall better for a lot of reasons. But uh, the Meteoric Blade is also a, you can grab that super early without having to fight anything, and it's pretty fantastic, and it's got blood laws build up and stuff like that. So, can you look at your summons. I think you might have already done this thing you're looking for a while back. I think we probably did does it drop a uh does it drop a, a summony boy 
do you remember which summon it is that it drops? Because you're right, I may have already done this. Oh, I picked up Samurai because it's a good quality build start and also kind of hoping uh, the two-hand hit from Sekiro was going to be a skill. It wasn't, but Uchigatana is stupid. Yeah. Unsheath. I also found Unsheath in, on another character and I laughed at how early in the game it is. I was like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, come on. Uh, I do not have Latana. No, I don't think so. I also haven't done a... I also haven't used the Mimic tier for summons because that shit is so broken right now. I, lo I love using busted strong stuff, but like that is... Especially with our bleed build, I I would prefer bosses live a little little bit longer than two seconds. Because we could probably pop Mimic Tear on anything and just obliterate it. Because I, I know I know that shit's good. Jump attack ahead. I would assume if we were going to get invaded or something, it would probably happen like right here. But that don't don't let that just. That's the other thing that's been driving me fucking nuts, is when people are like, uh, it doesn't count as a kill if you use your summons or if you use blah blah blah. I'm like, what the fuck? Who, who, who is this? Where's the kill police? They're over here like, oh, yeah, you killed that boss, but you killed it using jellyfish? You didn't actually beat it. It's like, yeah, you did. Y you did. Because it's a damn thing in the game that uses FP. It's a system. Get over it. Drop your elitist bullshit and quit pretending like you're fucking better than everybody else because you didn't use a summon for something. Like, shut up, dude. If somebody wants to summon an entire army and fucking have the, the, the wave go in there and kills them. I don't care. Who gives a shit? Play the damn game. Like, it fucking doesn't matter. It's crazy. Like, just do fucking play the game. Enjoy yourself. Beat the boss. Move on. And if you want to go get Moonveil and pump Int up to 60 and just go beat the ever-living shit out of everything, fine. Who cares? If you want to get the infinite FP thing and use your hyper beam to blow a boss out of the water in two seconds, okay. Fine. Like, whatever. Just play the play the game. It's yeah, it's, it's always shitty. It never feels good. And d doesn't it sound fun? That's what I'm saying, man. Like, absolutely. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I don't know where the hell this cave is. I'm, tr I'm trying my best. Is it? Am I not in the right spot? It feels like maybe I'm not. Does anybody know the name of the cave? My voice detects this being heavily not fun today. I still think the funniest thing, and I still don't know how the hell he did it, was somehow, somehow, Dustin donated bits while he was driving. And to the, with like voice to text or text to voice, no voice to text. And I, uh, I'm sorry, voice to Texas. And I still have no idea. I don't, I don't know how the hell it. Oh yeah. Oh, so like yeah, Moonvale. Oh my God. Go. Hang on a second. Before we do anything, I'm going to read you some of the comments because this would be this would be a good like Zach's got a good point. That would be a funny, funny YouTube video. I'm going to the I'm going to Fextra Life. And I'm gonna pull up I'm gonna pull up Moonvale. I want you guys to hear this shit. Like, you you have to hear some of these fucking comments. This is how mad people are about this one stupid stick. Like a weapon in a video game has like got some people real upset. Oh, I'm too far west. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense then. I mean, granted, it's it's who, who called it earlier, Fexter Cloud Flare error or whatever. I mean, yeah, we're doing that right now. We'll see if that'll load. There's apparently another site of grace nearby. I'm gonna I'll go back this way a little bit. Did 
Jesus Christ, really? Wow. That's that's nuts. I'm just gonna run it. That's fine. We got time. Yeah, no, the, the Moonvale Katana section is cancer, dude. Oh my god. People that ah ha ha did new noob stick. This what dumb dumb played a game and beat it, think they good at game. They're gonna get rocked when they come back through. I'm like, or who cares? Like, or who actually gives a shit? Like, oh my god, dude. Fucking sweat dicks need a new hobby. <laughs> Direct south of the big rock formation between you and that grace. Oh, this one, like, right here? Okay. They might get their dick sweat. I have no idea. I hope I wasn't mean to Inferno earlier. I, I was in, like, grunt mode. And I, I, I hopefully did not upset them. Because I did not mean to. That, that just popped back in my head because they were asking what class I did the ulcer, ulcerative colitis spirit on. And I, like, <laughs> I got snippy because I was like, I mean, it's fucking difficult on all of them. Because, like, I don't, it doesn't matter what you start as. Like, if you go straight to ulcerated, ulcerative colitis spirit. Wow, my marker was, like, dead on. That is actually really funny. You should read that magic straight sword you got in the manor. Oh my god, the flame of flame and flame build or whatever. Okay, here we go. Here's some of the, here's some of the things. Uh, somebody quoted, I am the storm that is approaching, provoking black clouds and isolation, of course. Uh, practically will carry mage throughout the game. Worst weapon needs nerf. Needs nerf. So I died to magma at the same time as the boss died. Count as a kill. Whatever, this dude's just asking if he's still going to get it. At this point, just put weapon in game that does 9,999,000 damage with low stat requirement. Uh, Bankai. I grinded a few levels to use this on boss I was struggling on. Got destroyed. 10 out of 10. Also, if they nerf this, please just nerf player damage. Don't ruin my PvE experience. I would agree with that. Uh, let's see. This weapon's gonna get nerfed so hard. If you don't think this katana is absolutely busted, then you must be one of the people abusing it. That wouldn't even come as a surprise since around 8 out of every 10 of my invasions, I'm facing this busted weapon. Use it while you can because it won't last. <laughs> what? In a, oh, oh my god. Uh, let's see what else we got. Out of 1k matches or so that now I've now done as solo PvP host, I would say that this is 82% of what I see. All they do is spam weapon art too. It's quite pathetic. Uh, oh my god. LMAO, your magic absorption is too low. Get good. Bro, you could sacrifice literally everything about your build to get high da magic damage negation and just get three shot in. So two shot in your brain dead casual who likes to spam L2. See damage number go up from this. From will nerf this weapon into the ground and you'll blame PvPers. Oh my god. Everyone in this comment section is coping hard right now. <laughs> People are mad in PvP to this weapon while PvP is trash. We don't give an F about PvP in this game. <laughs> uh, the dude says, I'm mostly a PvE guy. Please keep your balance comments to yourself. Oh my god. Oh yeah, no, you still like so. Uh, on this on this thing I've been jotting down, basically this route is set up to effectively make you as strong as possible to go up against that magma worm, because you can't make like a here's how to get something early build that's like here fight this magma worm for person reading a guide and just beat it, just beat it, just beat it, right? Because most people who are looking for a guide like that are not going to be able to walk into a magma worm like that very low level and beat it easily. They're not. They're, they're not. They're absolutely not, right? And, like, I'm not saying that because, like, oh, they're bad. I'm just saying if somebody's looking up guides like that, they're probably not going to be on the level of, like, oh, cool, I'll just walk in there and just go beat a magma worm without doing anything, right? Uh, be like, okay, get naked, perfect dodge, everything, kill. It's not going to work. So, you know, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, okay, what can we do to, what can I do to recommend a method or anything like that to help people take down the magma worm early who have also been pumping everything into int right in preparation for getting like meteoric blade or uh the, the katana or like that straight sword we just picked up a little while ago whatever right you get what i'm saying like you you can't just say just parry it forehead that's terrible for a guide video like you would never want to do you would never want to do something like that 
So I've been kind of sitting there thinking like, okay, what's, what are some good early ways that you can acquire items to cheese the magma worm? Which that's a better way to look at it. And uh, so I've been looking at like different ways to uh, effectively take down the magma worm early for people who are trying to rush down that katana so they can get it or whatever, so. Yeah, the magma worm, like, they're not hard, especially if you have bleed. But still, like, if you're not... I mean, God, even if you're decent at the game, they can still catch you in their little charge move if you're not running in circles. And they'll just mow your ass down. Like, you're you're dead. <laughs> like, you're completely screwed. But I, I do I do pretty well with guides. And I, when I sat down this weekend, I was looking at it. I was like, what videos on YouTube have done well in the past? And typically, it's when I make guide videos. I've gotten a lot of positive comments on those that are like, hey, thanks for getting right to the point. You don't sound annoying. And, you know, thank you for just uh, being like really clear to the point and showing people a way to do stuff that didn't involve, you know, being like hyper proficient or whatever, because nothing in that plus nine weapon guide for Vort was like, oh man, you better be really proficient at the game. None of it was. It was all just straight up. Yeah, God, please send it this way, Kia. Please, God, help me. It was 85 degrees today. Please, please, please. Yeah, I mean, the, a magma worm at like level uh, like 14. Yeah, they're like, they're going to be a bitch. <laughs> like, and I think most people in here, even people who are good at the game would agree. Fighting a magma worm at level 14 with base equipment and just like a couple spells. That shit's going to suck. And it does like, so that's why I was looking for methods to easily push through that so people can get stuff like a moon veil or a meteoric blade or whatever. And the nice thing about the meteoric blade is that uh, you don't have to kill anything. You run into it, you run into a hole, you grab it, and you leave. The requirements are pretty low. It's not a big deal. Whatever. Um, you know, so that's a that's a good that's a good starter int weapon too. But you're gonna face off against several magma worms, but it's okay because, like, they're not hard. And once you once you get them down, they're they're good. I also feel like there's a lot of people who have been using like a shitload of like bleed weapons talking about how easy some bosses are and it's like dude it is a whole different experience when you're not using a bleed weapon like your raw damage output is so much more important because you don't you you don't get to rely on that like proc based enormous bleed that keeps like ripping out right that goes for like shit like i'm using like with an uchi it goes with people who are using a graduvia blades especially two of them oh my god two reduvia blades early on is like i mean that will that will blow through boss health so fast so fast um you know so like th that's that's also been a weird misconception it's like oh that boss was easy and it's like yeah i mean they're not bad especially when they're bleeding over and over you know you're gonna be busting huge chunks of damage constantly you get two by having somebody trade you that's what you that's what you do oh yeah, it's a bloodhound knight that's neat so like for example like right here well we don't have our other thing equipped but this is another this is another fight that like I said, it's actually easier on a sorcerer. Or I'm sorry, prisoner start. Cause they I mean they you can just dodge basically everything this guy does and just keep pew pew in him and he just dies, so you know. Oh the house is shaking from I'm not like paying attention to this dude, I'm more interested in what's going on with chat. House is shaking? God damn. Uh, technically, yeah, Pebbles, Pebbles really good. Another one is, um, I, I, like I said, I played a decent amount off, off camera, just fucking around with shit and trying to get stuff as early as I could. Um, uh, another one is the, uh, is Rock Sling. Rock Sling is extremely good and has crazy Welcome poise damage. Dan with the th tier three for 72 months says, woo, go get him, Nick. Hope you're well. Love you, but thank you so much, Dan, for the tier three for 72 months. Welcome back aboard. Dude, we've been killing stuff with frog hands and frog hat. What you been up to? What you been up to? Yeah, rock sling with the meteoric staff, which is another one of those like early game sorcerer things that I'm working on. Uh, th that combo alone, once you have some investment, will absolutely carry you mid game until you're able to upgrade another staff to get like a higher scaling or whatever. Like, absolutely. Nothing as exciting as frog hands. I mean, we got them, dude. We got, we got frog hands for sure. Okay, so this is the slumbering wolf shack. Was there anything of note that happened here for you guys? Or 
but because like maybe maybe there's like some quest that I haven't that I didn't do or whatever. <sighs> oh yeah, Rock Rockslings really solid. Rockslings is actually really good against the dragons too. It uh it staggers them constantly. Uh, I must, I must have, beep. I must have missed her quest then. What you been up to, Jan Man? What's the haps? Oh, completely orc. Yeah, it's, it's really early. That's actually why I chose, that's actually why I chose it for the, uh, for the thing. She's right over there. What? Well, well, then she just watched a very weird thing happen, right? Yeah, Rock Sling is also hilariously close to, uh, you walked on her twice. Um. Oh shit, girl, what's up? I thought you were a rock. Foul tarnished. What do you want? I told the old hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Oh, this is the lady that has the it's other half of the medallion. So old Albus that makes sense. His medallion to you. Just working as such. That's cool. That's cool. Then I have no choice. Oh, that's all good. At least you still got a job and stuff. Well. Good to see you, man. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. Why does she sound like she was recording a coke can? Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you? I must go back. There is some. Will you show me the Jim. way? To the land of Mikola's Halic Tree. If you accept, I would. Of the whereabouts of the medallion's other half. Yeah, I hit, hit me with it, dude. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the Earth Tree. In Castle Soul, on the mountain tops of the giants. Accessible by the grand lift of Rold. Then I suppose farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the tarnished. So that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. That's a good, that's a good dog. Okay, so I guess, uh, well, we've been up to Mount, Mount Fuckadoo over here. Uh, sorry, dog. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. I can just summon her ass in, I guess. Yeah, we of course we've of course been up here to Mount Mount Go Mount Goliosis. I don't know exactly. Uh, wait, is that is that volcano volcano? No, this is a Grand Lifter rolled over here. On top catacombs, church of repose. I am assuming that it's got something to do with being up here. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of go to the Grand Lifter Rolled and see if maybe she shows up in the... You know what they should have done, too? Uh... Oh, the fort. That would make sense, I think, because we went there and there wasn't much to it. If I remember correctly. I figured she maybe she has some dialogue here for people. She does not. I thought she might, maybe, because, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, here, here's, like, a follow-up on whatever the hell we were doing before. <sighs> also, False, thank you for the 42 months, if you're still here. Hope you're doing all right. <laughs> Fort night. At least I need this. I'm still not sure what the what the deal with the death birds is. I also haven't run into any of that night cavalry shit that Margaret or whatever the hell that was was talking about. So, I feel like there's so much crap I haven't seen yet. All right, Fennec. Hey, Dustin, welcome home. 
Dustin, is, he has mastered the feeling of frog hands, but via text to voice, or voice to text rather, which is really impressive when you think about it. A beast eye quavas. Thank you very much. Oh shit, look who it is. It's Sergeant Flute, dude. How the hell did we get Tombo? Wait. No, for real, how did we get... Oh, right, we got Tombo because... Yeah, no, I remember now. Because we had the other rune equipped. I didn't say you had a frog voice. I said you've effectively mastered frog hands in the form of like driving around and shit. I didn't. I thought I was. I thought I had room to roll away. I clearly did not. I just got beat by what might be the easiest enemy in the game, actually. Damn, you trying to gun my ass down? I didn't say you sound like a frog. I said you trying to do voice to text is effectively frog hands of the mouth. Come on, man. Why you gotta do me like this? No fingy? Yes. Yeah, allegedly that katana that you get from one of the late game bosses has roughly the attack power of like a heavily scaled Uchi, but with no upgrades, which is kind of stupid. And apparently its weapon art is also just like disgusting in PvP. Yes, it's mouth frog hands. How do you feel about that? Feel pretty good? How, how you feeling? Scaled like one to 10. Scale of one to frog. One to hands. Oh God. Actually, it would be really fun to do like a like a deathless run where if we fail, we have to delete our character and do like a really, really, really like heavy shield based uh, run. That'd be really cool. I'm ready for people to do torrentless runs and be like, yeah, just I'll just kill myself instead. Thanks. <laughs> be like, nope, I'm good. Thanks. None for me. If only he bleed, but he did not. Damn, he keeps killing his friends. What a dick. Oh no! Attack is so crazy. Oh man, that is a shame that he has happened in this way to do the thing. Oh. Whoa, what is that? Health and steeple? Is that a guaranteed drop? Oh wow. It is a great sword with ruinous ghost flame, which is also an in. Oh my god. That thing looks fucking awesome. Like. I don't know why I put that on. Look at how cool that thing is. That would be. Damn, that's neat. It's another, it's another int greatsword. God damn. So it says that it has, uh, it says that it, you can, uh, the ghost flame adds magic damage to its attacks and also has a bitterly cold bite. So that means that this afflicts frost damage. Damn. Yeah, some of these greatswords are, some of these greatswords are awesome. <laughs> I can't believe there's there's several int based great swords in this. Like that is that's such a weird concept to me. Yeah, you I mean you could, yeah. You could technically power stance that. 
I don't know how well that would work with weapon arts, but... That would definitely be one of those weapon arts that you'd have to set up, because I think you'd have to buff the Moonlight Greatsword, then you'd have to buff the... <laughs> buff that one. Have we done any fun bosses? Not tonight. Uh, we've mostly been trying to do, like, some cleanup work. What? All right. <laughs> okay, it's like, okay. Fine. They wanted to average it out across the game. It's very loud for not a lot happening, I'll tell you that much. Question is, where are them barnacles? Oh shit, they got them foot barnacles. Oh, uh, steppies. I mean. I, I couldn't figure out if there's like a set number of these to do or like what? It's okay, the only boss that we've had over there was the stupid death right bird. I wonder if I wonder if the blood slash would actually hit most of them. goes through stuff. You can also, uh, with Rock Sling, you can actually cheese bosses with it. You can fire through fog walls. So there's actually a way that I think... So when I do that int build or whatever, I think I know how I'm going to recommend people do it. Because there's a way, I think, with that Magma Worm, that if you get if you get the correct staff and uh so if you get the correct staff and then you also get rock sling before you go in there you could technically stand at the fog wall and just hit him with rock sling until you kill him and uh that's it then you don't then you don't even have to fight him and then you can get your moon veil katana without doing anything Ta -da. okay of the fingy dingies um who has the most sales it's the it's either the fire giant or the so I don't think I need I don't think I particularly need anything for any of these guys so I was thinking about just for the just for the sake of souls or whatever I might do it I think it's the fire giant I think he has the most I don't like crusty skull cummies please unsubscribe me from cummy fags yeah you can that way you can get both items in a single playthrough Zach Yeah, I think it's Fire Giant. I'm just gonna go with that. I'm not, I'm not super worried about it. Thanks for subscribing to Kumi Facts. This is Kumi. Thanks for Kumi. No. I can't tell if Dustin was no to me doing this thing or if it was, if it was no to thank you for subscribing to Kumi Facts. Frog hands automatically alleviates me from uh from doing any cummy facts. I just don't have to worry about it, which is nice. Wait, did I pick up my trash up there? I don't care. I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a level with you. I don't give a shit. These guys these guys have one of those move sets that's just like so everything's like so fucking delayed. They also do a lot. There's a lot of enemies that do this, and I don't know. I don't really know what the design decision around it was, but they have enemies that are very, like let's say, let's say you get a solid dodge in, right? And you're thinking, all right, 
here we go. This is the push and pull, right? My turn to do something. And they have, like, just enough of a back step to just absolutely fucking obliterate Melee's world. We're just like, oh yeah, girl, I'm in it. And they're like, no, you're not. This is where, uh... This is where I feel like it would be a good idea to still have Seppuku, because I think... Blood Slash will be good for that. I just don't know if I want to... Oh, these guys are just in the butt. You have a problem with these guys? I love these guys. Dustin over here running around with two Reduvia blades bleeding things in two seconds. He's like, that's weird that you have trouble with anything in this game. <laughs> Wee! Yeehaw. But no, there's, there's, there's a, like I said earlier, I think there's a reason that you can't get two Reduvia Blades in a single playthrough. They are ridiculous. Dustin's also just better at the game than I am, probably, which is, which is totally fine. I am a-okay with that. Also, Z-Card, uh, continue that gift sub from Zars. What's the dog doing? Uh, kicking my ass, because I ain't paying a lick of attention. You found the cookbook with the poison cure. Hooray. Old Deathbird? Yeah, old Deathbird's a pain in the ass. I've only done a few of them. Yeehaw. Oddly enough, I didn't have trouble with the first one. I've had trouble with, you know, subsequent. Which is weird. God damn, dude. Oh. I'm just getting my ass destroyed. Yeah, there goes the boss trash. I might actually stop early tonight. I've been playing pretty much bad all night. And, uh... Like, comment, comments like what Kombucha does, like, oh man, blank did, or like what Dustin and Kombucha were talking about. When that starts to irritate me, that, that that's how I know I'm having, like, a rough night. Because normally that doesn't bother me, because, like, I accept my own, my own shortcomings, but then when that starts to bother me, Welcome that normally means I'm having a rough night. Or if I'm dying to a bunch of shit I've done before or whatever. You know how it'd be. How it do. Like, I love how fast this thing moves and it just walks the fuck out of, like, Blood Slash. Which is crazy because Blood Slash has, like, a ridiculous range on it. It's like, oh, cool, I'll just, just walk out of it. No, neither of you did anything offensive. It's just when stuff like... When stuff like, oh, man, you know, so-and-so obliterated this, and oh, man, you have trouble with these guys? Like, if that's bothering me, that means I'm probably having an off night. Because normally, like, I'm, I'm used to... I'm used to that kind of stuff. Because, like, there's going to be... That's the thing with Twitch streaming is you're gonna there's like a million people that are always gonna be better at you than at stuff. So like you have to just kind of accept that you're not very good at things compared to most people. So if it starts to bother me, that's what I'm saying, is that normally means I'm just having a having a bad night normally. Which is very evident. I've i that's been clear since the first like twenty minutes of uh first twenty minutes of the stream when I was getting butt hurt about something. Getting all booty salt about something. So no, I don't. I don't want either of you to feel bad about that or anything. I'm just saying, like that. That happens. I can tell. I can tell when it's happening that I need to like probably just stop or whatever. I also just don't like having to worry about blood slash. Sometimes it's nice just to be able to go in there and just wail on stuff with Sapuku and just be able to do a ton of damage. That's good, Reverend. That's really good. You know, none of, none of this has been, like, ridiculously difficult for the most part. There's been a few fights that are pretty crazy, and most of that was normally our fault for being there way too early.
But no, yeah, no, please, please don't think that I'm like angry at you guys or whatever. I'm saying if that, if that kind of stuff is agitating me, that normally means I'm having a rough night. It's that's, that's more of my own acknowledgement of just not being in a good headspace about something. Yeah, I didn't think we'd see these enemies again, to be honest with you, but yeah, here they are. Here they are. And they suck ass. All the time. Jesus fucking Christ, get out of here. <laughs> Go away. But Swordbirds? Speaking of Swordbirds, if you haven't seen it, I put up a YouTube short earlier. Somebody wants to link that. Of uh, how I feel about the knife foot birds in general. It's a fucking Digimon. No, I just need to be paying attention to what I'm doing. I, I, haven't, I haven't been very, like intently focused on playing the game and this is one of those games that if you're not really focused on it you're gonna have a bad time and you're just gonna get frustrated and get frustrated by comments and chat that you shouldn't get frustrated by it's just me it's just me being honest and and i i try my best to do that i don't like people to think that like i never get upset or like whatever I try to try to be honest about how I'm feeling or if somebody says something that makes me feel a certain way, I'll say something about it because if I just dwell on it, it doesn't doesn't help very much. But I also want people to know that if even if it bugs me at the, at the moment, it may not it may not necessarily have anything to do with you directly. And it's more of just me being whatever. The Claymore is something I'm looking forward to doing at some point. I don't know when I'll do it though. I've done like Claymore greatsword runs so much in the past that I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do it this time and I feel like I'm doing anything different. That blood loss charm apparently works on a uh, apparently works on uh, when you when you hit Sapuku because it counts as blood loss, so you can get like a twenty percent attack buff just from that, which means that at some point I probably need to do that. Also, Spooky is not great here because these dudes do not bleed, which is a bit of a problem. So I probably should have kept Blood Slash, but I didn't. Yeah, I'm trying to do more like YouTube short style stuff because I have a lot of like good or silly like short form humor stuff that I could get to do or whatever. But so I'm trying to trying to lean into things that are my strengths these days instead of trying to like figure out some grand whatever strategy for this that or the other when I've got ability to do stuff right in front of me that I probably should just do. <laughs> That's because quality claymore is awesome. Also, I'm gonna be honest, I had to go back and like watch the uh during one of those like prep run type deals. I had to go back and watch Rigid Sign of Soul, surrender yourself to the Eclipse, grant life to the soulless bones. Um The Eclipse Shotel. Oh, that's good. Old Shotel. Question is, what does it do? What nightmare does this thing have? Death Flare sets Luster Sun ablaze the Prince Death Flames, inflicting death ailment upon foes. Follow up with additional input to bring down the armament, trigger an explosion. So I think there's a bug with this right now. Um, if I remember correctly, there's a, there's an interaction where whatever the skill is that allows you to catch yourself on fire that does damage to people around you. Uh, there's an interaction with that where basically in PvP, what people can do is they can just run up next to you and the tick damage from the flame or something like that just procs the death ailment. So they're killing people in like two to three seconds with the, uh, the death ailment or whatever without even touching them. And I was like, that's pretty sweet. There, there, is enough, there, there are several reasons why I have not PvP'd at all in Elden Ring. Mainly, I don't really give a shit about it, but also stuff like that, I, I don't have time for that. I just don't have time or patience to deal with that shit. Dustin, go! What are you doing in your car? Go inside! What are you doing? 
you can put on stream when you get in house. Or just sit in your car. I've done that before, too. I can't pretend like I've never done that. Don't think I'm supposed to make that hop over here. Let's go down here first. Oh, good. Another dickhead. You don't know I'm here. <gasps> Whoa! God, y'all got unlimited... Y'all got unlimited stamina for the rest of us? Because wouldn't that be a, a treat? Wouldn't that be a treat to have unlimited stamina for the rest of the gang? Oh my god. Oh shit! You know what though? That's where I feel... That's how I feel deep inside, right? Just end it all. <laughs> Just hop on down. <laughs> Just walk out. Yeah, so it has... Yeah, something something about like that, that, that shuttle, it has like... I guess some interaction with that self immolate ability and it just allows you to uh yeah it just allows you to basically just run next to people and inflict the death ailment on them and that's it oh dude mobile twitch is absolute butt i agree with you yeah, so Blood Slash is going to be much better here uh, than Seppuku. See, I can't, I can't say shit about, like... I was joking about, like, Dustin's Reduvia Blade build. Oh, yeah, that's got its strengths. Blood Slash on an Uchi is also stupid. Like, brain dead, kill, like, eight enemies at once with it. Like, it's so stupid. Uh, Blood Slash can actually be put on, like, Claymores and stuff like that, too. So there's some, there's some pretty disgusting shit you can do with this. Oh god, oh that's a lot of trash. Oh. Wow, holy shit. God, that one firebomb dick. Oh, I'm sorry. There's there's more dickheads up here. So actually that's good because now we know and now I can run over there and do the thing. Whew. I bet blood slash on the militia saw is fun as shit. I want to get more arcane just so I can uh, get more blood bleed up from it. If I had any gripe, it's that there's just not a lot of blood bleed up. Blood, I can get, that is so hard to say. Blood build up. Blood loss build up. Like, whatever. Bleed up is what we're going to call it. Anyway, I apologize if I've been a grump. I really do. I uh, was not trying to... Uh, hopefully I didn't hurt anybody's feelings or anything like that. I was just... Did we? God, that feels so bad when you're like winding that bad boy up and you just get screwed. It also drains your health, so I mean, there is there is a drawback to this. It's not like it's just some flawless thing, so. I guess there's that. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get all these dudes to spawn and then we are going to bait them outside. Oh, I see. You can just port over here. That's reasonable. That is so reasonable. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of a... A twofer! Welcome oh shit. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. God, those dudes have a lot of health. Would you fuck off? Nobody loves you. Not even your mama. Y'all ever cheat? So again, they do such a good job in this, and al almost a, a frustration level. Because I've noticed some people get really frustrated with it, and I totally understand. Uh, delay strikes are, like, they have never been crazier than they have in this game. Like, there's so many that are, like, 
perfectly intentionally delayed to just absolutely fuck up like mid roll and all that stuff. This dude might be harder than like that dude. Why is it gotta have the AOE on it? What's the point? Why even? Why you gotta add that on top of everything else? You finally beat the fire giant. Hooray. So the fire giant, that's another one where like bleed is so out of control, like absolutely out of control that like that fight was that fight was like just such a nothing encounter for us. And I think we did it way too early. And that's what I'm talking about with like just the way the way some builds handle things versus others. And like our Uchi wasn't even like 20. It was like 18 or something like that. We walked up there just one handed. It just whacked the shit out of his heel. And bled, bled, like, one of the biggest bosses to death, like, in terms of, like, health and shit. Those Wimney guys are shit. I actually like them. I just, they're really cool to fight. I just think that the AoE is kind of ridiculous. Commander Nile. Okay. Oh, man, you got... Are you kidding? <laughs> you can just lick my entire butt. Oh, yeah, you got like a 9 million health, too. Great. Nice. I'm not fighting your phantoms. What does that mean? What does that mean? Does that buff your phantoms? Please summon more. Flagoid. <laughs> yes, he's using the flag. It's a fucking halberd with a flag. I was just making a joke that he was a flag monster, but the, no, that actually is. There's a flag on it. Y'all, this dude has so much health. Oh my god. Kale, please stop. I know, I hear you. It, like, he, when I'm talking about, like, this cat has been, has been ratchet meowing for, like, days now. He's in perfect shape. His litter box is clean. He's not, like, weird or anything like that. He's, he's had plenty of food. His water is available. He's been played with for probably, like, a total of, like, 12 hours over the past, like, three days. I mean, the cat has, has gotten his stimulus. And yet he is still... Meow. Meow. Oh, no, he's been held, too. He just yells all the fucking time now. Did you not find this guy in the Kaelin Swamp? No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. No, there is there is no hope. I'm trying to think of uh, Blood Slash. Uh, he, might be, he might be immune to bleed. Uh, we could actually... We could actually test, I guess. We could use the, uh, keep the rapier on. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> what, what was that? This is where, uh, this is where I think we're just, I'm just starting, like, leaning into the whole, like, rot build and everything like that. Just be like, all right, here we go. We're just going to rot everything and just walk away. Because theoretically, everything in the game should be vulnerable to rot, right? Theoretically. Hell yeah, he's been fixed. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, he has. It's actually really strange that there's no... Uh... It was dark, and I was looking at chat, and I thought, that, I thought I sent the elevator back down. I didn't. God, this has just been the night. It's been a tough one, man. It's been a tough one. Thank you also, Night Rans, for the 35 months, and also Savage. I'm sorry I missed both of you guys' resubs. Oh, jeez. Nice. You should chase me down and also hit me while I'm trying to run back to this thing. That would feel really good. You guys ever feel like the, uh, the stakes of America or whatever are, like, never, never where you need them to be? Like, I, I feel like they're, they're pretty good at placing those throughout, and then sometimes they're just not. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, can we just get one? It's so weird, too, because it's like the ones that would have, like, not shitty runbacks, they, they have the stake. The ones that do have shitty runbacks, they don't, which is really funny. They're not really an early game thing only, though, because they definitely feel like uh, they're available, you know, through most of the whatever, so... It's kind of surprising. Likely rushing in, butthole. Okay. I like that. I 
I just want to see if he bleeds at all. Okay, so he does bleed. Yeah, so it's worth it's worth having the uh, thing for him. Now we just want to blood slash these guys. However, uh, FP might end up being a problem with this, or just death in general. God damn, their combos are huge. Good lord. Okay, so we'll um. I can either just focus him down, honestly, with the rapier. That'll be, that'll be really easy. Uh, I could also probably just rush in and stagger him now that I think about it. Yeah, so this will actually be... Uh, this, this, this shouldn't be too bad. This should actually be pretty easy, I think. No, we don't use, uh, we don't use blood, uh, the blood grease um, because both of our weapons are bleed-infused. So we're actually running a bleed build that's not like dagger based uh, right now. Are you fucking kidding me? That is so ridiculous, dude. Who decided that warp enemies were good? No, it doesn't stack. So yeah, we're, we're bleed infused right now. We, we normally run uh, Seppuku, which is a... Which actually we're going to do right now. Oh no, shit, we're on Blood Slash. Okay, well this is... This, I already fucked this up. This is way too late. Actually, I'm curious. Let's let me see how many let me see how many pokes. Well, I wanted to you know test anything. So, oh yeah, for as long as we don't have something chasing us going up the fucking ramp. God, that was stupid. Like, oh here, I'll just warp up there. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh no, we're not gonna use jelly for this one. I think we'll be all right. What, blood? You talking about blood jelly with bleed infusion? No, it doesn't stack. Honestly, that's probably for the best. That worked out. This is good. They don't bleed. What am I doing? These guys don't fucking bleed. Why am I doing this? I mean, they didn't. They didn't stack the last time I tried. You, at last, to my knowledge, you cannot use a bleed infused weapon. And then stack the stack the grease on it. However, you could, I guess, uh, I could try it without Sapuku because maybe I tried to do it with Sapuku one time. Let's see really quick. Let's see if we have a blood infused weapon. Okay, so you can. Maybe yeah, it might be while Sapuku is active. No, you can. Okay. Fucking kill this dude because there's just no point in. He's gonna chase us up the stairs anyway, or I'll just die again. That's fine. That's good. Waste uh, waste some flask and whatnot. God damn. No, our our weapon loadout's been pretty good so far. These this has been nuts though. All right, let's just let's just run past this guy. It should be fine. Because he'll we're, he'll follow to some extent, this. but it doesn't matter. As long as I wait right before the thing before going up, shouldn't be an issue. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? Yeah, it's fine. I'll just roll off. No big deal. Oh my god. God, it's a short run back too. How annoying! Yeah, this is this is probably some of the most embarrassing, embarrassed, embarrassing. I can't talk tonight either. God damn, I'm having a rough night. Can't talk, failing at the game. God, Jesus, dude. I don't know what's wrong with me. No clue. Look, I brought a banished night shield. Also, thank you, EZQ, for announcing your resub, and thank you, Kombucha, for the for gifting out that sub in the first place. Oh, good. Okay, so right out the gate, uh, we'll just uh, actually, I think we'll just hold for bloody slash because we should have we should have enough. I can I can knock out his little his little summon gang pretty quick. Oh yeah, we're we're like a full like bleed build. 
Um, the only thing we don't have is the bleed talisman from the sewers. Uh, but yeah, we have a 22 blood Uchi Katana with 80, 80 blood buildup. And then uh, this is the crazy one right here. So this is 77 before Seppuku, which I think puts it around like 100 or something close to that. Which means that that is like, Welcome that's insane. Like the amount of the amount of damage we have off of this is is pretty nuts. So I'm just going to do, we're going to do Seppuku first on this. And I'm going to run straight in for the uh, for old dickhead. And uh, that way we can put a little bit of hurt on him immediately. And then we're going to switch to our katana and uh, we'll use that for everything else. Because we should be able to get a decent chunk of bleed damage on him. That's what I was worried about though, was the AoEs. That is so ridiculous. Look at the amount of AoE going off there. That's crazy. Okay. So while we can put a serious uh, dent in him really fast with that blood loss, uh, probably we we'll probably want to go ahead and just stay on a uh, stay on a uh, blood blade early, I guess. That way, because um, if we do that early. Did he still track to us? I think he did. I just don't think he's come over yet. Uh, yeah. We're, so we're gonna stay on. Uh, we'll stay on Blood Slash because what I want. What I want to do is just like I want to clean down the ads as fast as I can. So now the boss fight's not too bad. It's it's more just those AOEs from the Ghostly Boys. If they didn't have that stupid uh, Frost AOE, that but it wouldn't be too bad. There's also ways to level that out if we use like a summon ourselves or whatever. So. Ain't too bad, we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, no, we do ridiculous damage as long as we're like buffed up. So let's line this up. I want this to be right here. Put it back down a little bit. Can't even can't even get the third blood slash off without getting completely fucked up. Wow. But I was really hoping that we could probably take him out first. Or at least get one of them down. Because then if I can get it down to one, I can deal with that, I think. I guess there's nothing, there's nothing stating that he will, he's probably just going to summon two more anyway after they go down, I would imagine. Oh yeah, summons, summons could be really great. The cool thing about uh, Blood Slash too is that you can get it really early. And it works on a lot of weapons, it does, it's not just, uh, it's not just katanas and stuff like that, which is great. Now, if the if the ghostly boys could bleed, that would be pretty easy because then we can just sit there and just spam the rapier on them. Oh yeah, dude, mimic tier is fucking sick. It's so good. All right, let's just go ahead and back down to cook this early. That, that's what we have to do. We just have to hit stuff early. Wait for them to come in. The one time that he ain't all over my ass. Alright. There's Uno. Now I gotta get old Dositos over here. God, when he buffs them, man, I swear. That shit's crazy. <laughs> That's nuts. Uh, Seppuku does not work with daggers, no. Alright. Okay, so then he buffs himself. Alright. Not the range on that, good lord. Just keep attacking, that's what we do. That's, that's Elden Ring, dude. <laughs> that is, that is most of Elden Ring. Just keep attacking. 
Bought it at time. I did not. <laughs> oh. No, I'm really glad Supuku does not work with daggers. Dag they they already got daggers already have some incredible bleed if you have the right ones. Yeah, it's kind of like I said before. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of them having to. Uh, I know a lot of weird stuff comes back to WoW for me because it's just I don't know. I just always think of like interesting things that have happened. It's mainly because it's a game that's been around forever, so it's had its own sets of like trials and tribulations and growing with player bases. But um, that game, that game got way too bloated in terms of like uh, systems and mechanics and stuff like that. I think because they had to keep like one upping themselves, you know keep the player base interested which is kind of backfired on them in a few ways but like boss mechanics and stuff got so damn complicated that there was it just felt pointless you know it just felt crazy right like trying to learn all of it and all this other stuff and you need like mods and ui shit for everything and it's kind of crazy to think about you know and i feel i feel like the soul series has kind of experienced that to a degree and it's because like there's enough familiarity now that you know people kind of like know what to expect i guess so they have to kind of design stuff around uh design stuff to kind of be ludicrous to a degree and we're dead you know so like you, you can't really have the days of like layovers of like bosses having like a little bit of a window to attack because you know, they just kind of expect people to be like really proficient and they I mean they are for the most part. People are a lot better at these games than they used to be. So I think they kinda of have to design these encounters to be basically have a punish around every corner, so would really love to just be able to run this, but that ain't gonna happen, not with this asshole. Yep, here we go. He's just gonna pour it on up here. Shockingly, he didn't that time. I mean, I like, I like, you know, when there's like when buttons feel good to press. Jiggy Kuro with two dollars. No, I, I heard it. Thank you so much for the two dollars, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you can pour it on the moving elevator. Absolutely. Oh, that's what. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to get the two for one special on these guys. Just proving, uh, proving difficult. He's got a, that's a good wind down window. A little bit too much of one, to be honest. But I guess that move is, that move is pretty ridiculous, so. It's kind of why I wish I was running that, uh, that big ass, uh, like, thrusting sword. That thing is incredible. God almighty. Oh, we're dead here, I think. Still got plenty of, uh, plenty of trash to heal with, but... Oh, I also lost Sapuku, which is going to be hard to get back. Be careful. I got I got two rapier hits in, which rapier hits are like 
they're they're pretty fast so it's pretty insane to think that like he basically basically was able to retaliate before get yeah, two rapier hits that's like that's like maybe like half of a fucking great sword hit that's that's nuts delayed on that that's it uh, I could go in there and I could just go go wail on him a little bit or I could try to blood slash and just try to keep my distance which might work yeah, barely tap me with the edge there oh yeah now it, it does I, I get I get people's frustration on it I mean, normally I don't get angry at, you know, this typically, but I can totally understand like people out mad, like bang, my bang my hands on my desk. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I could see that. Like, it gets frustrating when you feel like every every attack that you dodge or whatever, especially when they're big, fat, delayed strikes to take like an hour to fucking do anything. And then you're like, oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I've I've seen this, Jigakuro. This actually made me really angry earlier. Um, Do you want me to? Do you want me to actually like show this to chat because this is like genuinely genuinely fucking like irritating like uh, this is gonna bother a bunch of people especially the second one all right well if you didn't hate uh like stupid whatever uh so they put these signs up this was i'll give you guys the brief thing this was in canada if i remember correctly uh based off of the thing from earlier that i read is in Canada and it's some shitty company that's like doing like a welcome back thing, I guess, to people who were working from home and now they're being brought back in the office, most of which for no fucking reason. And it says, seriously, we missed you. Bet your dog's missing you. And people are like, what the actual dystopian shit is this? Right. Um, like, I don't I don't know. We reached for a statement. Oxford Properties admitted their mistake and revealed the photos were from last week. But the signage has already been removed. Unfortunately, in an attempt to be lighthearted, the signage came off as uncaring, which was never our intention. The signage clearly missed the mark and was removed last week. As a result, media team at Oxford Communications. Told, yeah, I mean, like, they're, they're going for, like, haha, welcome back to your job that you didn't need to be here and, like, you were much happier doing it the other way and, like, you had a much more fulfilling life. Welcome back to corporate America, dickhead. Like, it's so stupid, man. Like, I just, I can't stand stuff like that. Like, I didn't mind working in an office when I did and all that stuff. It's just like, yeah, no, I, I know how, like, how beneficial this has been for people, especially, like, stay-at-home moms and dads and stuff like that who, well, they could be stay-at-home moms and dads because they actually had the opportunity to, uh, you know, that now do not have that option because whatever. Yeah, miss the mark. That's like me saying like something really fucking stupid and some like really off-color joke that's like super offensive to a shitload of people. Because like comedy by nature is probably going to be offensive sometimes. I'm talking about like really at the expense of somebody and just absolute like dickhead central. That's what I'm talking about. And you know, oh shit, I forgot the buff. Fuck it, let's try to get some damage in. I've got an idea. I'm gonna try something. I get a bleed in. Okay. Now I want to get the hell out. All right. I did. I did what I wanted to do. Got some damage in on him. Double. Damn it. A little double tap. I was able to advance so quickly that like I was cooking blood slash before he even gets here and he still is able to hit me. Shit's <laughs> wild, dude. Go ahead and do it, I know you fin him. Two. Wait, did he hit me before I got two strikes in? God damn. It's nuts. Yeah, I mean, he's not that bad of a boss. I think it's the... Sometimes bosses can feel... Uh, 
Bosses can feel extra frustrating when there's a big lead up. And what, I, and what I mean by that is like, so this fight, if it was just him doing all this bullshit, fine. It's when there's a bunch of like preamble that can that can lead to a ton of frustration for players, I think, because effectively what's happening is you're like, OK, I want to get past this part. I've done this part. I want to see I want to see like the rest of this. Right. So you get you get you a great knife, man, do it. Yeah, because like the summons themselves aren't particularly hard. And theoretically, what you can do if you really want to be cheating McCheaterson, and we could try this really quick, is we could um, we could just backstab chain them, which is totally fine. You could easily do that. Like we could just backstab chain them because I'm sure they can still be backstabbed. They're still standard enemies. Um, and what's his fuck can probably be parried too. And uh, you know, it, it's just a. Yeah, it, the, like I said, the, the preamble to it is just it. That's the frustrating part, I think, for a lot of people. Most people don't mind grinding face on a bo boss, but it's like I don't want to, you know, I don't want to deal with like doing this over and over and over. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to Sapuku up and uh, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to lay into him. And after the first bleed, I'm going to push for I'm going to push for a double bleed on him. I don't think we'll get it. Okay, we got the double bleed. Now we leave, which is fine. We're gonna take some. We're gonna take some damage here, of course. Uh, a lot of damage, apparently, because he just did his. What the hell was that? He just did it like his ultimate move. I think he did last time that like tuckers him out. What the fuck is that all about? God damn. That's nuts. I could have just walked away. I don't know why I'm. I'm doing that like really like baby's first soul shit where I like roll away. I don't know why I'm doing that. You can easily walk away from stuff in these games. I should know better by now. Okay. Real quick before he transforms, do a little bonk. Blood Slash. Blood Slash might actually be like the safer bet here then bleed because it's it's a periodic thing that I can do and I don't have to get that close to him because as of right now yeah it's getting close to him is like super fucking dangerous but I'm, I don't know if I want to roll fat doing gray beard old peg leg Pete and his lightning foot the hell just happened there that was weird. hell yeah don't even have time to get up before you get hit again. Nope. No, no way. You don't get to attack. Like, that's not part of the game. <laughs> you do not get to do. That is perfectly elite well. Okay, good strategy, but what if? You have to run away, Chattel Pub. You have to get, like, just run as far away as you can and get, like, behind the doom, dunes or something like that. And then stealthing away every time. Oh, there's definitely a there's definitely a flow to it. I'm I'm not doing it very well right now. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do against the the night dudes. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do like backstab chains on them. If I can get them piled up, spamming blood slash is a pretty good pretty good call. I also like giving him the old spicy meatball with the pokes. Let's try right side this time. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's double tap that.
Okay, so sidestep the left also works there, so. Another wonderful example of a perfect delayed strike that is just going to bait people completely. Big fat delays. More delays than a major airport. I don't think the AOE is like really necessary there, right? And the only reason I say that is it just seems like it's yet another punish that didn't, it doesn't even need to be there. Cause like technically the player could do like everything right, but you're gonna be double dodging that just for the sake of it, which is really strange. I don't know, it just, it just seems odd. There's another, there's another boss that does that, that has like a double strike on him, that I'm just like, I'm like I, don't, I, don't, I don't really get why it exists, I guess. Wow, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, I did my whole health bar practically. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Butchie, you never played Dark One, right? I want to get one of those big ass mugs that actually like heats itself. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I would say this boss is not not the greatest. Uh, definitely, definitely not one of my favorites for sure. <laughs> not like particularly difficult. I think it just kind of has a. I don't know, like, I don't want to have to summon for this, because I do feel like I should probably be able to just kind of do this on my own here with this build. Uh, the knights are definitely a problem. Blood, Blood Slash does handle them pretty well, though. And if you stay close enough, you can actually get... It depends on what attacks they use, too. Like, you can actually get pretty lucky and... It's almost, it's almost worth taking the damage there. All right, now here's the deal. I am going to... to Puku here. And I think it is actually gonna be smarter to stack a little damage on him while Dickface is still alive. So I'm going to leave Wingding up. Doesn't matter, he still hits like a fucking truck. And like, that dude just whizzing around like a crazy person. That's his big Omega Blast Supremus or whatever, dude. God damn, that covers like half the fucking arena. Little okay, well, can you move, buddy? I have nowhere to put my legs. <laughs> this is like a little nugget sitting on my footrest. We're gonna keep my legs. You can only tell if uh, you can only tell if Kale's down there because I end up cattywampus like this, which sucks because the screen is like over here. So I feel like I'm staring at the corner as I'm doing this number. <laughs> ah, god damn it! What the hell was that? No. You could just start biting. I wasn't even touching you. God, what a jerk. <sighs> Tell me this is why I have him shut out of the room while I'm trying to work. Because I don't need the frustration of a cat randomly biting me in the leg while I'm doing this. That's not a bad strategy, though. Some fights, yeah. I mean, it depends. Like, ad fights like this definitely are never, never super fun. I don't know. It just seems like even just fighting him regularly. Like, I wonder if maybe using, like, our lightning resist charm would be good uh, for this. I do want to get that bleed charm, though, because that would be really nice to get, like, the extra attack power. Bloody Slash, what you doing? Not the way I wanted to 
damage to Peter out on that one, but hey, whatever. Whatever. Fuck off with how fast that dude is. Jesus. I wanted to see how well I could handle that. I don't know if the lightning actually does AoE damage too. If it does. Sure it does. <sighs> At least I haven't had to do frog hands for this. Ah, oh, that's always good. That would be its own nightmare. Somebody say frog hands? Yeah, we're, we're good on frog hands, I think. <laughs> we're good on that. I was actually wondering before the stream started if my build was kind of like behind in some way. Uh, but not really. We're like 118, which is pretty damn good. So pretty damn good, dude. Baiting out the blood slash thing even works. It seems like shield dudes easier to take down. I can also stand back a little bit, I guess. Come on, whippy dippy. Okay, I've got an idea. Let's see if this pans out. He, of course, does not stagger. Why would he? He's actually going to be petered out for some of that, which means I might be able to get a bleed in. Oh, he just buffs regardless. Okay, so like it's definitely worth it to just take out the, the ads. Okay. Well, it's, that's good to know. But now I know that my core strategy that before was fine, and I don't need to change it. Yeah. So it looks like he'll just he'll just buff and everything regardless. So there's no there's no point to no point to change up what we were doing. I really uh, really hate that AOE. Is nuts. That is terrible, dude. I hate that. I've noticed most of the bosses that I've really disliked have a lot of AoEs, and it just seems... I don't know, it's just irritating. I've always loved, like, dodging, like, slashes and big hits and whatever. Having some big-ass quake or, like, some twirling whirlwind of garbage always just feels really stupid. Which is probably why I hated Calamite so much, and Manus, for that matter. I think both those fights are fucking terrible. Even after... Like shit like that. That's so stupid. Even after doing a dark one recently as like the int build, I, I still really hated Manus and all that. We did not kill him. No, did not. Did not. Oh, hello, Nick one one. I have an emergency. Oh, God. Who's dead? Do you have a fever? Does the fever require more frog hands? I really do feel like I've been just a grumpus tonight. I really apologize. <laughs> Emergency D's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. I also have words before. Oh, Lord. All right, so I guess easy peasy lemon squeezy. We just, just do this. Just whatever. Oh, fuck off. Do your stupid transformation. Don't attack. Fucking penis hat. God, I, I just, I can't stand that you get two rapier hits. Like, I, I just, I don't get it. 
Like you would just, you would think that, like, God, there'd be a little bit more downtime. So if this was like a great sword or something like that, sure, I'm not gonna be able to dole out like two hits, maybe, maybe tag him and run. But just the idea of like, again, I feel like you get punished for everything in this. I don't know. It's all, it's also because we haven't done any shields and anything like that. We've done exclusively dodge rolls for pretty much everything. Please leave me alone. I just want to do this stupid run back. Hey, Yaki. Then again, the bulk of the bosses, I think, have been very fair, and they're a lot of fun. Uh, it's just su it's stuff like this sometimes. I'm just like, what, what's going on here? <laughs> what, what are we doing? I just be, need to be the hit and run beast. Hit and run beast doesn't work either, because he's got a big ass AOE that's three times the size he is. And if you get too, if you get too much distance, he does the big ass like uh, ultimate thingy that he has, which that sucks too, so. But at least, I mean, we got the ad phase. We got the ad phase down, so that feels pretty good. Just a matter of doing it now. Oh, fuck. I like how I turn around, and of course, right? Like, why, why would it be anything else? See if I can drink this before he just hammers me. Okay, I've got the timing down on that now. What? That ultimate really is crazy. Man, I've got I've got the timing for it now, so this shouldn't be too bad. Again, I'm more just like just kind of blown away at how few opportunities there are to I have to stay topped up, because otherwise he'll kill me. Also, if you jump okay, so I guess for the future if anybody ends up doing this fight and is having trouble with it. If you do jumping attacks and you go to the left, he will most likely not hit you. From what it seems, anyway. Oh shit, that's inconsistent. He has a different follow-up. Wow, holy fuck, I didn't realize that. Got him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we didn't even have that many, uh... We didn't even have to use that many Crimson Flasks for that. We did pretty good, man. But also, a strength build is meant to get through this fight. Uh, he might be staggerable, and also you're gonna do a lot more damage per shot. Um... Yeah, that went, that went pretty well. So... I, so, for future reference, and sometimes it just takes some time. I still don't think that fight's very good. I don't, um, but if you, if you're locked onto him and you could probably do this with any weapon, I think it works pretty well with a rapier though, but if you take the jump and you kind of like lunge into it and then pull left and roll, you're not going to get hit by his spear. You actually won't get hit by his spear if you're just running, uh, which is nice. So that's worth, uh, that's worth noting. It was worth 90 K, which is good. We probably lost more getting to him just cause I've been playing like duty tonight, but yeah, no, that was, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I really like that fight too much. Uh, so, if you use a summon, which I totally would agree with anybody doing that, I just wanted to do it without a summon. Uh, that one in particular. Um, if you use a summon for that, pulling aggro might help. Uh, but imagine it would actually help a good bit, but... Um, 
It seems like he just transforms at like 50%. And I don't know if we just got lucky or something was weird with that where the ad disappeared. I don't know if maybe when he transforms, he kills the ads with his like lightning thing or whatever. I have no idea. But that we didn't take that long on it. It took what, maybe 45 minutes, maybe less. Lord Michaela, please forgive me. The sun has not been swallowed. Our prayers were lacking. Your comrade may in solace. I'll never set my eyes upon it now. Your divine Hallig Tree. Hallig Tree secret medallion. Left. Okay, well, I've got the left there. I don't know if I have... Do we have the right to the... Yeah, because she gives us the, the right one, correct? I think. Because then we've got Dectus. And then we have Hallig... Yeah, Hallig Tree secret medallion left and right. Which one do you... Does she just give you this one? How funny it would be if there's somebody's gonna find a way to like cheese it up here to where you can just like hop up whatever. Oh yeah, I'm convinced it's just straight up God skin, not like, which really upsets me because I thought I was a skin mage. That's what it was. Yeah, you talked to Swamp Swamp Ilias. See, that would be another instance where having, like, a journal that logged at least what we've done would help out a lot. Because then I'd remember, uh, I'd remember that the, that we got that from that guy, turned it into her, and she gives us the secret, and then we get the other secret from here. So. Hey, we did it! We beat the thing. We didn't even have to frog hand it. Look at that. No frog hands whatsoever. No frog hands whatsoever. Okay, so based off of the description there, it looks like we're heading to the uh, Great Lift of Rolled or whatever, and we're going to do this. The Forbidden Butthole. Thank you, Axel, for the host, man. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you all again for the donations and stuff, even though I've been a bit of a grumpy gust tonight. Hope you all have been having fun. Okay, it's all on YouTube, Boulder, and I'm actually editing them down. Uh, episode 6 will be up tomorrow. They have not been, uh, they have not been very popping on YouTube, but that's okay. They'll be there for people who want to watch them. And we'll just leave it at that. I make, like, 38 cents off of YouTube some days anyway, so, like, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> whatever. As long as somebody's getting some enjoyment out of it. You got to change to lift secret medallion, though. Uh, I didn't notice for like 10 minutes and got really annoyed because I thought it didn't work. What? What? Oh, I'm really glad, Boulder. Yeah, I mean, I hope so. <sighs> I'm just surprised we did uh, we did that fight so clean there. That's that was I was expecting that to be a lot crazier than a lot crazier than it ended up being. What's the big thing this game has done that, that I've done different that you enjoyed the most? Um, it's hard to say because I feel like outside of... Oh, there's two. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Well, there's Hoist Medallion and there is... Oh, yeah, I guess we didn't do that right. Anyway, uh, I don't know. This game feels like Dark Souls 4 and like... I don't know. It, just, it feels like several, several sequels kind of all wrapped up into one, which would make sense. I think, uh, I think the open world is done pretty well. But I also don't think it's perfect, but I couldn't exactly tell you why it's not perfect. <laughs> I, I'd have to sit down and articulate my thoughts on that. I actually think that the, the map system's pretty good. Um, yeah, I like the open world aspect. I think it's fun. I also think the, uh, the Ashes of War system's pretty good. I've enjoyed that. I think build variety is going to be my favorite thing, and but the the only issue I'm going to have 
is Oh, we had, dude, we had a whole conversation about that earlier, Ghost. Like, a huge conversation about it. Um, I firmly believe that the game does need some kind of, like, Morrowind-style journal. And if not, not really just for quests, but I would love it just to have NPC dialogue written in it. So you can review NPC dialogue. That way you can say, like, what was the last thing that guy said when I talked to him 50 hours ago? Because think about it. There's quests I could have started back near the beginning of the game, and now that I'm 90 hours in, I have no idea what that guy said right it doesn't mean the quest should be abandoned or anything like that it just means that like i would really love to be able to review what the last thing that person said 60 to 60 to 80 hours ago so i could at least say okay this is what he said so maybe maybe i can figure out where to go uh i'm not asking for like some world of warcraft style you know quest log here's an arrow point where you need to go or anything like that i would just love to be able to review dialogue i think that would help a lot right like, just to be able to say, like, oh, okay, when I talk to Yuri or whatever his name is, he said that don't go to the bridge or whatever because it's dangerous. And I can be like, okay, he didn't say what bridge, but I'm going to go check the bridges now and see if I can figure out where he is and where he might need help. Right? And that way, that way I don't have to go pull up a wiki or anything like that. And I feel like that would still, that would, you could still keep the word of mouth kind of, like, sharing of whatever. Because I think Saito brought that up earlier. Um, uh, talking about kind of like the god damn this thing's just not staggering like that kind of like word of mouth like solve the puzzle together kind of thing um, and I think that that's great too uh, but I also feel like you wouldn't really lose that by having a way to recap what an NPC said to you like that's kind of like a there's no real loss here I should have just used the katana, because then I could have just staggered this thing into oblivion, but for some reason I decided to go. Rapier, and it has... I have paid the price. It took 50 times longer than it ever should have. But anyway, yeah, I, I, think that, I think that just being able to review what NPCs have said to you would be totally reasonable, and I don't think that that would detract from saying, Hey man, do you know where to go after this quest? Because if it's just what NPCs have said to you, all that does is actually just aid you in your search of figuring out where to go. It doesn't mean you still can't talk to people about it. You can say, hey, so-and-so said to do X, Y, or Z. I don't know what that means. Where am I supposed to go now? And then you guys can have a conversation about it and talk about where maybe you need to go or... Do you get what I'm saying? But I just feel like nothing would really be lost in that in that instance, right? Like, there's not really anything to be uh, wholly lost in that situation if you're able to review NPC dialogue that you've already had. Now, in, in Dank Sails and, like, Demon Souls and shit, I don't think that that's necessary. Because those games are not... They are not 100-hour games. They're not. Let's be real. Like, even even first playthrough is not 100 hours. Like, it's just not. And it's also a much more tightly constrained game. It doesn't have as much landmass to cover and all this other stuff. So, you know, the likelihood of you remembering a dialogue between an NPC that's back in Firelink versus one that's, like, down in the Tomb of the Giants, you'll probably remember that because those areas are actually pretty close together. Even if you do one a bit later in the game, you know, there's not really anything that's stopping you from being able to kind of maybe discern where they were having you go, or maybe you'll bump into them again, or whatever it might be. So. Yeah, I, I, I'm not asking for quest log. I'm just asking for like, oh shit, what did that guy say? You know, that might help me a little bit figure out where I need to go for the next part. And in some cases, maybe you've missed it. That's fine too. Consecrated Snowfield. Damn. Very, uh, very windy. Very snowy. Do you hear me? It is I, Natana. What's up, homie? I've reached the land of Mikola's Halic Tree, where Lobo and I began our travels. It's entirely thanks to you that I'm so close to home. Lobo's a good boy. Well, the other big thing to remember, too, is, uh, Oh. Interesting. Another thing to note, too, was, uh... Here goes, here goes Bleed Build just being an absolute monster. Did we seriously just dump 5k by just spamming R1 on a horse? Is that where, is that where we were at? Anyway, uh... I mean, this, this build that we've got going is still pretty ludicrous. <laughs> like, it's, 
despite despite any of our struggles on ghost man and or ghost army man you know this this thing can still pop just need to continue pumping arcane because this build's crazy as it is now we haven't even pumped arcane yet and once once we get arcane to like 40 this thing is going to be bleeding like every other hit without seppuku which is going to get <laughs> which is going to get pretty nuts i'm going to go and get the statue first and get the map And like this, this bit of the map where it shows you like a little obelisk or whatever, and you know, you learn over time that that's where you get like your map location stuff. Uh, I think that that's a good instance of them not being handholdy, but it's also a nice quality of life thing that you can always figure out where you're supposed to get your map, right? And I think that that's really important. But I'm sure I'm sure there are people that are like, oh, I do like that because whatever, you know. But I think it. Oh hey, look who it is. Look who it is. She about to be eating it. I don't even know where she is. All right, cool. I'm gonna grab the map while you, you know, fuck around and do whatever you're doing. Absolutely not maneatermildred.com. Aha. I'm sorry, was that one hit to bleed? Is that what that was? Like the first hit bled. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, dude. Seppuku is so nuts. And again, we have relatively low arcane. Like, we're not even at our max blood scaling yet. We're not even at full power. This is what I'm getting at here. <laughs> that might have been why we were having trouble in that last area. Is like, that last area is pretty good against bleed builds, I guess. Because there's several things that are not blittable, and, uh, yeah. I was wondering why I didn't, wouldn't do any damage. Uh, stop it. Wow. And then, then it. Then it. You want to see some real cheese? Oh, she's too far away. Uh. How much strength do I have? 40. I'm leaving strength at 40 because when I two-hand my weapons, uh, it should give me the strength I require. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean... Would you stop interrupting me? I'm trying to get fat doink bloods. Why am I, why am I wasting my time with this? What, what am I doing? Like, why, why am I doing this? We had a proven strategy that worked very well, and I'm like, what if I, what if I deviated? What if I just sidestep that like a dumb dumb? You should, you should, Gator. You should get some rest. Oh, hey, gamers, what's up? I love that the enemies uh, bleed different, like, depending on what their blood type is. Like, the Albinarics have, like, this weird-ass black and white blood from that condition they have, so they're, uh... When they're when they're bleed procs, it explodes the, with the blood they actually have. All right, made it up to consecrated concentration town. Consecrated concentration. I don't know, Kia, what you got available to you? We ate a frozen pizza that's pretty good, and yeah. We're gonna eat some salads, but both of us were full by the time we ate the little slice of the pizza. So I'm like, oh. Could blast some nuggies. All right, Axel, take it easy, buddy. God. Maybe it's a good thing we we haven't frog handed. We've only frog handed for like 45 minutes tonight, because since I've been since I've been like butt hurt butt hurt Betty most of the night, then it's probably a good call that I have not frog handed. My mood's picking up though. 
Just get, just get into a little bit of a funk sometimes. I just still feel bad because I feel like I snapped at Dustin and Kombucha earlier and I definitely did not mean to do that. Same goes for Inferno. I feel like I kind of snapped at Inferno. I blame the birds. Once again, if you want to see the best way to handle those birds, go on YouTube and go watch the short I put up. That is hands down the best way to deal with those assholes. Oh, damn. Do you get black? That's such dog shit. I hate that the black knife set is all the way here. I was really hoping it was in the game, and now I'm really hating the fact that it's all the way at this bit, which means like you're going to be so late by the time you get here. Oh, that's such a bummer. I didn't even know we had Albrecht's robe. God, we have a lot of the fashion stuff, and I didn't even know we had it. Like, I knew this was going to be like one of my favorite sets. I can't stand that it's this far in the game. <laughs> I love me some edgy bullshit, man. We also got the white reed stuff, which is really cool. Yeah, this is this is deep. God, that's such a six. <laughs> oh, man, that's terrifying. Yeah, this is a really cool set. Yeah, I, I hate that it's all the way in here. Oh, yeah, okay, God skin looking gross. But if you go attack Lady by Big Dude's head, I don't even know who you're talking about. I mean, I guess it's not proper butt end, but I mean, like, this, I mean, you could rush this, but this has got some, this has got, so technically you would need to, uh, oh, yeah, 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 you can. Yeah, you can fight her. I knew that. Um, yeah, she out there munching. I didn't mess with her, though. I figured this is another puzzle. Whoa, is this like an Everjail? Eat. Light the four figures in the Everjail. I mean, I'll go in the Everjail if you want. I mean, I gotta get in there first. Uh, Yeah, so, okay, so here's what you'd have to do. You'd have to rush the tablet in Albanaric land, right? You can get that. That's fine. That's pretty easy. Uh, Then you would want to... Take it to the lady, which is also pretty easy. Like, I, when I say easy, like, you don't have to fight anything, really. So, you could skip pretty much everything to get the tablet. Then you could skip pretty much everything to... get to her. She'll then give you the... I don't know if Nial would be that bad if you popped like a really good summon um this is one of my favorite things to do though is like route out that you know what okay i think that's my favorite thing to, to answer garrison's question from a while ago um my favorite thing is routing out in my head the fastest way to get items and i feel like you've had the best opportunity to do that in this game because of the way, like the open world nature of it. And it reminds me a lot of Dark Souls 1, but more realized uh, and less like gamey and possibly unintentional with like the master key shenanigans that you could pull. That's my favorite thing about Elden Ring so far is thinking of how all the cool ways you can like map out uh, whatever. I think that that's really neat. How the hell do you get in the Everjail? I saw that there, I saw there was an Everjail seal so I'd imagine we would go into it, but I don't know how to get to that. Also, what the heck a doodle do is that? Oh, is that one of the gladiators? Please don't tell me there's like gladiator man just chilling out here, because that'd be really funny if that was the case. It absolutely is just gladiator man chilling. <laughs> that's a sweet axe, though. Damn, that's neat. All right, let's see if we can blood blade spam him off the cliff. Oh, he's got big stick! Oh, it's happening! To oh! Oh, he's so hard. He's got rot all over him. I didn't even notice that. Oh, Debbie. Oh, Debbie. I think it just unlocks when you read the book. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that would make sense. Um. 
Okay, so yeah, let's see how, uh... So let, let's, let's map out how long this would take. So you would need to... You would need to go, okay, so you have to visit the, the, the land of the Albanarix, right? You have to get the half tablet there. Then you have to go to the Lady in the Cave, which as long as you have Torrent, you just run over there. It's not a big deal. So that's pretty easy. Then you get to Painted World of Ariamis that we just left. Uh, you could... Oh, no, I guess you couldn't. No, because you'd have to get to Snowland. Yeah, so you'd have to get up here in the first place. Which means that you'd at least... At the very least, need need access to the Grand Lift of Rolled. Unless there's a way that you can Waygate in here somehow. Which is certainly possible. I don't know if that's a thing yet, or whatever. But, you know, maybe maybe you could Waygate in here. Somehow, some way. But in order to get the in order to get the grand lift of rolled, yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be relatively deep getting in here. Yeah, I don't think there's I don't think there's any way around that. I think that's gonna be a deep and in, deep investment, no matter which way you cut it. I wonder if I. Do you think you heard that? He didn't. Look, dude, you may have scarlet rot. But do you have double lead? You're about to. Don't worry about that. Oh my god! <laughs> that bleed damage. Okay, we got the Rotten Great Axe. Oh, God. Does, if it doesn't inflict rot, I'm going to be so upset. I swear to God. Thank God it causes Scarlet Rot buildup. All right. Dude, that motherfucker? Oh, my God. And the fact that it builds rot, dude? Oh. So Scarlet Rot, for those of you who don't know, is uh, basically this game's toxic. But I, I, I think it's worse. I mean, personally, like, I'm sure some people would probably debate that. Uh, yeah, Scarlet Rot is toxic. That's what it is. Yeah. Which is just, just bullshit. <laughs> it's just bullshit. Rot is, uh, Rot is what is currently ruining PvP, and I don't really know if there's a way they could even fix it. Rot is one of the many things ruining PvP. I mean, let's be real. PvP doesn't really matter that much. There are some people who are really into it, so... I do feel for them, I guess. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What nightmare have I walked into it? Into doing and doing it. We just like PvP is what ruined PvP. <laughs> Damn. Damn, what is this? <laughs> Alright, hang in there. We gotta get to I think the challenge of this guy is get to me, bitch. Or at least that's what it's looking like. Oh! It might not just be getting to me, bitch. It might be more than that. Ugh. No, no, Steppy. No, Steppy, just Steppy. You know what I'm saying? Dude, Elden Ring is to fall out New Vegas at the Bethesda game. Don't at me, bro. You know it to be the truth. I like how he's still spewing, man. He's still going. Can we just survive the bombings of Turtle Rock? I am, I'm honestly kind of surprised we've made it here. Like, I'm getting steppy webby everywhere, but it's fine. Say that as a long time, long time strength build player, Elden Ring might have been the might be the closest that I've ever gotten to being like mostly a Dex player. 
Some of the dex weapons in this are fucking just ridiculous. Like, but then again, I haven't even gotten to play with the strength weapons. And looking at that axe, that rot axe or whatever, uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be sick. Yeah, you want to break down the skull barnacles. Uh, sometimes they're up top, sometimes at the bottom. So sometimes you have to like shoot them with a little noodle dude and whatever. Cool. <laughs> good deal, good deal, good deal. Have a good day, I guess. <laughs> No. <laughs> Why it not let me do? Oh well. Damn, I got them thin legs. This has got a... These legs have that Artorias set leg thing going on. Well. The apostate Derek. Derek. Yo, girl, what's up? Look at these gamers over here. Yeah, you think some people walk up here and just like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Silver mirror shield. What up, homie? I knew it. I knew it. Somebody put gorgeous view right there. I fucking knew it. <laughs> fucking hate this game. <laughs> hate the internet. Hate it all. Can't stand it. Oh no. Alright, mirror mirror shield. Are you a key item or are you a I'm upset that like everything that inflicts rot is like so late in the game because I'm trying to figure out a good way to get rot access early and it seems like the easiest way to do rot access early is go confessor get a bleed knife kill the big dragon get his dragon heart take it to the dragon communion church get the rot breath thing then use the rot breath thing to cheese every fucking dragon in the game practically uh and then get a shitload of souls and be like level 60 before even touching Margaret. what was I talking about mirror shield right Shape is said uh, to imitate that of a sacred drop of dew, which has inspired an absurd rumor that Loretta herself was an Albanoric. Interesting. I mean, I'm not going to attack her. I don't know what a... Oh! Well, that makes, that makes more sense. If you stand here, where the hell was the? Oh my God! Why is that so specific? Oh, this is where the messages in the game are like such a fucking detriment. <laughs> like, what a pain in the ass. Oh, young yet towering sister of ours, let the birthing droplet in and create life for us, for all the Albanorix. Thank you. I You're welcome. Fulfilled my You're promise. very welcome. Somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Our young yet towering sister will give us hope. Oh, that's and actually, uh, that'll get the finger up to plus finished. 10. I will join you Unless we don't want to upgrade the finger to 10. Right. What do you guys want? And when the fighting is done, then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo, my dear wolf. Yeah, she's alive. Yep. Peace out, homie. So that's an interesting quest reward for that one. Nah, she's she's alive. Yeah, this whole bit definitely feels very like painted world. Uh like all of it does. Even the even the area. Um even the area leading up to this definitely has that feeling to it.
Yeah, I had a feeling it wouldn't let you actually do it. Probably not, Zach. Yeah, this seems to be very tied to that quest. Oh my god. Alright, I'm, fin I'm finna spam. You guys ready? <gasps> you bitch! Yeah, no, no bleed damage on these guys either. Unfortunate. Got him. Likely friendship. Yeah, cool. Oh, I thought I saw one of those dungeon pointoids. Yeah, that's true, I guess. That would suck if you lost. I mean, even the... We let Jelly go. And uh, Jelly... Jelly we can still summon. So, we did her quest. Which is probably one of the most subtle and cute quests out there. Okay, there has to be a... Uh, this has to mean that there's a... Um, a troll or whatever nearby. Because you can only break those. The trolls are the only ones that can break those, I think. There might be another enemy that can do it, but... I oh, no, the bears can do it, too. Oh, God, fuck rune bears, dude. They are probably one of the most difficult fucking enemies. There was a... There's a rune bear on one of the routes that I've got set up for, like, early sorcerer build. Um, nah. Not, not even worth it. I did it, and I was... I sat there. I did it no damage, finally, after, like, six attempts. And I was like... This is not worth it. Because at that level, since I hadn't upgraded anything, he kills you in one hit. Like, if you go after a rune bear really early as a prisoner, they have, like, no armor. They have just nothing going for them other than some shitty spells. Yeah, Jelly has a quest. So, when you get Jelly, you learn about her sister or whatever. And uh, you can find her sister in the uh, near the royal capital, and you let her go and they go visit the stars together and that's it small bear come eat my ass don't leave batch come on Bears, fun fact. Yeah, I can still summon Jelly. That's why I was saying. I don't really know if it'd be a problem for them to have a quest of, like, leaving her behind or whatever. The nice thing about these statues is they will, if when they break, uh, you can still... No, don't touch me. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, God. Yeah, no, these bears are horrible. So. Well, kiting, kiting enemies is frustrating for one reason only. When you don't want them to follow you, they will, forever. Yeah, rune bears are nuts. Absolutely nuts. <sighs> yeah, no, the bears are uh, another super duper fun fact. They are crazy bleed resistant. For like, for like just an animal, you'd think that they'd be like, oh man, big, big blood loss target here. Nope. Anyway, back to what I was saying earlier, uh, these statues are great because uh, when you break them they stay broken so even if you die in your attempt of kiting something to it in the early stages of the game you're okay look at that we get seven uh these are these are fantastic for smithing stones and that's normally what's in them that's a bunch of sevens and an eight so 
It's really good. <clears throat> Haven't seen any nines yet. We're gonna have to figure that out. Oh, it's six one gold. I was like, what the hell? I was like, they really out here like, oh, here, it's one golden rune. Oh, oh thank you so much. Uh, I suppose I could try to kill that thing. They're just such a pain in the ass. I mean, pop that, pop that puku, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, this, this thing's more, this thing's scarier than some boss fights. Rust upon he wrecked him. Oh, look how much damage he does. God damn, dude. I like how we had him on the ropes big time. It did thousands and thousands of damage, but then I get on the you get on the backbeat with these dudes and you have low health and you're like, well. One more hit's gonna kill me, better play it safe. Running away from those dudes is pointless. Absolutely pointless. There's... I learned that earlier. On my soul level, whatever the hell prisoner starts at, nine. We're just gonna say it's soul level one because it's a base upgraded. You get what the fuck I'm saying. Uh, yeah. I learned that earlier. I was like, man, these guys fucking suck. And every time I tried to back down, it just ends in death. But if you, if you just stay on them, it's normally fine. All right, Reverend, take it easy. Thanks for popping in. You know what I kind of want to try? I want to see how fast it, uh, how long it takes to build, uh, build up rot. And the other cool thing is if you're running a dagger that has rot build, uh, if there's any of them that can be modified in any way, that'd be sick to have one that inflicted rot and poison. God, that, that it's just a baby's nail at that point. So let's be real. Uh, let's actually try that really quick. Let's try, let's try the Scorp Stinger. I want to see how fast this thing can bleed or can rot. Stop it. How many hits was that? Okay, I think he's rotted now. There he goes. He's got the rot. God, I mean, you can't heal against these guys. It's fucking crazy. Rot doesn't even do that much damage to him, though. man i think there's a rot rapier but i'm trying to remember where that one is uh i read about it earlier because i was i'm looking at i was looking at like rot based weapons i, I don't think they have everything on the wikis and everything like that yet because the rot great axe wasn't even on that uh so that's a thing god two scorp stingers would be disgusting it's actually kind of nuts that the requirement on this is pretty much nothing it's 12 decks and six strength that's it but again, this is also fairly late game because it's down in... I don't know if it is late game, though, because we got to, like, near the Rot Swamp area. I mean, we got to that, like, pretty early. I don't know. I'm going to have to sit down and, and see what the earliest you could, you could pull that off is because I have no idea. Stink. Oh, 
does, it doesn't help that when he attacks, you can't see. Howie. Howie. Look at all that healing we did for nothing. <laughs> it just eat shit. I can't see when he does anything. I hate him. What a wiener. <laughs> I can't see anything. Okay, I definitely thought he just lunged off the cliff. I was about to lose it. Man, you straight got a lot of rot stink on you. Okay, so we've done 12,000 <laughs> 12, damage to him already. I mean, this, this bear has like 16k health. What is this? Seriously, he's a fucking raid boss. Damn, he rotten. He hating it. He's like, damn, this suck. Do we have anything that inflicts poison? Because I kind of... I kind of want to lay the poison on him, too. And can we, everything in the game inflicts blood loss buildups. There's that. Right, he got the stink. Now it's time to use the katana here. I wonder what his poison resistance is, actually. Not a lot. I'm dead. I'm gonna fucking die here tonight. Yeah, we conquered the hardest boss in the game, hooray. He did, he went to go he went to go sleep. That's what he did. He was like, alright. God now now I kinda wanna upgrade uh I wonder if there's there has to be a poison dagger, right? Because goddamn that would be really funny. Oh, we could just make one. Yeah, we could just make one because you could take like the bloodstain dagger and then infuse it with a. Oh shit, you could. I wonder if that's infusible. No, probably not because it probably has a unique uh, art. Yeah, it does. Yeah, because you could run scorpion stinger and then you could take a bloodstain dagger and put poison on this. Then you'd have a poison, poison bleeding bloodstain dagger. <laughs> and then the scorp stinger. And you're like, all right, gang, how you feel about rot, poison, and bleed all together? You excited? Matter of fact, let's see what that looks like. That's a nasty dagger combo, actually. What's the weapon art on that? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that, that could actually be really funny. We should probably lean into that, because that would be uh, Poison Bleed... Uh, yeah, Poison Bleed and, um, Rotty Rot. I wonder, I wonder if there's anything else, though, that already has, like, native poison on it, because I feel like it would be better to bleed infuse a poison weapon than it would be to... Oh, Scorpion Stinger, you'd have, you'd have to beat Redon... Hate his place, dude. <laughs> hate his place! Shit sucks. <laughs> More bear. Yeah, I mean, all you have to do is beat Radon, though, right, Saito? That's easy. You know what I'm saying? That's so easy. It's like the, He's, like, the easiest boss in the game. Apparently, for people who are doing dedicated bow builds, he actually is, like, the easiest boss in the game. Which is really funny, because that's just confirmation on me making jokes about it before and being like, oh, man, it'd be crazy if... <laughs> he was, like, the easiest boss in the game or something, because this... Oh, shit, I could put, uh... I could put parry on that. That'd be neat. I could just put poison infusion. That's a weird one. That means I can't use the weapon art from a uh, weapon art from the other one though. Uh, Rune Bear would probably win. Like, I mean that one hundred percent. Like, yes, probably would win. I, I can't, I can't fathom the Rune Bear losing to that. Oh shit! You could put bloody blood slash on a dagger. Wow, that's weird. I kind of don't want it to have an art. Oh, they would need to get like the blank art or whatever for that. 
If that's the case, I'll just run with a run with this. I can always two hand the other one if we want to really, really dig in the rot. Yeah, so these daggers, if for what we're using them for, they may not even be worth upgrading, to be honest, because. Well, that depends if the rot. Oh my god, the frostbite. Uh, that depends, though. If the rot buildup increases, then yes, it would totally be worth doing. If the rot buildup does not increase, probably not worth doing at all. Yeah, I mean, that that is true. That's pretty much why he has it. Yeah, so he could, like, protect and keep his horse or whatever. I mean, Radon, Radon is basically just the greatest of all time, but still, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. He is the reason to upgrade a bow during any playthrough. Like, just do it. Take your bow in there. Get a metric butt Christ of arrows of all different types. And just run around. Don't waste your time. Don't go in there and melee. People are already comparing that fight to Beto Chaos. And I'm like, alright, look. I love I love railing on stuff and being like, oh man, just like Beto Chaos. It's not. It's not even fucking close. Damn, you jamming? Let's see if we can rot this one up. I don't know. They might be immune to that. Would you like some stink? No, stop. I'm trying to I'm trying to test out my stink. You guys may not be the best to test this on. I was gonna parry it, but I didn't. Oh god. Unupgraded weapons at this point in the game are like comedically just, just hilarious. It's so fucking funny. I was trying to find that bear and see if I could drop that hot rot, hot rot poison disco on him. Nope, can't bleed to poopy. Oh, you talking about when the when the gravity ball hits the thing? Yeah, that is true. No, I I, I knew what you meant. It's fine. I agree. I'm just upset that this armor set's like all the way back here. Look at this dude with his cloak on. Poopy diapy man. Oh god, who got madness? Oh god. Oh god, no. Oh, we got that dude got one of the stings. Don't you touch me. <gasps> Brad, what is this? What's happening? What's going on? What is happening right now? He does have the poison stink. Oh, I absolutely have enough trash to level. I definitely need to go do that. Uh, what if Radan rode a rune bear instead of a horse? Oh. <laughs> oh. That's that right there? That's poopy diaper. Look, all I wanted to do was test out my bleed nonsense on this guy, and it's just not working. Or not my bleed, my, my poison rot nonsense. Oh, here we go. Here's a gamer. Maybe I shouldn't be doing it in your madness, rats. Maybe that's maybe that's a mistake in its own right. Oh no! Well, madness is a fun status effect, and I like it a lot. It's really cool in the video game. I like it very much. Ugh, 
You guys seen the grab move that also works in PvP with uh, Madness? If you get grabbed, it just instant kills you. Ah, oh, that's pretty sweet. Most of these things that I've talked about are avoidable in PvP if you play right, but that doesn't mean that they're super fun, so... The rats, the rats, we're the rats. Pray at night, we stalk at night, we're the rats. Oh my god, is that Ghost in Command? Holy shit. Haven't really been around since the Fallout 76 tragedy. Nice to see you playing my new favorite game. What's up, man? The Fallout 76 tragedy? Like the game itself or what? Now I'm, now I'm confused of what we mean. Look at this, look at this madness, man. Get out of here, madness, man. I don't know if I don't know if the I don't know if the the rot poison build up thing on this is worth it. I feel like in most instances, in the time I, the time it would take me to apply it, unless I upgraded these guys a shitload, it'd probably be easier just to, you know, I'll be easier just to like you know bleed them, kill them. They might be immune to rot. Actually, I don't know if the trolls are. Definitely not immune to poison. No, I think he's, he's got both of them on him now, I think. Maybe? Yeah, he's got it. It's good to see you, Ghost. I mean, that's pretty good damage. Yeah, I mean, like, the Rot Poison game definitely feels more like cheese city right because like if i just push bleed i mean look at that that's ridiculous no oh. you do it trying to prove a point <laughs> don't you do it god ghost i don't even think i remember that dude that was like 19 years ago Nothing like that has happened ever since. That <laughs> did so a long time ago. It's good to see you though. Thank you so much for popping in. I, I am curious. What reminded you that I was like alive? Now, now I'm just curious. Crazy thing with madness is that like all these enemies have like the same thing. Poison's pretty good against bosses too. Like it's, it was really nice to have against. Uh, I loved having it against uh, Grafted Mayor or whatever the fuck his name was. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's a lot of. That's a lot of wrath. Oh. Oh, be gone. Oh, damn. Rats came out here. Sweet. I'm going to take your trash. I'm going, going to take your trash. Oh, wow. Oh, the other dude. Wow, that's interesting. So I guess. Oh. I guess the other dude hit him with the madness, which is really funny. Well, that's great. Yeah, I'll keep like eyeball gooking at each other. Just do it. Oh, that's nice. Well, thank, well, thank you for popping in, man. I appreciate it. Is, uh, there's a lot happening right here. I feel like this is maybe unreasonable. This might be the most trolls I've seen in one area, like, ever. They're very, they're very upsetting with me.
damn. Like, the damage on that shit. Don't you do it. Okay, he did it, but we live, so it's fine. I gotta live that one! <gasps> Fuck madness, dude. This is so, is so not fun. <laughs> Uh, even with bullshit bleed build over here, man, these guys are still nuts. Ugh. Holly, holla bejulias. Well, there's definitely plenty of those, Garrison, that's for sure. Madness does a uh, metric buttfuck of HP and FP damage, and so yeah, it pretty much just kills you. Oh, let me go pick up my trash first. Almost forgot. It's the wrong troll anyway. I'm fighting the wrong one. Jelly. To me. Oh my god. It's been interesting switching back between, uh... Fuck. Oh my god. What the fuck is that? Why'd that one last so long? Cool, dodge roll up, dude. Oh. Jelly giving him the old butt black. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god, that was funny. Fuck off, oh, really? What the fuck is that? God damn, just go through the walls. Oh. Yeah, man is man is big poopy. <laughs> it's just big poop. <sighs> yeah. Oh, mimic tier, mimic tier absolutely applies all that stuff. It is probably the most powerful summon in the game. There's there's a there's a couple that are debatable, but the fact that mimic tier just mimics you completely is uh pretty crazy. You can equip yourself with all kinds of nonsense, summon it, and just there you go. It will do everything you can do. It's especially powerful with bleed builds and casters and stuff like that. Yeah, the katana's got a little bit more, a uh, little bit more poise damage on it, which is nice. I actually need to drop this. Blood Slash would be pretty useful right now. So I have to start actually packing up weapons. Oh! I Right, I took it off, so it's just regular scaling Uchi now. That's interesting. Actually, alright, for the time being. Probably actually going to use Unsheath to just blast the room. And by blast, you know, I mean, like, maybe. Do the bleed just do more damage there than it normally does? Did it not? Nope, oh, we're dead again. Uh, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's not worth doing this. It just seems like, it just seems like, you know, you go through this entire struggle of doing everything and then you just get madness to death or something, so. 
Uh, you could, yeah. It's not going to work very well in boss fights, though. But you could do that, yeah. As long as you had a... Uh... Yep, Mimic, Mimic Tier has the same uh, rules that NPC, NPC like summons and stuff do, so they have infinite everything. They are fucking wild. Is my shit really down here? I think it's just the sheer density of these guys. There's so many of them. I did kind of miss just the fat damage on the Uji. Oh no, I'm, I'm specifically not spinning them now because I got, I got some sweat. What the fuck is happening? I feel like the bleed proc is bigger when we're not bleed infused, which doesn't. I don't think that's the case. I can't believe those dudes are worth 7,800 a piece. There's also probably like a cave or something down here, I would imagine. Yep, sure enough. There it is. Oh, this place, this place is looking fun. <laughs> Welcome to Nightmare Land. Touch that grass. Yeah, I'm, I'm positive this won't be just the worst, the worst thing ever. Okay, so now we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna start pumping arcane now because that does increase our bleed damage scaling, and that's just where we're going. How it do? Forgot that we got Graftito Burrito's soul for just no reason. Okay, let me uh, let me fix this. You know what I haven't gotten yet? I haven't gotten the uh, armor kit thing either, to where you can like customize your stuff. Okay, yeah, that does that is scaling it. I mean, that's that is definitely scaling it. Yeah, now it's got the uh, the blood loss build up uh, at eighty, so that just keeps going up, which just gets more and more ridiculous. Which is great. Yeah, <laughs> there's Fortnite. Yeah. Nope. We'll go the other way. We will apparently not go the other way. Oh, well, the miners are dead. Right. Oh god, they look like they got they got stink. Oh, this is a job for Baker. Oh, so all the miners were not dead. Oh, this is why I love having blood slash because it's like, oh, you don't have a strike weapon. Oh well. Oh, oh well. Because <laughs> with the FP regain, we can get back most of it. So. Damn, that's a lot of freezy greasy. Uh, something I was gonna change up here. I'm not wearing my traditional hat, which is definitely a criminal offense. Oh god, are we in light roll? Oh, no, we're not. Yeehaw. Oh. Yeah, my bleed. My bleed ain't doing shit here. Matter of fact, just bust out the fingy. 
time has come. God, dude, the finger is just unstoppable. Oh no. And we can upgrade it again, too, which is... Eh. Oh, that's a bait. Oh, that was the corpse from... All right. Wow. Okay. Didn't expect that. Oh, not one of these guys. But thankfully, these dudes are Nakey Nendrick, which means they do stagger pretty easy. We finna give him the flick, dude. It's coming. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like how I was talking about maybe dropping the finger earlier. How could I ever? How could I ever drop the finger? Whoa! Fuck all this awesome shit that's like super late game. It's another int great sword. Are you see that's three int great swords that we've gotten. And there's also Mariah's executioner sword that we can't even use because arc scaling is broken on it. But what does this one do? Alabaster Lord's pull thrust the armament into the ground to create a gravity. Well, OK, so that's the same thing the meteoric thing can do. God, that thing is so awesome. If we were to, if we were to do dual fingies, I would probably have to get another one from somebody in chat. I don't think there's a second fingy in the game. That would be fucking sweet though, man. Dual fingies. And my thing right here. Come on. Hidden path ahead, yeah. Oh, imagine that. Could you believe a lie in 2019? I know I could. Yeah, then I'd be the two fingers. What up, bitches? It may not even be a drop droppable weapon. Oh, no, it's okay, Ghost. You're good, man. I, I have yet to do any co-op or anything like that, so I haven't even I haven't even hosted anybody or anything like that. Okay, just just one finger for now. It's kind of hard to see those uh those new smithing stones, even though we are gonna need those. I'm trying to think of what I want to upgrade after we do after we get the Uchi to 25, because we do have the means to do that now. I'd figure out what I want to do with that. What? Um, I got syrup for waffles. Oh, the finger is also like kind of weird to acquire. Uh, I should have already made a video on that because I'm sure that exists. But I could just I could just make the video anyway and just title it. Be like, so I found the weirdest weapon in Bloodborne 5. And people be like, oh, my God, he found it. Oh, hey, Smithing Stone 9. Holy shit. Bitch. I love when the frame rate just decides to stop chugging for a minute. Give him the hit, then give him the flick. You had to finger your enemies in Elden Ring. That is true. Yeah, I would do it. God, there's a shitload of bloodstains in here. People are getting eaten alive. <laughs> Good God. I actually don't know how many of the nines we do have. Uh, Whatever. Oh, yeah, no problem, dude. I, I'm glad that they I'm glad it worked. What? 
No. No, we're not doing this again. Oh my god. God almighty. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, that's not what I I definitely did not expect that. It's, it's that subverted expectations yet again. I like uh I like putting the, the fingy on the other hand. That way I just have a dangle dangle fingy just God damn it, that's true. I didn't unlock that. Yeah, not sure why we have to find another one of those assholes, but hey man. Whatever I guess. I think it's pretty cool that the lift is just straight up broken here. Neat. One of the uh one of the badass boys we don't have to deal with, thankfully, because he's down wherever. Uh I'm trying to think of how many level nines we actually need for that upgrade, because I think you only need like a, a few. I think it's only 23 and 24, and then 25 is the uh big fat one. Yeah, this this boss wasn't too bad. Uh, I would say it's it's I, th I think it's easier than what's his face in that fort. Nickel cadmium battery or whatever the hell he is. I've already forgot his name. Cadmiopolis. Oh yeah, the shortcut's not too bad here. Again, not not sure why they couldn't just go with the steak America, but hey, whatever. Hey, gamers. Do I have... I have Blood Slash this time, don't I? Yeah. Should make my life a little bit easier. As long as I, you know, dodge stuff like that. Don't you do it. Dude, this one is, like, substantially more difficult, I think. Wow. Well, maybe not. Oh, that's the grab move, right? Shit. Ooh, that blows. God, that being instant death is poop poop patty. I did already beat him. This guy is down at the bottom of a mine for some reason. Oh, is this boss easier than the bear? Yes. <laughs> yes. Did we, we had frog hands with the last one, so we're, we're obviously at a disadvantage. <laughs> Very clearly, right? I just love looking at Fangy just dangling in the back. Awesome. Shout out to Fangy. Mm, kind of debating on whether or not blood, Bloody Slash is going to be good here. I might want to end up going... I might want to do seppuku for this just because I think we're, we're going to need that big pop damage from the bleed. But I just can't imagine this being uh, good otherwise. I think I need to just not use... Not use, like, two at once or whatever. Maybe. Look at me, I'm Dusto the Clown. God damn, why is he so much beefier than the other one? Jeez. I wonder if he's vulnerable to rot. Y'all, this is gonna be this is gonna be a a thing. Well, thought I could get it, but I'm dead now. Got a lot of got a lot of instant deaths against this guy. That's kind of sucky. Yeah, it's also tough to dodge too, because it's just like a lot of these have like big delays on them. You're not really sure exactly when it's gonna go off. Well, a couple of them are pretty easy, but. Kind of goes back to the whole problem of like the just the, again AOE bosses are just very difficult for me. 
Seppuku is also... That also means I have to maintain a buff. Hmm. Oh, yeah. He is easily worse than the first one. I wonder if Jelly would be of any use here. Probably not. Jelly might make this worse. Ah, damn. Oh. See, right here, after it does this, it should have a really long, like, downtime. But it's right back in it. You know what I mean? Like, I see a move like that, and it's like, congratulations, you dodged that shit, or you got out of it. You're gonna get some damage window. You know what I mean? And I, f I feel like... I feel like there's just not a lot of that in Elden Ring in general. Yeah, you can definitely overpower bosses and just beat the shit out of them with bleed and spells and stuff like that, but... I don't know. I, they, they definitely don't feel like they have a lot of, like... I think What's-His-Face, uh, the dude from the fort, which, of course, I'm already drawing a blank on the name. Um, I think that he's a really good... good example of having, like, at least a big downtime window, right? Because he's got this... He's got this whole sequence that he does... And, you know, you look at that, and it's like, okay, cool, he's doing this, this big nonsense right now. And, uh, once he does it, if you do manage to dodge it, you have a big window to go in there and just wail on him. At Nihal, there you go. Yeah, you have an enormous window to go in there and lay into him, and that's awesome. Like, that's super good. Uh, and, and you know, as far as, like, any problems I have with that fight being kind of a pain in the butt, uh... You know, not nearly... I don't know how the hell I'm not dodging that. When in doubt, jelly out. Good strat, man. You got time to, time to hit that tail. God damn. Like, why's, why's I gotta have a quake follow-up? You know what I mean? Like, what, what's the point? What, the main hit alone is already enough. That thing hits like a truck. Oh, I was going to try to heal before it went off. Its teleport move also probably doesn't need damage, damage on it. That's just crazy. God. <laughs> I remember these guys stagger pretty easy. It's hard. I mean, it's tough for me to get uh, hits on them. I would imagine they probably do stagger easy. Uh, I think there's enough to dupe like four or five of them, Fennec. Something like that. Some of the uh, some of the no hit run folks have already have already said that Elden Ring's probably going to be impossible in some spot. I don't know if you guys th that was a post that was actually on the subreddit. A couple people who apparently do no hit challenges were like, "Yeah, this might be the first one that that may not be physically possible because there are some moves from bosses." And unless you completely get space from them, they're timed in such a way that you can't dodge every hit. Which I found, which I found really interesting. I was like, oh, that's, that's something. So. Maybe we should, oh my God. Maybe we should stop attacking the, uh... since we're going bleed, we might just want to just avoid the head. can't do anything about that. God. It's so hard for me to, like, map that out in my head. And then it's gonna wake up! That's so ridiculous! Dude, that's wild. Like, I just can't imagine, like, scripting out this boss and being like, alright, world ending, probably gonna kill you move. Here you go. It's also got a wake up that's a swipe forward. Like, that feels nuts. God damn. Dude, George R. R. Martin wrote like a short story about ducks and they turned into this. <laughs> like, that's what the man did. He's like, and then the duck asks, hey, you got any grapes? Like, that's beautiful, George. How's that last book coming? He's like, it doesn't. I got that blocked it last time, but this time it just didn't. Yeah, let's try going, uh... 
try going unlocked and let's try going for the arm. Since we're pushing bleeds anyway. that one out yeah I think affording affording some space is probably just the best call get in a few hits doing the thing I'll do uh Sapuku after the next uh do it here Do your orb thing. Fuck you. I can't believe I did that. I do find it interesting, however, that uh, that it has the same moves, or some of the same moves as the other Star Scourge. So that means this must be like Mac Daddy Star Scourge type thing. Gonna go ahead and slip with you again. Okay, this bit, this bit's tough. If you start dodge rolling at the wrong time, you're dead. You'll fall out of sequence. Damn, that's tough. I I can't do like two quakes back to back. Jeez. Do it if I'm like outside of it, but I think that's actually because I was dodging it, like directly. Would love to be able to do a damage. What is this shit? Oh my god, it's so basically you have to dodge the grab from all angles. Oh man. Wow. That is... That's pretty crazy. I was gonna ask if he could be rotted, but I don't really know that it matters. I think we played that pretty well, too. We actually had tons of Crimson Flask left. We... I'd... Yeah, if he can be staggered, we're obviously not hitting it with hitting, hitting it with enough frequency to stagger it. And our uh, our physic is uh, increased poise damage and increased stam regen, which for our build is actually pretty good. Maybe I do need to focus on the face. That just seems that just seems so dangerous though. Case in point. I, I mean, how are you supposed to dodge all three of those? I mean, if we really wanted to just bust out big fat cheese, I mean, it would just be using Kukri and just hitting him in the face with bleed daggers over and over and... Just bleeding him out that way. Uh, shut up, Garrison. Is there a lady who asked you to buy grapes? Please don't tell me that's real. Actually, tell me that shit's real. That's amazing. I don't know. We can swap out our FP regen thing for maybe something better here. Do you, uh... Oh, good.
Mm, I think if anything, I'd prefer to have the uh, max HP thing. Probably. I'm sure people will figure out the whole like, you know, no hit run deal and I'm sure they'll figure something out. But at the preliminary, like it does look like some attacks just you can't like you will probably get hit by like one of the follow ups or something. OK, so if we're attacking the face, we have to watch out mainly for the. Late night sleepy bits. Hey, welcome, Hartsu. How's it going? <sighs> yeah, that Star Scourge thing. Man. I'd say that's a reasonable amount of damage, you know. There's things I've seen in my life that are reasonable, and, uh... Wow. If you're betting on that thing, by the way, that starts as soon as the bet's over. It doesn't count these attempts. No, I'm at 40 vigor. I should be at 60. So that's, that's probably my fault. These bosses are definitely tuned for uh, tuned for that. I don't know if this physics thing is doing anything. Oh yeah, how come sometimes those block and then sometimes they don't? Like, what's up with that? So this round, I'm going to go for nothing but jumping attacks. Builds bleed slower, but I might get a stagger. Okay, just run away. How the fuck do you get away from that? And sometimes it's like four. I don't know why I did that. That's such a stupid move. We've already done this like ten times. I don't know why I did that. God damn, how is this thing so fucking fast, dude? Choking on my own words here. It, dude, it has taken so long for us to get to any, like, reasonable level of whatever that no shit Seppuku had already run out by the time I hit it three times. It's like, it's like they stopped choosing. It's like, we did the first one fine. This one's obviously much more difficult, but uh, it's like they stopped choosing... They stop choosing, like, strengths for bosses, right? So, like, think about, like, here's a good example, right? So look at, like, the Taurus Demon, right? The Taurus Demon is, is pretty quick. It also hits like a truck. I mean, if you get hit by the Taurus Demon, you're probably dying early game, right? Maybe, maybe not dead, but probably close. Uh, here, here's the kicker. Taurus Demon, you can get underneath it. And the big drawback to it is when you could get underneath it, you could get underneath its legs and you could move behind it, which then means it had to turn around, right? So it's got it's got that that detractor. So it has to turn around. You know, cool. That's fine. Uh, well, we're dead. Uh, anyways, that's like that's like it's big. It's big detractor, right? It's got speed. It's got power, but it's really difficult just to get. Um, for it to turn around and stuff like that. So it definitely has, like, a weakness. This thing has... 
unbelievable power. It also has big, fat speed. I mean, it is super quick. It has a grab. You know, it's it's got this thing's got a lot going for it in terms of like boss, just strengths. I don't really know what its weakness is. You know what I mean? It's not super evident. I suppose one of its weaknesses is that it has uh, a pretty large hitbox. I don't really know if that's a weakness, considering that, like, most of its hitbox is worthless. Unless you're doing, like, a bleed build. You should be able to jump those. I think that would make that a lot better. It just spams that shit. Oh, my God. Because, see, this fight didn't go on as, as long last time. It's got a it's got a powerful fucking melee. I mean like what what's its what's its weakness? Again, that's that's my big problem. Is it just, I thought I had the roll on that, I guess I didn't. Yeah, no, it feels like it's got everything going for it. And really it's I would say most of the core bosses in the game are totally fine. I don't think there's any issues with any of them. I think it really it comes down to optionals. And what it starts reminding me of, in some cases, the optionals remind me of uh, Chalice Dungeon bosses, which are pretty terrible overall, I think, because effectively what they are is they're, if they're not unique, they're effectively reskins of existing monsters with bloated health, health pools, right? And that's it. And that, that just sucks, because then I think like you just throw the design of the boss out the window. But again, these guys, I don't really know what their weakness is. Now, granted, it's probably a little bit easier to deal with this maybe as a mage or something like that. Sure. But th this is more just like straight up, just like a, a straight up melee build. Oh, my God. Octo grab. Also, uh... R2s were not the solution. So that sucks. I don't even know what killed him. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, this one, we might need to just come back to this one. I could, I could teleport out, go upgrade our weapon and stuff, because this has basically been a net loss. Well, no, we did get some stones out of it, I guess. Yeah, this shit's tough. I don't really have... I'm trying to think of like, anything I have to gain this. I don't know shit. I would assume that beating the hell out of it like I have been and proccing those big bleeds would be enough to... at least, like... Maybe stagger it, give it and get a knockdown. Anything. It doesn't, unfortunately. Barely got away from that. Why is that so big? Why can't it just be the size of the boss? It doesn't need to be bigger. Like, it's already unbelievable, like, world-ending fucking, like, attempt-ending power. Like, what's the point? Oh, I can hear, like, the frustration in my fucking voice. I, I run out of breath whenever I get frustrated because I'm, I'm power ranting. Doesn't need the step back. That's pointless because you spend all this time getting up to it and then oopsie poopsie. Let me just step away so you have even less chance to do anything. Oh god, that's nuts. And that's guaranteed damage. If anybody knows how the fuck to get away from that, please let me know. Because it's not dodging. I've tried in rhythm dodging every single sequence. And even if you've dodged the first two, you cannot dodge the third. 
so I don't know... I mean, armor's doing me nothing here. I guess I could just get naked for this, or just go light load. That would at least give me some extra extra iframes on the rolls. <sighs> uh, you can outrun it, sort of. I don't know how to dodge all three. I've tried several times. Sometimes I can't even get past two. You can outrun the big explosion, but if you're in... That's, that's kind of the problem with melee, right? If you're anywhere near their melee hitbox and they do like a big AOE explosion, you're probably not going to get out of it. Because like, unless you just, unless you read it perfectly and you're like, okay, this is happening right now. It's pretty hard. What? Well, I mean, what? What even hit me? Wow, holy shit, dude. He just does so much damage. Ugh. It's been a rough night, man. This is the first rough night we've had in Elden Ring in a while. Oh, that's mostly in my head, though. You didn't get hit by at the time you tried to unlock the hand attacks because you have more distance. That's true, yeah. Yeah, attack in the head. I mean, if we're going to be doing bleed, we may as well just try to capitalize on that, right? Just try to do... Uh... Matter of fact, if that's the case, I'm just going to go one-handed because we have more chances to proc the bleed on it. Yeah, let's just go for hand, I guess. See what we can do with that. I tried to do that. Yeah, this thing, like, I, I don't know why it needs, like, a back down move. I don't get that. Like, what's the point? I get it. I get it from the sake of, like, frustrate the shit out of the player because they finally, finally, finally fucking made it to it. Even Radan doesn't do that. Where it's like a step back and you're like, okay, hey, come on. I just had to run all the way across the boss arena to even get to you in the first place. And then it's backstepping. A lot of enemies do that in Elden Ring, too. They, they backstep everything. That was a whole conversation we had the other night about how enemies don't leave a lot of openings anymore where they'll finish their combo and their combo ends with a backstep and they get even further away from you. Also, I don't think the, I don't think the light load thing has helped me out very much. So. Oh, I'm sure Moonvale Unsheathed just ruined it. Yeah. I totally believe that. Moonvale. <laughs> Moonvale fucking anything will do that. That shit is awesome. I like Moonvale a lot. Blah blah noob stick aside, I genuinely like it a lot. Cause I cause I don't agree with that. I think if it's fun, it's whatever. God, fuck me, dude. I'm like you can't do anything. You know what the music kinda reminds me of? Bed of Chaos. Wow, I just fucked that up. 
Wow, that's the most melee attacks he's ever done. Woo! Yeah, I wonder if they'll change the, the 10 second infinite FP flask thing. It's cool though. I like it. I just, uh. It doesn't, it doesn't quite feel like running Firestorm broken, and it's obviously like intended to be a thing. Also, this is totally doable, by the way. Any of this bitching that I'm doing is just strictly on like the. Kind of strictly on the way that this boss is made. And it's not as evident, I think, in the first encounter because I think the first encounter is like relatively short. Whereas this one, you know, it's obviously got a lot more HP and blah, 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 whatever. There's just, there's just more happening, I think. It legitimately does its melee attacks so infrequently that I don't even know. I don't even know how to dodge it properly because I had no chance. Yeah, I think when it does that move, it's not even worth advancing. I think it should just back down. I, I don't know what to do against that because I can't run away fast enough. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get a fucking stagger anywhere, dude. We're dead. Ugh. Pop that way, way at the wrong time. Just run. That is so unfair, dude. Like, I mean, even when you run, when you see it coming, it's just not happening. What a silly, silly, silly fight. Well, yeah, because Azure Comet's supposed to burn your entire, like, that. that is like the MP dump, right? That was a good attempt. Like I said, it's to it's totally doable, but I find it really odd. Uh... Well, dodging most of its attacks is not too bad. I think it's just how much they hurt. But if we had 60, uh, if we had 60 Vigor, I mean, you know, that would that would do it. That would help immensely. As soon as it started, because I wanted to test and see if you could just run it. Oh, it's got the wake up, because you need that. <laughs> it's a fucking miracle that I dodge half this stuff. Have to wait for two seconds, that's what I get. You know, I, I hear a lot of stuff of people like, man, I did that in like one attempt and then I'm like, Jesus Christ, I must be really sucking it up with this. Which I figured I was used to these games by now, but I guess not. I guess I still have a lot of learning and growth to do with it. God damn. Before 
they do their transformation. Oh, no, no, there we go. Okay, so he'll do his big quake move, and then it's uh, there's gonna be a grab after this, I think. So we can here while it's still safe. <laughs> Never mind, there is no safe. I mean, I'm using every trick in my arsenal, and it's it's been pretty effective for the most part. This is just like fight number 500 that is just incredibly melee unfriendly. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? That, we're, we're out of class. Like, that, how often does that shit happen? Do or die here, so I guess I'll just pop that up. <laughs> Never mind, there's the die, dude. Oh. Yeah, old man Nick. Bad at video games or whatever now, I guess. That's this is fucking crazy. Like. <sighs> but this is gonna be the run this is gonna be the run in that happens on some bosses. They are just so melee nightmare. It was like a mobile fucking bed of chaos. <sighs> Yeah, other than hanging out with chat, I have not had a lot of fun tonight. And I don't know if that's just... What? But so, everything we've done tonight has just been a fucking slog. Like, I've enjoyed streaming and hanging out with you guys, but man, this this is just... This is awful. Like, this is the least fun I've had in Elden Ring, easily. Like, I, I can't stand these, like... And it's it's been a lot of bosses here and there. Well, optionals. They just they they're just not like they swear to God they just expect you to use it builds or whatever for like most of this because jeez oh, I'm fucking dead. God damn, dude. Yeah, this is the most frustrating I think I've been. Like this is crazy. We're not under leveled. We're level fucking 120. We have a good build that has worked very well for a lot. This boss is just absolute garbage. I mean, maybe if you're doing redu maybe if you're doing like bleed, you have to do like Reduvia and just like stick it in its face and just do that over and over. I don't know. I feel like I whiff most of the time. My blades, we're we're done with Sapuku by the time. I mean, that shit's. Oh, I've gotten to hit him two times. Like it's so fun, and I I hate talking about this shit. Because I don't want this to come across as being like some big whiny whatever about it. It just feels ridiculous. Like it really, really, really does. It just feels crazy. Like some, some of these encounters are just insane. And I, I feel like after five fucking games of this that they would be like, you know what, that one's not great. Let's do something different with that. But this could just be on me. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to stand up and go get some water or something because this is, this is genuinely starting to irritate the hell out of me. So I'll be right back. And I'll uh, see you guys in a bit.
Oh man. Sorry about that. It's it's been a rough night, and I think I I think I undersold how bad of a headspace I was in when I started the stream. I slept like shit. Kale was yelling all afternoon when I was trying to like sleep because of course I sleep some during the afternoon because I work at night. Um, I was getting pissy earlier. I'm being pissy about this, and I I just apologize. That's that's on me. I mean I'm sorry for uh sorry for coming across as ornery. I think this boss does suck. I don't think the base version sucks. I think this one does suck. Like this is this is crazy. Like some some of them just feel like overtuned to all hell, and I feel like that's the point. I'm not popping the the physic flask, by the way. Oh right, I forgot that this is absolutely ridiculous. Well, it's got big number. If we had 60 vigor, it wouldn't be as bad. Um, because health is pretty weird in this game. There's like strange soft caps to it, and then like. It like relieves the soft cap and then you get more and it's health is really weird. I'm not going to go into that whole thing, but <clears throat> no, I normally don't get that frustrated at all with with these these games. You guys know this. I just something about this in particular and just being bad, bad headspace has just not left me feeling great. So. Pretty wacky. Oh. I thought about going back to going back to bloody bloody blade or whatever the hell it's called, but God, I would love the ability to at least hit that thing. It also moves its hands so much because you think you'd want like a target or whatever to kind of go after, but. Might have been the most damage that we've been able to push. Oh wow, he actually did the grab? That's the first time he's done the grab in what, like six, seven attempts? Other than the big like group grab or whatever. Uh yeah, there's several that do that orc. Also, I think the arcane push for bleed scaling was probably pointless. Um I feel like that's hurting our overall, uh, over, overall like damage values. I feel like we could probably put that into something else that would be much, much more beneficial. But the more that does go up, the better. This thing's also like relatively bleed resistant compared to some of the bosses. We really do need to go into the uh, the sewers in uh, the royal or the capital or whatever and go get that uh, bleed trinket. Because with this build, there is no reason that we shouldn't have that. Because effectively what that is, I think it's a 20% attack power increase uh, as long as blood loss procs. And that's on you or the enemy. So I think that's that's pretty crazy. I actually wish it would do the grab more. I keep waiting for it because it's a good way to get... Uh, I think it's a good way to get some shots in. Cool. That's good. I didn't get a chance to get to you. God damn, that's so hard to dodge up close. Oh. Let's go ahead and Sapuku again, because I'm going to need it here in a second. God damn. I, I, so like, so you see that happening, right? Here, here's where the critique comes in, and this is what I'm talking about. So between the time where we saw that that was about to get casted, right? What was the time I had to actually get? Okay, so there it is. So that one we have time on. It doesn't matter anyway. Even in full sprint, it's still going to do enough to kill you. And then it's got to wake up because it needs that. Um, again, to me, I feel like the sequencing of that, the, those attacks is insane. Because I'm trying to think of a, a boss that does that in, like, Dark 1, even Dark 2. Bloodborne's got it to some extent because of the rally and regain system, which is fine. Demon Souls damn sure didn't have that. And what's really cool, though, is, like, in, to, a positive to all this is I feel like Elden Ring actually did bring back some of the methodical, like, approach nature. 
to some encounters. And I feel like what happened is like, sure, that came back for some of them, but then some of the some of the other ones, they still feel like, you know, crazy Bloodborne boss. But we're not playing Bloodborne anymore, you know what I mean? And like that that all that whole thing right there is just it's insane. Like so much happening. And you're just like, okay, cool, I'm getting wombo comboed over here, but whatever. Wow, he did the grab again. I swear, it's like it's like every time I go to heal after that bullshit, he's gonna do the grab. But I know that's not the case because it can't input read that in the middle of everything. So, like, it can't do that to where like once it does the warp, if it detects healing, then it's gonna do it. But it certainly feels like that's what's happening. But whatever, I guess. I know y'all are loving this tonight. I know you're having a good time. <laughs> y'all having a good time tonight. Gonna have a good time tonight. Oh. I don't even count Dark 3. I'm sure Dark 3 does it. After doing, uh, after doing Dark 2 recently, I, I would probably be inclined to say Dark 3 is the worst out of the franchise. I actually think Dark 2 has more redeeming stuff going on. I don't think Dark 2 is good. But I definitely feel like it has more redeeming qualities than 3. I didn't even mean to be crouched for that, you know what I mean? I've got to get the timing down on that. I mean, Dark 3 tried new stuff, too. It's just it's new stuff just wasn't impressive at all. Almost had it. I'm literally at the fucking edge. God damn. There's no wake up. Don't need the wake up. Thank you for the wake up, though. I appreciate it. fault. <laughs> That's really bad timing on that. How cool would it be during this phase if it hit itself with its own meteors if it did damage to itself? That'd be sick. I actually low-key love stuff like that. I always think it's really cool being able to use like the boss's mechanics against it. Yeah, when it does the right-handed one, it does it does kind of feel like it's impossible to dodge it. I just don't I just don't think you have enough time. This one, I think you do. Yeah, that one you do, which makes sense. Yeah, the right-handed one it doesn't feel like you have time. If somebody sees the timing, by all means, tell me, because like I'm, I'm struggling with that. Okay, I'm just gonna back down here. It's fine. I don't care. Boy, boss music could just chill the fuck out, man. Oh, come on, dude. Ah, damn, yeah, Tapuku's not worth it for this, I don't think. I think raw damage with the occasional bleed would probably just be fine. Oh.
Well, it's it, all the other damage I take is total. The, every piece of damage I take is on me in this, except for that right, the right-handed or left-handed, like orb thing it does with like the quake move. I don't know what. I'm not like 100% positive what they want you to do with that one. Like I've got, I've got the timing down for everything else. And what are you supposed to do for that? Like, I, I really don't know. I'm just trying to figure that out. Watch out for the grab. All right, not doing the grab this time. Whoa. Wow, did we really already phase him here? Jeez. Leave the... All right, we're going to attempt to back down here, see if this works. Okay. God, that he's so looted. I like how, just because I'm a little away from the boss, it's like, prepare for my pride obliterating bitch slap. It also doesn't help the katana like barely doesn't reach him, which really sucks. Oh, that's such a bummer, dude. It's always that fucking move. That guaranteed damage. At this point, I think you're being punished more for not blocking with the shield than just not dodging, right? Shield would probably be smart to have. It probably would be. Uh, even even for just getting its, uh, like, something with, like, heavy guard boost. Because I feel like there have been a few bosses that probably would have been, not trivialized, but definitely made a little bit easier by, by at least using a shield. But I feel like... They should be doable with dodging, which this is for sure, except for that one move, which I'm still trying to figure out what the hell to do with that, but. Still trying to figure out how to crank out more damage out of this build, though. Going straight for the face. Boy, what an attempt, dude. Just trying to decide if Sapuku is still worth it. This is one of the few bosses that I've wanted the uh, washing pole for. Which, I mean, we could... We could totally get. I mean, it's effectively just the Uchi slightly weaker, but much longer. And like that, that's like its big sell. Uh, it also has a ridiculous thrust attack on its uh, weapon art, which is really good. I think you could change, actually. Pretty sure you can get like Bloody Slash and stuff like that on it. I don't know about Seppuku, though. I'm not sure about that. Wow, he whipped that out quick. Damn. Well, I've gotten reasonably good at dodging that at least. So. curious as to what happened there and then I realized that I don't know what I'm talking about don't worry about it I'm just making up words thought I could run away from it but nay thank you 
the raw abundance of time. <laughs> what a shit fast. Oh. Is the washing pole not considered a regular katana or is it a special weapon? I'm pretty sure you can change weapon arts on it. Um. Nagakiba, I think, has... Which is the washing pole that we're talking about, by the way. Um, it might? I don't know, actually. I need to do What's-His-Face's quest. I think I actually can still do it on this character. Because uh, we can definitely get that and start pumping it. Because I think that would probably be the logical successor to our Uchi if we were to go that route. <clears throat> Just due to the... Wow, I just zoned out so bad. Maybe like a fast roll? I shit, I don't know. Dude. Try to just get the second one. I couldn't do it. God, the second one's so hard. Because normally I can count these out, but it pops up so quickly that I'm like, ah, shit, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I guess I'm like, I can't tell. Ah, that's probably true, hard to. Yeah. Probably true. Oh, I didn't even say I'm live on this. That's interesting. I always set the little Discord event thing to go off at 2 a.m. I should probably just leave it on, especially for just say like, oh, it's going to run indefinitely until whatever. <laughs> whatever. Oh, shit. Good night, Ams. Let's see if I can do this before the tail hits me. I was about to say likelihood, none. No, shockingly enough, we actually did okay. I've gotten reasonably decent at dodging most of its stuff. That's that's the heartbreak, man. <laughs> you get pretty good at dodging most of their bullshit, and you still just eat it. And you're like, man. What is a Tarnita burrito to do? Just gonna run. Uh, they back down from that. Should be the group grab. chances to do damage here? Oh my god. Y'all, we have hit this thing one time in the last, like, 30 seconds. 
and I know that that's four. I don't know why I keep coming back on the third. Well, ugh, I forgot, so was going to call greed on that, but what I realized is right as I took the last swing, I was like, we're not buffed anymore, because that would have bled him, I think, but we weren't buffed, so. Unfortunate. Ugh. All right, Jigakuro, have a good night, man. On Ford. So I'm going to check really quick if the Nagakiba can be uh, swapped out on weapon arts. If it can, dude, I'd love to have Sapuku on that thing. Wow, may as well just die because that's a bad attempt. I'll just wait here. Just take my sips. Or he's just going to let me fully buff. That works, too. For well, the first time in forever time, he's done it. Four. And. What? All right. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn to the jury on that one. What's the uh, what's the verdict on the bullshit level with that? How garbage, how garbage was that? Like 10 out of 10 garbage, 9 out of 10 garbage. That was pretty bad. That was, that was, might've been the grossest grab hitbox I've ever seen. It's like, all right, I'm in his like scrotum. It's like, oh no, you in his hands. I'm like, I don't think I am. I don't, I don't think I am. Oh, hey Inferno, welcome back. Yeah, this dude, uh, I would actually say that this is the hardest boss we've fought in the game yet. Not the base one, this one, like the break, like the enhanced edition. I would absolutely say this is one of the more difficult ones. Plus. This is a bit of a, this is a slower, um, this is a slower strat that we're doing, but I had a feeling that this was going to work out the way it did. So what I, what I did here is I swap, swapped to, uh, I swapped the R2s because I knew the R2s would eventually stagger him more than likely. And it's easier to hit because I, I kept thinking like the what's the big problem here and dealing damage is the big problem. Like not being able to hit him because that that last phase we would have easily had that if I could have hit him. But I just couldn't seem to. That's gonna be wicked. Oh no, I thought I had that. We're dead. Actually, we might live that. Yeah, we lived it. Okay. He's gonna have the wakey up. He fucks. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Ooh. You don't mind if I cut the boss music or like cut the music off for this? Because that's this music is annoying as shit. One of those. Uh, what was that? There was another boss that was. Oh, the dragon fights. Those are another ones where I'm like, all right, dude, the music could just chill the fuck out for a minute. Orchestra over there just blasting Adderall straight up their butthole. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey guys, you ever me to blast Adderall straight up the rectum? Hell yeah.
But yeah, that that was that's the only strategy adjustment I can see is just just do jumping R2s on him because those will do the most poise damage. And uh, like we saw, that was the first time we got to see him even get staggered in the first place. Which I don't know if uh, I don't know if that's particularly worth it because it seems like his stagger window is pretty short. So I might actually just want to go for a critical on it. Supposed to not oh, starting off rough. Starting off fucked up, nasty man. You can unfortunately not jump the ones on the ground, which is really unfortunate. <laughs> I would love nothing more. You guys see the, the level of like the difference in damage that we're doing here? Like it's disgusting. Because while the critical may not be a big deal, it's just a window where we just don't have to deal with its bullshit. I'm always like a half second off on that. It feels so bad. All right, let's not heal right away. Cause he'll just do some shit that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Okay, there we go. I I think it's way easier without the music. Oh my god, did it really get stuck on his little PP leg? Mm, gross. Yeah, I actually like it without the music because I can hear myself think. I was thinking uh, I might try using a wired controller next time. I'm starting to wonder if there's just something going on with the... I've had problems with my dual sense and this, and I'm starting to wonder if, like, the input loss is because it's, like, a glass case, and it's, like, right there, and the adapter sits up on top. I might move him, like, down here. I don't know how to move him down here. I guess I could get, like, a little extension thingy. Put him on the back of the desk. That way it's, like, a straight shot to it. That, when I was playing the other day, uh, when I was doing those little, like, tester builds or whatever, my dual sense, like, I would just... I go to like two hand my weapon and it just wouldn't and I'm like okay that's weird it's almost like it's like losing inputs here and there problem is I like wireless controllers too much that poofy right here. Here comes the Starfall bullshit. My favorite. That's my favorite one. Oh my god, I thought that would be a stagger. 
shit. I forgot. <sighs> I forgot about this. I forgot about the I win phase. This is my favorite. I'm using wires after all my micro USB cables, Berg. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I like wire controllers sometimes. It just depends. I really like, I've always enjoyed like the wireless stuff. And granted, I mean, there's no like, this isn't really about like input lag or anything like that. Um, this is more like just delayed because it's happened in a couple other games too, where I noticed like delayed input or whatever. I don't, I just wonder what's causing that. I don't know, maybe the USB, like the bus is like overloaded or something, which I also don't think is the case. I don't think that's what it do, but you know, I don't know how it is B to do, you know what I'm saying? It's such a batch. Hey, that man. That is reasonable, Luigi. Isn't it crazy how low our critical damage is? Cuckoo, he's gonna warp. Didn't didn't think that would happen, but it did. Hello, Hamu. Your last line. Uh, I do not know exactly how crit damage works. I will tell you though, if it scales off of Dex in any way, shape, or form, we're fucked because I'm at sixty. All right, this is Turbo Grab. God damn, I totally... Oh, my God. I can't tell if it's, like, an input thing or what, dude, but... Like, I swear to God, I'm hitting that. You know what I should do? I should get the, uh... should get one of those little controller tracker, tracker things to see if I'm actually hitting the input for it. Like, put it up on the screen or whatever. Then we could... Then we could verify and see if maybe it's just my brain thinking that I did. You can mash. It doesn't matter. Because it's not, like, one of those where you can get out early. It seems like it's just flat damage at the end of, like, a million again i've never been a big fan of stuff like that where it's like all right cool you did like really well this whole boss how do you feel about a grab that one shots you it's like that sounds really good i like that that gives me boner yeah no this is this is the hardest boss in the game for us so far genuinely i mean that for real that's not that's not hyperbole this is the one i think that we have taken the most time and like i've had to focus this much on That was another one where I felt like I had it, but I guess not. Bitch. Oh shit. It's okay, I can take a couple of those. Be careful with them. I don't think this will hit us. Okay. Is this is turbo grab? Not yet. Let's see if I can hit him before that starts. Nope. Oh 
Oh god! He, oh my god, he does his melee so infrequently. Oh. Oh, the ogre grab, the dark Souls too. Yeah. God, I feel so bad for the. Uh, I guess the VOD watchers. I can cut out any of the uh, absolutely horrific parts. Well, the really boring stuff, which th this last bit's been pretty boring, I would imagine. Commentary on the boss's design aside, which I tend to not talk about too much unless there's like a problem with it. I do feel like this one's a bit problematic. It's not problematic if it's relatively weak, right? And I think that's the big difference. So the uh, what are they called? Uh, the the red dot, the not Sif, right? Those bosses, not Sif plus magic. I actually think they're really fair because they take um, they take a a lot of damage. I mean, they, they hit like a truck, but they take a ton of damage. So like, I've just felt like they, they felt really reasonable to fight in every instance. But do I hate fighting them? Yeah. Do they feel unfair? No, not, not in the, not in the slightest. They, they suck to fight because they can just be tough. But not because, ah, right, that's right. That's the reason we don't do non-jumping attack. Too much, uh, too much animation lock. Uh, but yeah, no, so they're, they're like reasonable to fight. Yeah, they take a ton of damage, but they also can dish it out. And I think that they're like really well designed. They really hurt if you screw up, but like their patterns make sense. And they take a ton of damage themselves, so it feels like they have a, there's like a trade off there, right? It's a rough attempt right here, man. Oh, right there, the edge. The precipice of oblivion. We haven't got a stagger yet. I also haven't gotten to hit him very much. God, I thought that would be it. Oh, but it wasn't. Oh, but it wasn't. Oh, why did I do that? What, what was my thought process? Run! That, that might have been the dumbest thing I've done all night. Oh, no, this is a... Uh, what is uh, honestly a pretty good boss regularly. Uh, this is an enhanced version of it that is stuck in a dungeon somewhere. Which uh, sucks poopy butt. Mainly because it just has a ton of health and a bunch of other nonsense. This is gonna be a dirty if we do if we do get this, this is a dirty kill, man. This is not this is not clean. It's okay, the game's gonna make sure of that. <laughs> Y'all ever spammed AoE moves all day? I too have played Diablo 1 through 58. Yeah, it pushes into dust. <laughs> it does. Yeah, so if you haven't been to this boss yet, when you get to the regular one, don't worry about it. He ain't that bad. He's actually okay. This is one that's like late game optional bullshit version that's for some reason in a mine shaft. I don't know how the hell that happened. Uh, yeah, so. A win is 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 a win. I have to get these, uh, I'm trying to figure out what to do in the... Oh man, I've got a great idea. Oh no, because we'd have to seppuku that, uh, the rapier. Damn, I was just thinking, like, what if, like, during the down phase, we just pop the rapier, start slam jamming on him? But I don't think that's gonna work. It would still probably build up a hell of a lot of bleed just from the merit of it being whatever. Nah, I'm saying. 
Seriously, I, I barely know how to cope on the melee because like, I don't have it. Shit, I forgot I unequipped it for the sake of armor. Wow, that did um a bee's PP of damage. Welcome to, uh, this is, this is botched. I'm just gonna do this, don't mind me. I'm just gonna kill myself right in front of you. Nice punch, good disrespect, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Well, it's not a stake. It's a it's a bond grace grace fire. I saw another thread the other day about a kid who got bullied at school because he has an Android phone, so he makes group text green. Shit's crazy. Kids are assholes. I can't, I can't even blame that on like snotty rich kids. That's just little assholes just in general. It would be kind of interesting if they did because would that be like a discrimination thing or like... I guess theoretically it would be. Well, I'm coming for you, Terrence. Yeah, you thought you were slick. Y'all, I 100% thought we were about to no damage this shit. But I'll take I'll take the healing maybe one or two times over, you know. Oh my god. Yeah, people like that are terrible, man. And the surgery to implant it in the base of your skull is so painless, it's no wonder we're number one. I love this phase, also known as you wish you could do damage, bitch. Oh, come on, man. Don't do it again. Oh, that's just pee pee sauce. I wanted, I was hungry for it. Oh, dodge timing on that's so finicky. And it's, it's an instant kill. We got, again, we're at 40 vigor. We've been hit at full life, and it still killed us. Ugh. Well, if Apple could, you know... what? Hear me out on this one, right? The RCS exists on Android, which is basically the same as iMessage. Um, what if when an Android user joined the group, Apple users could confirm in the group, hey, this user is an RCS user, uh, you know, functions similar to iMessage, but is not quite as secure because of X, Y, or Z. Do you accept? And you say, yeah, and then ta-da, all the messages stay blue because RCS and iMessage are basically the fucking same thing. I like how you have to check around to make sure he's not about to just assault your butt. I've gotten really good at dodging this thing, man. 
Except for that. Because you can't dodge that. That's not dodgeable. You have to run away from it. The right there um, is holding B, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure why we didn't start running. Oh god, I didn't know if that was still happening. Didn't know, I didn't know. Give me my blood, low on stand for this one. Stay down, Deborah. No. Double tap. Looking creamy. Looking good. That's the 4B. The worst part is like, yeah, okay, run away, but you get stuck on him all the time. And it's mainly just because you can't see what he's doing. Which sucks. All right, full health. If I get grabbed, you know what happened. Yep, it's a full health kill, dude. It sucks. God, it sucks. That's so terrible. You have such a good run, and then it's just like, oh, nope, sorry. Oopsie poopsie. I know, I agree. Coffee, for sure. Oh. Nope. And, like, yeah, we're not at max vig, but, like, we're at 40. It ain't like we just ignored it, right? Max, you can, well, really, 60 is, like, technically the soft cap. Technically, 50 kind of is, sort of. Soft caps are fucking weird in this game. I don't, they don't make any, I mean, they do make sense. They're just weird, comparatively. Should have gone back and just started upgrading the old. Well, I say upgrade. I need to go get the Nagakiba and then upgrade that. I have a feeling that's going to be very important going forward. Yeah, see, how are you expected to run away if you're trying to run away and you get stuck on his fucking arms and shit? That's the worst. You know what it reminds me of? Kind of reminds me of the trash with the Bed of Chaos, where, like... Do you remember the Bed of Chaos would swipe, but it wouldn't hit you, but it would push you, and you'd just get, like, pushed into some other hazard and get killed? Oh, it's terrible. That does sound pretty good, Luigi. Yeah, and, like, it looks awful on the screen, where you just, like, slide around all over the place, and you're like, oh, that's great, I like that. That feels good. Well, I think they probably figured that it's the same boss, right? And it is. And the first boss, what well, we tried maybe two or three times, totally fine. And I'm like, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't the best, but I, that's serviceable, whatever. But then we hit this and it's just like, God, this has been a massive wall. And you know, you know the reward's gonna be a summon or a sorcery or incantation that we can't use, right? Like y'all, y'all know that's what the reward's gonna be. I should have subpoenaed there. Please, this time to do that. <laughs> I, t I don't even think that, like. Oh, hey, man, what's up? Oh, 
Oh, fuck off my whole asshole. What if we put in a, an AOE that's bigger than the size of the boss? So that way, when you run away, you cannot get out. Have fun iframing it. <laughs> <laughs> the first one didn't have the four burst quake or the omni grab. Wait, for real? I didn't know that. What if um, we put in uh, big, big bows and it, <laughs> and it wrecks them on your face? After you die. Oh. We've had some really close attempts. We've been robbed of like five by just getting graboided by, you know, the 88. The 88 special where he summons up his TN clones or something. I gotta deal with that. I call my insurance company. They're asking what the hell I'm, what the hell I'm putting in a claim for. I'm like, you ever played Eldon Ring? I like, love that game. I also don't understand that because how are you supposed to dodge? Like, what's up? I may, I may as well just go back to be a nudie Dendrick because I don't really know if it's, again, if it's worth even wearing the gear here and to just stay light load. Yeah, kill him for the sake of completion. I mean, why not? Let's say I did it and then when I come back on my disgustingly overpowered whatever the hell I make next, I'm absolutely just gonna be like, all right, game, here you go. This is what you wanted, right? I hear you yelling, hello. Don't you start attacking that. I see you thinking about it. Living my blood is over you. Oh no, it, it does. I meant more so just like, but so I can get like turbo, turbo rolls. Maybe if I have the longer, if I have longer iframes on that, I might actually be able to get through the. Uh, that wasn't even. I didn't even dodge that. I just got lucky there. <sighs> you see this absolute highway robbery this is at? Oh my god! Fuck off! Like, just give me a minute. Should be. Yeah, pop that bleed. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the bleedioli. supposed to do you know what I mean you just call the police what he's doing is illegal in four states stop doing the same thing over oh my god I think that's the big problem with phase two is that he just kind of he just kind of does that a lot <laughs> so you feel like you can't do anything. You're like, all right, gamers, I hit the button. All right, cheat me out of it. Cheat me out of it, daddy. Oh, meteorite of Astol. God, what a hollow victory that was. <laughs> I feel like I didn't even earn that. Just sitting for an hour and just jumping, jumping R2 this man to death. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I'm getting dunked on by a boss in Eldon Ring. It's pretty bullshit. All right, well, hey, man, we did it. That was, this was great. I like the part. Um, that was not. That's not a good boss. <laughs> that's that's it. Not not a great boss. 
That is probably the one we've spent the most. After we've like actually hit a point where our build was coming together, that is easily the boss we've spent the most time most time on. But that's how it goes in these games, man. Somebody will be like, "Oh shit, that took me forever," and then somebody else is like, "Oh, I I, I was uh, peeing in my own eye socket and did that one uh, with one hand tied behind my back." I'm like, okay, all right, that's fine, that's fine. Let's take our 120k, walk over to Madness Man, and lose it. Look at him dodge rolling. What a beast. Look at that. We're all my gamers. Yeah, 120,000, unfortunately, is not a lot at this level. Whiff. 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 Worst part about these dudes? There it is. Imagine just spewing mad kumis everywhere. Just, just forever. Forever and the day. Let me get up in that gooch. Okay, we should probably go spend this shit or something. Oh yeah, he just keeps going, man. <laughs> I said Frenzy's such a good spell. Oh, it's good. Did you know my secret gamer technique? Oh. These are my these are my gamer techniques. Welcome to oh. Bitterbits. <laughs> Onion, thank you for the uh thank you for the sub. Hey dads, take my sub. Hate him. Can't stand him. That is a willing sub in the year of our Lord, 2025 or whatever it is. It's pretty crazy. But thank you, Onion. I appreciate it. Such an eclectic spelling of Onion. If it's even supposed to be Onion. If it's not, that's even better. I had to see the cancer, so now you do too. Oh. What? Don't, affl don't afflict me with this. I've been watching since the origins. Oh my god. Now that's, uh, that's impressive. That, that is extremely impressive. So since like 20, 2014, God, long time, dude. We don't have, too, well, actually, I would say we don't have too many people from back then, but we really do still, actually. It's kind of shocking. I'm trying to get back to wherever the hell it was, where it was like, seek the cursed one. Where is it being? Unlock all the eld gates to increase your rank in the server from three to one. Well, here I was thinking it was. Where is it? It was on like the one of the patios or something. <laughs> it's the old patio. This dude's just like, hey man. Oh my god, Jesus! Yeah, that was a long time ago. We actually uh, we had old Fresno back for a little bit uh, recently. We did a little uh, the little Demon Souls remake thing. Up on the old poop tube. That is pretty. Cr that's crazy, Luigi. You were, bit, you were but a young lad. Oh. We still gonna keep pumping this arcane nonsense. I like how that's th that boss is worth one level. How do you guys feel about that? <laughs> feeling feeling pretty good. Who's ready for soul level one of that boss? God, may as well just die, right? Where are we going? I want to go into the gate because they were like, go into the gate, sniff it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Uh, uh, uh. Where the hell is the thing? Is it over here? Y'all, I cannot find wherever the gate thing was with this guy. Because it's, it's the dude that was like complete the damn Everjail thing. And now I can't find him. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. Because there was an Everjail that was like on top of one of the roofs or something like that. Oh, yeah. People are already doing soul level one. Yep. Already doing it. Sure, there's no good content time for bitter bits. 
There's no good content. Time for bitter bids. I don't even know what that means. You'll have to explain that one to me. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. God damn, it was like right here. It was right here the whole time. Oh, hey, look. Okay, so I guess we have to complete this area in the Everjail itself. I probably should have switched over to Bloody McBlood Slash over here, but I didn't. Oh, like it's like a fail safe, like you fall back to it. Okay, I think I get it. Light it up. Okay, so there's, uh, I'm trying to remember where all these are. I guess they're kind of. Bruh. I'm sorry. Did that, uh, <laughs> did that just deflect off of me and go up in the air? Oh no, we got shadow assassin boys over here. Watch out. Okay, I think these are the ones that you need light source to uh, detect them or whatever. I don't know if the hip lantern actually works. Oh. And I ran. I ran so far away. God, y'all ever gotten, y'all ever gotten dead? Yeah, I think if you use a, God, what is it? We, we did this one time. I think you have to use either like a torch. The lantern, the lantern thing may not work actually. Try to steal wire and see if that shows them up or shows. No, I guess not. Look, dude. When all else fails, just spam. Oh, no, it's scissors and they're invisible. You gotta watch out. I don't know, he's struggling. <laughs> what a jerk. That's so goofy. You need a torch? Well, we just did it, so... Same deal there, I guess. Yeah, no, people are gonna... People are gonna go nuts on the, uh... <laughs> Rooftops like the floor was lava. Perfect. Everything... Everything turned out great. Now, right, let's see where everything is. So there's... I mean, it doesn't matter. We can just run around and find everything. It's not hard. You know you gotta help me out, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought it was too. I thought it was torch in the offhand, but I guess not. Is there something? Do you have to like activate like the the art on it or something? I seriously doubt that. That doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, Moonvale. Uh, Moonvale will do that. It's a good. It's a good weapon. Very good. Oh, okay, it kept that. Nice. And here's the deal. Stay right there. Good. Very good. Everything's working out great. Yeah, I probably should take a better, uh, better look at the... It's an interesting Everjail, though. Uh, I don't think many people hate it for PvE. I mean, people do hate it for PvE because they're like, oh, this is just a Drake sword, blah, blah, blah. Even though it's perfectly fine, it's a very good int scaling weapon that's available relatively early in the game, even though there are several really good int scaling weapons. And it does have basically a ranged version of Unsheath, which people think is like ridiculously good, which I mean, it is. 
Ranged version of Unsheath is very solid. But I, I just, I don't know, I don't understand when people getting upset over people using something in their own PvE playthroughs. Oh yeah, I mean, Bleed alone, like, we, we've just cakewalked through some bosses that I'm probably going to regret later just because, you know. Just spam this fat bleed build all over him, basically. <laughs> that last boss didn't care. That one did not care about our bleed build at all. Okay, so I need to get up onto that rooftop. Oh, good. Good. I don't think I can make that jump. God, these things are annoying. Are all of them invisible? Because I don't think they're all invisible. I just wanted some time to do my platforming in peace. God damn it. Yeah, I did Ronnie's quest. Yeah, we're not doing uh we're not doing anything. We're not doing an int build, so. We won't be using any int stuff. Ugh. God, it's almost 4 a.m. I need to stop. <laughs> this has been... It's <sighs> been a... been a tough night. I haven't been in the right headspace or anything like that. Okay, so there's one there. It's hard to get a route down because the other things are, uh, like the walls are closed and stuff. Yeah, the, the base version of Astil is actually pretty easy. Well, not easy. I, I'd say that they're, they're pretty reasonable. Um, I think the, uh, the one we just did is, is pretty overtuned to shit. Like that thing is just, it's just a lot. <clears throat> it's a lot for a, uh, effectively what is like a dungeon, like mini boss. It's crazy. <sighs> I said, yeah, we did her quest. We don't, we don't, we're not like running an int build though, so it was relatively irrelevant. Moonlight Greatsword V55 is fun and all, but uh, not really, not really anything I need personally. <laughs> this bit's kind of hilarious. <laughs> just running around the rooftops, just turning on little lights. What did it say? Was it four of them, I think? I don't know if I'd say it's the weirdest iteration. I think it's probably... I would say the weirdest iteration of it's Demon Souls, because it's the only faith scaling one. Not weird and bad, it's just weird and different. This one seems, uh, seems pretty par for the course, though. Oh, God bless it. <sighs> I think that broken, uh, broken rooftop thing over there is probably, like, the best way to get up, looks like. Well, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense to be designed that way this time, though, because if it if it just shot beams normally, I think it makes totally. I'd say like that'd be kind of crazy. So I think tying it to tying it to FP consumption in some way was was smart. And the buff lasts a really long time. So that is a solid solid buff for sure. God Almighty.
At least they're worth a decent amount. Oh man, people putting messages on ladders is the worst. That's probably going to be one of the next things they fix. They should have just made it to where you cannot put a message at the base of a ladder. All right, hard to so take it easy. After we do this, I think I'm going to wrap up for the night. It has been, uh, it's been a rough one. It's been fun hanging out with you guys. It's been a, uh, been a rough night in general. All right, let's take a gander on how to get over there because I think the next one is. Come on, the next one's over there. I think. Oh lord. Fucking Christ, dude. So ridiculous. Hmm. I can't quite make that. What about over there? I guess I'm not gonna be able to make that jump either. You mean like just this area in general? It's it's pretty crazy. Uh, I think that's uh, that dungeon we did was definitely one of the harder. Well, the dungeon itself isn't hard. That boss is crazy. I appreciate you guys all hanging out tonight. I know it's been a been a little uh, been a little low energy, a little frustrating, but I appreciate you guys being around for it. Oh God! Oh boy, what is this? That's all right, man. We've got a actually got all the vods of these up on uh, YouTube, so if you're gonna roll them back. You're more than welcome to do the whole thing from start to finish. I've actually got them edited down and stuff too, so that way it doesn't have shitload of retries on some bosses and stuff like that. Oh, well, okay then. <laughs> all right, well. This is uh, very interesting and we're on a giant ass tree. So let's say this is probably a good, probably a good stopping point for the night. Um, we'll kind of check in on this, I guess, tomorrow. But uh, thank you guys for popping in. I really do appreciate it by hanging out. I hope you all have had fun doing the thing. So, oh, right. I need to turn on music again. Uh, but no, this is this has been great. I, I'm sorry about the uh, any frustration or anything tonight. You know how it goes. <laughs> Some nights just didn't do what to do. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you want to catch when the stream goes live next time, don't forget to go check out the old socials and coffee up there is of course posted to the YouTube where this is actually or the main YouTube channel where this is going up. So that's gonna be it for me. Uh, thank you guys for everything and all the support. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Take it easy. See you next time. Goodbye.